Cops on gear, cause we're going out there. Don't care about the dress code. Put it on, let's go. Girls go wild, cause we're going out, let's go. Ha, no need to perform. Hands on our bodies, gonna keep us feels warm. We need social reform, cause we're just so criminal. Linguist subliminal, damage is minimal. Top percent, our largest fraction. Massive attraction, no longer action. Stop that, we're gonna need a reaction. Drop that, you already got your reaction. Me, I'm gonna keep on smiling. You, you're gonna need restyling. I got the call back from the jeweler. You're getting 20% cooler. Yo! <laughs> Sometimes the content just happens to you, fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus! What's the name of the song? It's, it's 20% Cooler by Ken Ashcorp. I think, I think I will level with you. My favorite thing about covering any of this fucking shit is that it gives me a really good excuse to play Ken Ashcorp songs. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> okay, so straight up, we've got, we've got <laughs> a lot happened in like five hours, which is fucking wild. Good evening to people, by the way. Good evening, Gilded. Good evening, Queen Seraphina. We're going to talk about Queen. Queen has talked to me, um, and we'd like had a good chat. They're, they're really nice, actually, as a person. Just wanted to say that, because I think that's important uh good evening rag good evening mumbles good evening other people i can't see in the chat anymore because it's moved too quickly never had that happen before uh fuck this weird going live thing on youtube is odd um okay hey okay how you doing uh good evening to everybody okay so i want to work a couple of fucking things out while we're doing this so uh because there's there's going to be things with this low video uh, where we're going to have to come to kind of weird bits and bobs. There's also the aftermath, which sounds insane to fucking say when we're in such a small time frame. But like, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I can, I can go, I can go live, like, I don't know, in uh, tomorrow or something. And then I was like, well, by tomorrow, there might be like no channels left. So, <laughs> so let's let's fucking get it in early. Um, so okay, the first thing I want to talk about, um is just very briefly uh queen because we've spoken and i know that there's been some back and forth of where's this response from queen seraphina uh that response is coming she said in the chat like she's gonna watch it and go over it i think she needs time to digest which is completely fucking understandable uh given everything that's happened um i think as well like jumping to conclusions when it's somebody you've had like a long-term friendship with uh, is understandable like i i completely get it um we we might come to like uh some more of that later with um with the video itself we're just gonna uh, we're gonna kind of jump into it and then go over into like separate bits and bobs as they come out because that seems to make the most sense i guess ish um 
because this is an interesting response. Now, I made a prediction. I made a prediction. And what was Beckett's lovely prediction? Beckett's prediction was that Lyo would uh, build a defense around himself by attacking other people. And the reason I said that is because that's what he appeared to do at the last, at the end of his last like three hour video, where he seems to like go in on Akumu. That's what he seemed to do in the Senate call on February the 28th and February the 29th to a lesser extent, where he's going in on uh, kind of people who are also fucking criticizing him. Um, there's also kind of, I, this call is weird. For those who've listened to it, you'll notice that the audio is there from the call. It's very chopped up. Now, I don't know whether a call, this, this call is going to get released. I do know that it, the understanding was that it was not going to be a recorded call. We'll come to that. But, um, the fact that this audio is very chopped up doesn't really help because it, again it's very oh this is what was said this is what's relevant people were upset people are always upset you've had four hour Fed senate calls screaming at people who are upset that didn't fucking seem to stop you then so <laughs> um i'd also just like to say uh, i am the senate now i am claiming it uh we're going full dark side with this um <laughs> That seems like a fun meme. I like that meme. That's hilarious. Uh, let me fucking get rid of uh, that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, right. Any any questions? Any anything before we need to, <laughs> we need to get started? Beckett, uh, was there a space on your bingo card that Peaches would delete their YouTube channel? We'll come to that. Uh, do you know what? There was. There was. It was. It was a very very slim chance. Now. The report is that everything is gone. That is not fucking true. So Peaches Live still exists. Interestingly, I don't know whether they haven't caught it yet. Uh, the Ko-Fi, I don't know whether, I don't really want to click on a Ko-Fi link, um, but I am told that these links no longer lead anywhere. Um, I, I, they're, they're burnt. Everything's, everything's gone. It's dead. <laughs> it's fucking in the ground. This isn't just a, hey, I privated things. This is, oh shit, like, slash and burn now the question like I, i'm going to be honest uh for those of you out there who are interested in archival stuff uh these are one of those reasons why we think about archival stuff it's it's actually kind of important um one thing i will say as well about the glitch tail stuff i don't know the glitch tail stuff but i have spoken to now a, uh, like one or two people about the glitch tail stuff and i've seen how people are feeling about that again laughy jokey silly british man but that seems to be something that really fucking matters to people i think it's a shame those videos are gone um if there is a chance to get those videos back for the people like who it matters to i think that would be good at least aside from everything else that's going on it, it seems to you know again i don't know the context but it seems to fucking matter to people good evening evan um confirmed the allegations about the attack i got no idea what the fuck you're talking about uh sorry dude um uh peach is not safe for work twitter is still up but her original is gone um, okay, so I, I've seen like a couple of random alt peaches accounts. I don't know if she runs them. I've got no fucking idea. The uh Erin Rogue. I actually no, I need to correct myself. I need to correct myself. Apparently Peaches goes by he they pronouns now. I will try and be good about that through this. Um I only found this out like fifteen minutes ago. So <laughs> I'm fucking uh we'll go for that. Um Okay. Uh yeah yeah do you want to do you want to come on uh is that cool um sorry i'm just running out of this uh, one, two, one, two, three, one. um because that would help um same person named streamline workshop called out leo and peaches on twitter uh okay, cool there we go give me just one second hi it's me hi good evening queen hi. how you doing <laughs> Good evening. Uh, actually, give me one moment. Uh, yeah, take, take, oh, take, take. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I sound like I'm caught on. Like, I immediately have to go. To <laughs> okay. okay, lovely. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I need a way to work this out. Why am I doing it that way? Oh, yeah, no, I need to do, do that and then do this. Listen, we don't do pro streaming here. We do... Beckett just about has enough of his shit together to, to scream into the void. That's, that's pretty much where we're at. I don't even have it. I don't have a camera on this one. <laughs> so well prepared. Okay, pop out. That's that's really what's important. Uh, give me a sec. Let me go. You, and then you, and then you. Lovely. So we can have a 
doing it of some kind. Cool. Oh, it's going well. So, it's going well so far. It's going well so far. I'm proud of myself. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? Um. Hello, Mr. Buckets. Hello, chat. Good evening. Uh, I can't provide their Twitter in here for some odd reason. It's probably because you're not a mod. Um, sounds like you're probably Becky. That's true. Uh, give me one second. Uh, same person named... Some person named Streamline Workshop called out Lyo and Peaches on Twitter like two years ago. Um, you can find me on Twitter and you can at me at Beckett of Crabs. Uh, that would be very helpful. Um, is your call only Discord going to be called the Senate? I'm now very, very tempted. The app is called at Streamworks. Okay. Um, let me just take a copy of that and then uh, I'm going to send that to you, Gilded, and see what you can dig up if you get two seconds. Um, okay, cool. Right. Uh, 97 bot viewers. <laughs> this bots really help. True. No, I'm kidding. Fuck. Do you think I'm technically proficient enough to fucking bot anything? Right. Um, he doesn't even mod his left hand. True. Um, Two hours. Two hours ago, not years. Oh, okay, yes. You're going to have to deal with the fact that I am very dyslexic. Uh, I apologize for that. Um... <laughs> um, okay. So, what have we What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? While I wait for Queen to get back <laughs> to, to normality. Um, right. Uh, the one thing I will say that I did find interesting about the... Um, uh, about the video is he, he like Lyo's clearly put out like toy videos like he's he's just trying to make normal content I don't know if anybody's watched his Twitter it's kind of fucking fascinating that in the midst of all this like Peaches just went dead silent and I can't say I blame her that that kind of makes sense what was bizarre was Lyo just retweeting things particularly superheroes and stuff one of the like languages he uses like, i'll deal with it i'll deal with things guys it's fine i don't know how that, well that's going buddy um if jared genesis can bot his subs i'm sure you can figure it out i think those are legitimate jared subs i'm going to be completely honest with you <laughs> i think people just want to see what's going to happen i'm sub to jared um uh, it should be the Congress, I'm telling you, or the Senate, Supreme Court, something similar. Could call it Parliament. That would be <laughs> House of Lords. We'll do House of Lords. Um, he had. A, uh, I'm a great mod. Q even admits that. Yeah, no, stop debating mod stuff. Um, okay, have you seen the Doodle Tones calls where she and Lyo scream at the autistic kid for something stupid? Um, I don't think so, though that doesn't surprise me. Uh, she posted it on her channel. That's interesting. Do I, Okay, so I know Akumu's just a bit, uh, released his second video, which focuses very hard on Doodle Tones. I think that's an interesting tactic, because, you know, you, it's sort of going all the way fucking back. Um, which kind of makes I sense. Uh, you have returned. <laughs> Welcome back. Cool. Right, I've just uh, been yeah, sat here so fucking the, ripping. The second, I joined, <laughs> the second I joined, my cat fucking hurled. Oh. Well, I hope I hope it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. The cat is fine. The cat is fine. Um, yeah, I, no, I saw you about to the stream, and I'm like, ah, fuck it, might as well. Uh, because there was a huge fight between Lyo and Crystal on my server today, and it was uh, quite the sight to behold. That doesn't surprise me. Um, so, okay, do you want to watch the video with me? Um, um, I was going to plan on talking about myself, but you know what? You know what? Fine. Go right. I, I mean, I have stuff to interject. Uh, you bet. I think you mentioned earlier that you're not too familiar with like the GTC stuff. Uh, yeah, I no, I'm not. Yeah, you know, I am because I am like, you know, one of the the proponents of people that helped Crystal in the first place with that video. So I guess uh, I, I'm very knowledgeable of it. So I, I guess I, yeah, can help I think you out there if you're wondering anything. I think that helps. Let's let's do the because we'll because it will become evident. But do you want to talk about this fight between Lyo and Crystal today? You don't need to give details. We don't want to. But just um, like honestly, it's a lot of um, like I, I was looking at that con like all me and my mods were looking at everything that was going on there, and we're not sure what to think because. Uh, I don't know. For for me, it's kind of messy because like this whole fight between them involves like a number of close friends on like both sides of the aisle here, uh, and it's just kind of like uh, I don't know if I want to say anything, but uh, I guess uh, I, I did tell them like I would start saying stuff once I watched the video to see like you know what the issue is. So 
So uh, I, guess, I guess it's fair enough to do that now. So the one thing I will say to you is, because we said this on the call previously, my yes. my prediction was that Lyo's defense would be to go after the people accusing him. Um, and that does seem to be the case. So, well, yeah, I mean, I told you that I'm pretty sure he was it was going to do that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. OK, so, well, yeah, let's, let's uh, let me turn up your volume here so I can actually listen to. The, the audio balancing on this video is all over the fucking place. Uh, the one thing we'll come to is why it's recorded. Uh, Crystal did not thought this was a private call that wouldn't be recorded. Uh, Lyo did record it and has used that audio in this, which is um, a little bit fucky when he's using that audio to attack, basically, and, and Crystal doesn't have a copy of it to defend yeah, that himself was, with. Yeah, that was, a, that was a part of the fight earlier. Um... I guess I could try and go back and see what what, what they said right there. Hold on. Uh, let me let me look up the keyword recorded right before we start. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Record. <laughs> look up the keyword real quick. Let's see here. Um. Let's see here. I also have the uh, tweet from the you person said, calling out liar. Crystal says you you said you never said I'm going to record. You never said sure I'll call to the call. Um, before you said sure I'll call. Yeah, that yeah that was definitely I could I could share this with you. Okay. By the way, this is not me me sharing this with you. I mean it's it's public. My server's public. Yeah, um, sure. Uh, I, yeah, my standard I, is I, I don't share DMs right unless here. people are like, yeah, um, those are shareable. I'll send this to you. You can share this with the chat because anybody can find this. He, here is, here's the gist of that conversation. Okay. Link. There you go. Yeah. So, answer that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <sighs> I'll do a quick read or anything like that. Uh, you never said I'm going to record. You never said sure or cool. Um, you said sure. To be fair, this could be a misunderstanding where Lyo replied uh, in the last part of your message. I do that sometimes. I wouldn't know, though, just offering a perspective. Um, Lyo, man, uh, you're never going... You, uh, he's responding... Uh, Lyo's responding to, you never said, I'm going to record. Uh, you just said, sure, I'll call to the call. Uh, man, okay, sure. If you want to say it was only sure to the last bit, then why didn't you specify Lyo? You must be able to see how I assumed you wouldn't record, going off sure to me, trying those uh, to me, try, uh, trying those messages. See, previous statement about the breach of trust. Yeah, that's a fair point Crystal, because you can uh, can be how the message ca can be read. I can agree on that. I like you, Lyo. I know neither of us hate one another, and we both have our own ways of handling events, um, and this is such a small point. I'm not even going to raise my reply again, as it can be argued in both ways. Can you at least send me the call, uh, as you have it recorded, as I want to go off facts and nothing more? Once you take more time to uh, to de-stress and look at all of this, once you've calmed down, absolutely. Okay, so hopefully yeah. we'll see the call. I do think the statement of, you can have the call you were in that I've used as evidence against you when you calm down is a bit bullshit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That that seems a little uh, a yeah, little, this, little this unkind. Was a, this was a, a conversation that was going back and forth for probably about an hour. So, um, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. Let's let's get into this, Lyo. Cool. Hey there. I'm Lyo Convoy. I know that you're all waiting on a video of me addressing the allegations levied at me. I promise you that is being worked on. Yes, I will be addressing everything, including interviews, testimony, and whatever else is levied against me. Addressing these situations takes time, and I have a lot of evidence to collect and many allegations to sift through and address. But today we're going to be looking at the allegations specifically made towards Hopeless Peaches and focusing on a thread made by Crystal Flame and what happened after that thread was made. The reason for that is simple. I am being accused of siding with a supposed predator, not holding Peaches to the same standard I would other people, so I am taking it upon myself to sift through these allegations and debunk them. We are going to be addressing the calls I had with Crystal, the claims made in a thread Crystal released, the hypocrisy of Crystal and her partner, Water Dorito 13, and their conduct throughout the entire situation. Let me establish a timeline. On Saturday, February 25th, Crystal Flame asked Akumu for the logs of the FCK. Since he did not provide them at the time... I'm just going to read these out, but very quickly. Um, even if Crystal is hypocritical, that doesn't really change the core point. It's just, yes, you're literally leveling... appearing to level criticism at Crystal, which are the same ones being leveled at Peaches. Well, 
doing an entire video ripping Crystal apart. That I don't know how that's a defense. I <laughs> and like surely that's just a sign that if this was anyone else, you'd be doing that, right? Let's see, here. I'm just I'm just looking at what's on screen right now. Uh, so let me ask about the stuff. So... I read that. Uh, Yellow okay. said you wanted my account. What's up? I have the FCK logs. Oh yes, I was going to ask about that stuff as I've had to learn about all of these wild people last night. If you want to help in a, a call in Senate, uh, I can chat about it. Sure. I offered my copy to Crystal. While I had the logs for a few months, I couldn't pour through all of them at once. Asuka, someone on my staff, was the one with the logs. They're massive, and we only now had a full team to dig through them. Originally, when I got the logs, the purpose was to look through them because... I'll, uh, who's Wraith? Who's Ra I don't know who Wrath is, so... Wrath. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who that is. Jesus. Uh, you messaged right after I replied to Pete. Okay, I, I guess I'll just read this out. Uh, sure. Gotcha. You messaged right after I replied to Peaches and requested about the full call. Could just be a coincidence in regards to that, though. I would like to know her involvement with the FCK, but she might seem to avoid the topic. I don't even know what that is. And if you know anything about them as well, it's a commentary group that was made in late 2019 that tried to fuck me over for almost two years. I, I, yeah, I don't know any of this. There's, there's some lore here, <laughs> I guess. Uh, wait, Wrath is Akumu? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's Akumu. Okay. Right, okay. So these are the conversations between Akumu and Lyo, where Akumu's like uh, saying, hey, I want, here are the logs. We'll look into it. And this was dated in... 23rd of the 20... Uh, 26th of the 3rd, uh, 23. Okay. So, I mean... If these messages are correct, that means that Lyra's had this information for like a year that this was, you know, that Akumu was contacting him back a year ago. Okay. All right, cool. I like how some people in the chat are like, why is Sarah here? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, fuck, I've got top chat on as well. Terrible streamer. Um, okay. Um, so this is them talking about the FCK log. So they go back a bit, and I know Lyo's like, well, they're massive. I didn't have time to go through them. Considering the, what the allegations are in relation to, like, Lyo's... Well, what is essentially Lyo's closest friend. I don't know. I feel like they knew this was coming for a while, right, then? If, like, Akuma was looking um, into it. I don't... Yeah, so... He's had the log, like, you know, that that's just a known fact, like, from what I look at here, like, yeah, the, he has the logs, but um, to say that, like, he he looked at the logs, like, I I would have no idea, personally. Okay. I, I never, what is it, I was never in the know about anything related to the FCK. I didn't even know what the FCK was until, like, a week and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I honestly have no idea, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's be charitable and give Queen Seraphina. Yeah, absolutely. Queen Seraphina has been great. Like, I, I'd, like... Again, want to be like really clear about that. Queen has been and great. By the way, um, I should be. What is it? Um, I don't know if if, uh, if Kumo still wants to chat in about an hour and thirty minutes. So I'll see if that happens. That's uh, fine. I think I let. I think the Zoom is just gonna sleep for a bit as well. <laughs> People are like, oh, she's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry, chat. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is a hostage situation. Not absolute. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> Because I heard through a third-party source that Akumu was going to use them against Peaches to make accusations, along with the fact that he mentioned several. This is really quiet. I'm sorry. It's just it's just the audio on his video. There's not much I can do about it. It dips up and down. People were scheming to harass him at the time in 2020, helping with the drama dispute. Despite the fact that these people should not have targeted a kid in general, or the prevention of false accusations being brought about, really isn't on the level of predation, which is why the logs weren't immediately come through in their entirety. Whilst we did find Peaches' messages, I didn't consider them to be a massive issue worth addressing immediately well that was my opinion at the time it obviously needs to be looked into more, oh which is what's okay done never mind never mind <laughs> so he did go through them looked at them after the rosa shit knowing what was in it knowing what like had happened in other servers where they torn people apart and he was like no nah, it's not a big deal which again like Lyo's is going to frame these accusations as well he's a hypocrite and this is from these particular people but to be clear like i've combed over far more of this shit and it's a wider pattern of behavior of him just being a massive dick <laughs> like selectively um 
so I don't I don't know if this actually fucking helps. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'll. I'll I'll address this in the chat real quick. Somebody brought like sure. what I said to Jordan. Um, what I said to Jordan was like me and two other people had genuine issues with with a bunch of the stuff that Jordan was doing. Like because me and those people have been around Jordan for quite some time. Um, we we have we had actual criticism there. It wasn't to like manipulate him or like to purposefully give him a hard time. We had actual problems and those were resolved like we're cool now it's fine <laughs> I, I don't i don't know i don't know what the hell is with with that bullshit it's it's, it's we're, we're fine guys don't worry about it yeah i think it's one of those where it's just a lot happening very quickly um and i know that like we've spoken and people have been pretty open of how that video uh could have could look even though i i believe you that it wasn't your intention to just sort of like destroy kumu entirely it's like the um feelings you have towards the vita case and those being very strong feelings, um, hence the response. So I think that's I think that's fair enough. Okay, let's keep going. Now that Crystal brought them to my attention again, Crystal poured through them and found some things that concerned them. So we got in call and started talking about it. This is the first time Peach has heard about this. I wasn't like hiding it or anything. Because when a coo started asking me about. Like MCK stuff. I didn't even remember what that even meant. <laughs> For me, and then like when he did, when I did finally remember, I only remembered a couple of people who were in there. I want to be really clear about this. Lyo has never had any mercy on somebody because they're upset. Neither has Peaches. When other people have gone through shit, it doesn't matter. You did something wrong. We're going to tear you apart. Like, I just... It, again, this is selective. Like, just playing Peaches fucking crying um, is a sympathy bit. And it's, it's a bullshit sympathy bit, in my opinion. Funnily enough, Crystal made it clear that what we found of Peaches conducting herself inappropriately around minors was nothing too bad, just something that would give Omnia and Akumu more ammo. And it wasn't something they were too concerned about, and Crystal had the full logs. And Crystal did voice that to Peaches as well as soon as they joined the call. No, I just, I'm stressed out because I don't remember. I, just hearing your voice, I generally believe that you don't remember these screenshots. You don't remember these chats taking place because, you know, it's such a little bit of your life, and well, I can give you that benefit of the doubt. We all know they went. It's just that's Crystal talking, I believe. Um... Yeah, Crystal's messaging me right now. Actually, I'm like, okay, there's there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, again, this is a. Mm, very different kind of Senate call than the ones that we've heard previously. Uh, interestingly. Sucks. Crystal said they understood Aaron didn't remember these things, and told him that there was no need to take immediate accountability. <laughs> let's, let's work out. Next six hours, okay? Next uh, six upcoming hours. Or it could be longer if you want, but I think six hours is a good time frame. First half an hour to an hour, you know, we're gonna finish this chat up, you know, all that happy stuff. And then within that time, you're going to be with your friends, you can compose yourself, okay? You're going to, you know, come back, you know, where you are, calm your mind down and everything like that. Then, you can go over what has been sent, what has been shared, what has been talked about, my points and the points that Lion might have, and then you talk to you and your friends and work out, okay, how am I making a post about this? And you can make hundreds of drafts if you need to, within that time, you know, how the phase is best. And if you need me to comment on it, I'm more than happy to help you write that public post as well, okay? When we went through the logs, we found Peaches making inappropriate comments in the server, a space that had minors in it due to the lack of age gating and roles to distinguish minors. Okay. They went through the logs. They found Peaches making inappropriate comments towards minors. Also in a, in a call where there were minors, and more things were happening there with Toasty, with uh, the 15 year old. Um, Peaches did know also, like this whole, I don't remember this. Like, sure, maybe, I, I can believe that. It doesn't change the fact that these are actions you've fucking taken and other people would have torn people apart for. It wasn't an excuse for Rosa that she was uh, like, like she is 
not fully me- mentally capable. It wasn't an excuse for Jax that he was like 15, which Lyo's going to keep bringing up. Peaches was re- like 18. This was years ago. It wasn't an excuse for anyone else. This is a defense video. You can, Lyo can say, oh, Peaches has held herself to account. I'm holding her to account. But this isn't the sort of accountability that you have previously used or pushed to people. This is softy softy. Like, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> If you'd released a call of you shouting at Peaches and being like you're an idiot, that would this would actually be a different story. You with me, Queenie? You're right. I'm looking off to the side right now, where like I have about ten people messaging me. <laughs> you could probably guess. You could probably guess why. Yeah. No. I, I'm. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I get it. <laughs> like the fir- the first message I see is from one of my mods saying your server became a war zone. Apparently. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of like, yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> just keep, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck, dude. <laughs> and, and listen, I'm listen. This is why we're here together. I'm, I'm gonna help you through this. This is okay. this can be our struggle session. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. <laughs> the, <laughs> the important thing is we make friends along the way. That's that's it. I'll just I'll take silver lining. Fuck it. Yet Peaches never posted anything pornographic, nor had a sexual conversation with anyone they knew was a minor. Yes, there were minors around, but Peaches never purposely directed sexual content at them. However, Peaches recognized. Uh, just very quickly, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true from the logs, and I can be corrected here because uh... there's a lot. But I, be- I don't. I believe she had a conversation with uh, the 15-year-old Slimes or whatever the fuck their name is, where she was talking about Toasty jacking off in a sub in a VC. Yeah, I don't... All I remember is, like, what is it? There was the... Uh, all I remember was the one video, like, I think that was posted in 2019, where, what is it, they acknowledged, like, the ages of one of those specific people that was discussed. That's all I remember. I think there's a message in the server where it's pointed out how young that person is. There's one other person who, like, Lyo mentions in this who's underage and Peaches, like, may not have known. But again, there's no age gating in these servers, which, again, is my continued criticism of kind of shit that happens there. Like, no one age gates anything. No one age verifies anything. And then these things happen. And minors lie about their age. And you're still accepting that risk you're putting people at. Um... Theoretically, this is why not safe for work stuff generally can be a really bad idea. Um, Because I'm not saying you're fucking Uh, ID somebody because that's just impractical. Another person messaged me. I see off to the side. Your server became a COD lobby. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Yeah. uh, Listen, the next one, next one, just call the next one Supreme Court. Just, just lean into it. (laughs) If we need to start over, (laughs) fuck it. Supreme Court. We go through the whole fucking establishment. It'll be great. Um, okay. Um, Their past behavior is inappropriate and was reasonably distraught hearing about this. This upset was present throughout the entire call. I don't need to drag this out to make it believable. The choppy clips are due to the mental distress Peaches was in. We explained everything to Crystal, including that Peaches was still under the control of their groomer when they were active in the server, which left them having learned their kind of behavior as normal and desirable, even if their groomer wasn't present in the server. This wasn't used as an excuse, merely to give context to what kind of situation- Hold on. Okay, two things. Firstly, you presenting this kind of Peaches was groomed uh, groomed thing is an excuse. Even if you don't want to call it, in this case, you are presenting an excuse. You're not presenting context. Like, that that's not how this works. Um, and even if that was the case, the time to talk about this was um, much later on. Like, it, like we, you've uh, had years. Uh, somebody asking me, uh, why did Senate give Zaid a second chance? From what I recall, the main reason why Zaid was given a second chance is because Cartoon She was okay with it. Okay, so I don't know the Zaid stuff. Um, but it's a, it's a it's <laughs> yeah, no, let's not dive in because I think that also relates to other accusations that I've heard against Lyo and Peaches that this was selective. So even if the argument is that person's fine with it, I, I don't know if that would fly generally speaking, right? Because if somebody's you know fine about something, that doesn't change the fact that they've done something shitty, well, yeah. It was like you know, cartoon she was okay with it. Um, cartoon she did want to see like Zaid get better, at least okay. from what I recall. Um, the other part was is that 
uh, it was worrisome that like Zaid would go off and like do even worse things if nobody was like even attempting to keep an eye on them. Like, yeah, I know it's, it was one of those things. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that didn't go too well. <laughs> <laughs> what was the outcome? Oh, the outcome was, is, uh, was it not too long after probably about maybe about like eight months afterwards, a year later, I put out a video. Was it uh, creepy keeps on contacting me? Creepy reading, uh, where creepy reading keeps on getting videos, um, or no videos, like screenshots and other like comments from other people, uh, like of Zaid, like saying really unhinged shit. Um, no, I'm not changing the subject. I'm just answering. No, 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 no. Like it's, it, it's fine. This is this is me doing this as well. Uh, just to be clear. When. Yeah. Queen isn't derailing. Uh, yeah, I'm derailing. It was, it was after that. It's like, yeah, we told you uh, you're going bye bye now. And, and Zaid went bye bye. So that makes sense. Um, at some point, because I can see it in the chat as well. Like, so we played last stream the cool Kumu had with Peaches. Where Kumu is clearly in a really distressed state, and this is why the sympathy card really isn't working because it's not just this; it's the pattern. But I don't know if you've ever heard that call. Um, I might send it to you to provide some context at some point uh, because it's it's bad. It's it's really and it's again it's a it's like a rosa call. It's an uncomfortable lesson. Um, okay, let's go. Situation Peaches was in back then, and how it influenced their actions. If Slimmers was there, then I think I knew their age as 16 or 17. 15. 15. Like, you were aware they were 15. Like, I think this this is determined. They're not 16, 17, 15. Yeah, but you were also <laughs> you were also dealing with the after effects of being groomed because you were still in contact with the guy who groomed you. Because this is what, right before Cosmodor stuff happened? <laughs> this is before Cosmodor. So you didn't even come to realization of what happened to you until after he got exposed, because that's when you started questioning things. Crystal. Okay, so this bit here, this is like you're clearly coaching her. That's the argument. Oh, you know, like she's not saying that. Lyo is. Oh, but you were groomed. But this is the this is the point you were at. And I I think again, I've seen a couple of people say this. That you know, this call is clear coaching. Like, Lyo is hand-holding her. This isn't accountability. This is, we'll lead you through this. Um, which I think is not here, a good fucking luck. Here, here's my thing. Like, at bare minimum, right? Mm -hmm. At least from, like, what I'm seeing from all of this. Um, you know, you have, that, you have that case of hypocrisy there. All you have to say is, like, yeah, no, I admit to it. Yeah, no, this is obviously hypocritical. And really, just move on the best that you can. Um... That's all I would really say, uh, but this has just turned into a greater mess than what it probably could have been. Well, I think the um, I think the reason it's turned into that greater mess, and again, why I've focused in on it, is because this, you know, if Lyo and Peaches were the sort of people they presented themselves to be, I think they probably would do that. Um, I, I think they can go, okay, well, fuck, we fucked up. And Lyo even now could have gone, shit, actually, you're right, I have done this thing that I in in some regards seems to have happened before of I've defended somebody because I've seen them through ro rose tinted glasses and that's not been a mass thing. I agree that deplatforming is too far. I don't think Peaches needed to delete her channel and her Twitter. No. Um I think that is effectively far. Frankly also I don't I, I don't like deplatforming and also it, it, it fuck it fucks content for the future, frankly. I'd love to see how this turns out. But, I mean, like, I, I mean, like I said, like I wanted those glitch tail videos to stay up. They were still important to me. Like they were important yeah. to everybody else. I, we still wanted those videos to stay up. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's um, it isn't. What's a good way to put it? It 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 sucks because there there is content there that people care about. Um, and yeah, that needs to that can be viewed through a different lens. It's also, frankly, um. I think we said this about the uh, Jack's call, and I, I spoke about one call on my previous channel, where like it, it's a it's a thing that's fucked. You fucked up. You've done wrong, and you just go cool. That's a, a reminder, and B, you shouldn't do this by covering your past up. Like I just, uh, I think that's again doesn't help anybody because it, it makes you look even more guilty. And I do I, think I, mean, I think the bullying's really oh, serious. Hold on a sec. Me, me saying that like just own up to it and move on is not me defending him. I'm just saying that like there is an easier way out and that's just saying like, yeah, yeah, it happened. 
like it's it's I'm not going to I'm not saying like it's easy to admit. It's definitely not easy to admit. You know, any of us don't don't like admitting stuff like that, but it just feels like that could have just been done. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. And probably you know, should have been I done at the that. beginning. And like and again, if 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 things keep coming out like these kind of like uh, other actions be both of them have taken, that's something they're going to have to deal with. And, and interestingly now, like, Lyo is probably going to be last man standing, uh, left holding the bag, because if Peaches has deleted everything, I don't, I don't know where that leaves him, really. Uh, remember, according to Lyo and Peaches, the victims are all that matter. Is that, if that's true, why, uh, DFE? Yeah. Um, and I, I, you know, we spoke about the glitch shells thing. I know it's important. I know it's important to everyone involved. It seems like I, if Crystal was involved, it seems like it's important to C Crystal. Originally told Peaches to take a break and comforted them. So we left the call with the understanding I would handle the situation as Crystal had agreed to within the call. And that's the sad beyond two percent. I'll get it handled. I'll get it handled. Okay. I'll get to it. Because well, I, I'll get it just... handled and I can get I can easily get this video up for him. Even if I stay up all night, I can get it done. This comes up during the thread and second call later. Now, before we continue, I want to note that a lot of people seem to think I'm not being consistent. That I'm not holding a Peaches accountable for this incident four years ago like I have others. To that I say... How? So far, no one actually managed to give me a basis of comparison. Which is kind of required if you want to call me a hypocrite Wait, what? since I need to be inconsistent. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I was just letting it play! Because I heard it I'm and like... the same fucking thing! <laughs> I- I'm... <sighs> I'm not gonna say anything. I, look, I don't, I don't blame you. We'll let it play. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, this is why he's gone after Crystal. No one's giving me a basis of comparison. Rosa cool. What Rosa cool? I addressed the Rosa cool. She, she's still wrong. That's what he said in his last video. We can go. I'm happy to bring it up. I know, I know everyone's seen it. But people can check me on this. He accepted. He accepted in his last call, I should not have used ableist language on Rosa. That was wrong with me. The way I behaved was wrong. But why I did it was correct. I stand by that. Okay, cool. So the fact that you did those call outs in those ways, not just with Rosa, but with multiple people. You stand by that. This is these are the standards of comparison. Lyo wants to focus in just on the FCK and just on things like Crystal, but it is a wider thing than that. And the fact that he refuses to listen, probably because he, all he's doing is retweeting fucking Batman pictures, is the same that, you know, he doesn't want to deal with this. His comment section is a fucking mess. As far as I can tell, there's claims of, like, uh, people deleting comments. Uh, anyone who brings anything up, he just insults. This isn't what accountability looks like. This is, this is the dead opposite of it. It's a fucking veneer. ...assistant in another situation in order to be a hypocrite. Aside from that, neither Peaches nor I have ever demanded account deletion or expulsion from random- None of- no one else has either! No one else has done- done- done this. This is a red fucking herring. No one said delete your accounts. No one said being expul- uh, like, expulsion. Like, no- no one said that. What the fuck are you talking about? And actually, Peaches has kicked people from Senate, uh, when they've done things like this. Like, Peaches has been like, oh, they need to be removed. When- when- when she was going after Kumu and like Leo didn't uh, support her, she's in DMs with Jordan going, he doesn't love me, he's not really my father, he doesn't care about me in the family unit. She absolutely does like do uh, push for like this ganging up thing. She has done that. It's been shown that she's done that. And observer people that don't filter themselves. People like Artie, Veer, or Vita were actually targeting children, grooming them, and targeting them with sexual content, and that's why they were called out the way they are. People like Artie, who is on record dating multiple minors, complaining about how slow they have to go, or Veer, who admits to sending his nudes to the mod squad in the GT crew, people he knew were minors. Unless kids were specifically targeted, when I run into servers like the FCK, I'd rather snatch up the mods and get them to properly age gate or get better admins. While per Rosa wasn't a mod. Okay. Rosa wasn't a mod. What the fuck I are you don't... doing that? I'm like, isn't the core of the issue here is just like talking about the hypocrisy on display? Like, I don't, I don't understand like why, why all of this in particular is being brought up. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, what you mean from Lyo's side with bringing up the other? Yeah, because like remember yeah. when I said from the beginning that. It's just it's just talking about like the, the 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 main criticism here is that there is hypocrisy at play, right? Okay. And then now it's it's talking about 
Well, this isn't the same thing as like, let's say like the GTC stuff or, you know, or, or, or other stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's so strange. It's, it's very strange. I don't, I don't get is the line of reasoning here. Is it, is it low? Cause I, okay. Okay. Like I, I, again, leveling with you. I, I think this is fully understandable because what else, what other defense does he have? These are the other people we caught. They did worse things, but that is like, again, batting away different fucking allegations by going, well, here's, here's actually what the, the really serious stuff. And it's like, it doesn't change their actions. That's that's, I think that's why it's there. Um, and because then he gets to point at other people and why those actions have been taken, but completely, like, I don't think Rose is mentioned in this call at all. Because why would it? Why would she be? She just goes after Crystal. Yeah. Personal responsibility is important. The people in charge have to be held to a higher standard. We had someone pull the metadata from the server to determine the roles, and none were made specifically for kids. We'll go more in depth when I cover the FCK as a whole. Suffice it to say, it's not inherently what it appears to be from the standpoint currently given. There are people that need to be held accountable, absolutely, and yes, that does include Peaches. Slimmers was in the chat. Slimmers was a minor. Peaches knew that. However, Peaches never spoke sexually to them. Okay. This is Rat Neon. Uh... No, I don't know what I was doing while drawing these. Ah, uh, yes, you were thinking of character designs, I bet. Um, that's, I guess, from Slimmers. Uh, or, like, something to do with Slimmers. I, I don't know what these logs are actually showing. Uh, I don't know who the rat Neon is. Who will fill me in. But, again, these are pretty selective, I, I think. To them, and the art rooms made specifically for them were made after Peaches left the server. And Peaches did say something inappropriate to a kid, telling Mimi Diggs to make the boobs on their art bigger, but by Mimi's recollection, Peaches and her rarely interacted, and Peaches didn't know her. Quick question Do you think Peaches was aware of your age in the FCK? No, I don't think she really interacted in there. Uh, thanks, just trying to purse through things, no problem. Her age. Unlike, say, Toasty, who knew all the ages of the miners and invited them in, as the FCK was invite only and yet still spammed the chat with porn. And when I get to the FCK logs themselves, I am absolutely going to be talking about her too. And Peaches has been held accountable, which is why they took public accountability for their action, apologized, and made a continuous effort to be a better person, leaving their platform by their choice. I wouldn't expect any more for what they- Sorry, that just makes me laugh at how much she sounds like Linkara. But, um, <laughs> I thought I was like, hmm, that's an interesting Linkarism. Um, so, Peach has put out a Twitter th uh, thread taking accountability. Now, let's just talk about that thread slightly, because we've said this before. That came out a day before Akumu's video. It's because she had to. They've had these, like, that conversation about the FCK server happened a year ago. 2023, almost, you know, it, almost to the day. Uh, like this was brought up they had time and didn't do anything with it until they absolutely fucking had to and when we're talking about peaches leaving her uh her channel by her choice okay well she's done that now but the last thing put out on there was hey i'm gonna change everything up that's no mention of why and it's fucking obvious why that these aren't accountability actions they're damage control actions and it's really important that we differentiate what those two fucking things are oh my god okay by the way like and subscribe to the stream otherwise jenny will beat me um okay <laughs> um right you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm just looking at the chaos. Yeah, right no, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna keep uh, checking in with you. You don't have to contribute. I'm just I'm just making sure you're good. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, like I told you, uh, what is it? Like I wanted to watch the video eventually. I was either gonna like live stream. I, I still probably will do something on my own end. Uh, cause yeah. Because I, I did say I was I was waiting for him to respond. Uh, and as he continues to put stuff out. I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, you're free, you're free to use any it. of this as well, or like any statements I make. Yeah, um, so so this is me hearing this video for the first time. Yeah. Uh, while simultaneously looking at uh, the COD lobby that's going on on my left screen. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th if, if, people, if people are wondering what, why my mind is like melting in real time, that's why. It, don't yeah, worry that's, about me, guys. That's fine. <laughs> <I'm> fine. <laughs> Good evening, Akumu, by the way. Uh, how you doing, buddy? They've done. And if you do, I think you need to reassess. Besides, what more can they do? 
An action of this caliber four years ago doesn't need to end in deplatforming, especially if that behavior was accounted for and corrected in the following years. Now we come to the thread crystal. Uh, following years being recently, like, <laughs> like <laughs> when they absolutely had to. Again, if you, I cannot, I cannot describe to you like cons why conscripting some somebody into something because they have to do it isn't the same as volunteering. I mean, the call with crystal, it was because I was going to mention peaches. Yeah, released. Despite telling me on our first call they'd let me handle it, and we'll talk about the call I had with Crystal after the thread was released on the 26th, Crystal asked for a conversation. At the time, I let them know Peaches was on the break that Crystal suggested, and I was- Hello, uh, Lyo, Aaron, Dorito. Uh, something like, again, the tweet that was released two hours ago, uh, which we'll go over, mentions Dorito. I don't know who the fuck Dorito is. You please get some normal fucking names. Uh, we need to have a chat as a collective, as there's information we all need to talk about. Please message here as soon as you see these messages. Uh, Lyo, I'm working, I'm in a work meeting, and even uh, by your recommendation, Aaron is taking a break for a week. Fair enough. I was in a work meeting. Before waiting for any further reply or call, Crystal decided to release their thread. This thread had a lot of very loaded claims in it, and I will go through it step by step to disprove them. Recent revelation of Hopeless Peaches, a thread. I want to address the recent revelation regarding Hopeless Peaches. They have been banned from my community as well as any communities associated with me. The fact that you made this public thread to address this when you said yourself you wanted to handle this privately is hypocritical. You said in our first call you didn't want to make a thread because this isn't a big deal. No, I'm saying this is what could happen. Not because I'm going to do it. Because I'm not going to. This, again, this, I'm, I'm handling it the way I want to handle it. You know, no one's telling me to handle X, Y, and Z. This is how I want to. If it was bigger or if it yeah, was anywhere close to what they're trying to frame it as, we wouldn't be talking. There would be a public thread already. But they're going to handle it that When did this call happen? Um, I believe this call happened uh, not too long before that thread that Crystal was made. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this call happened. So that's not what hypocrisy means, Lyo? Yeah, no, it's not. Like, Crystal just, Crystal just decided, okay, cool, fuck it. I'm going to release the thread. I don't know why, because we don't have the full call, Lyo, because you've chopped it into fucking pieces. I don't know if there's something else in that call that pushed Crystal in that position. And also, the February the 25th, thank you, February the 25th, that's very interesting. So that's before the, like, 28th call of, I'm going to destroy Jordan. So that's, that's an interesting change of fucking pace. Um, right, okay. So... Like, this call happens, Crystal isn't happy, like, Lyo says we're in a, they're in a meeting, like, like, because Crystal sent the message to Lyo that we've just seen, Lyo says they're in a meeting, this call has already fucking happened, so that suggests there is something else that's happened in the intervening time that has made Crystal go, actually, do you know what, fuck you guys, and the other thing is, like, if that's February 25th, Akumu, I don't know when your video came out, but... I don't know whether it's something in the Peaches thread. It could be. It could be fucking something that happened in Senate. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, this is a little selective and down the fucking road. That way, they're going to literally take this tiny bit of proof, this tiny bit of evidence, which is unseasoned at fucking best, and they're going to make it to be like, the biggest thing in the world. That's why I would prompt as, you know, to make the post. Not because, like, <laughs> it needs to be said, but it's just beating them to the punch. You mentioned that you wanted to handle this privately in a call with Lin Lin, yet here you are, making a thread before even having a call with either of us about what you found. That's what I am planning to do, because again, I don't I don't want to make this, I, I'm not planning to make this public. I just want this to be privately, between people, handled like adults as it fucking should be. You said you don't want this to be a drama fest, yet run around telling people about this going on, making this entire thread. TLDR, I want to keep most of this... The part where Peaches admits she knew Summers was a minor was held on uh, February the 25th. The part Lyo just played might not be the 25th. That's interesting. Private, you know, handle it adult to adult. Not a big fucking drama fest. Apart from Butters, Butters needs to be publicly called out, you know, exposing kids. Who the fuck is Butters? Is that Toasty? I... I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know these names. I beg butters. you people, consistent fucking names, please. Who's Butters? Please. God.
<laughs> fucking the weirdest camouflage technique I've ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> oh, fucking Jim was right. Fuck it, whatever. Cool, let's go. Shit, that's disgusting. Not only that, you actively tell people to wait for all the spicy de- Okay, Crystal Flame, it gives me time. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm not happy, Bunny, per se. None of us are happy campers. I really think that she, she like, actually addressed the shit people want to wanna hear. I really hope that she, like, actually addresses the shit people want to hear. Good news, everyone. Now I need a billion bajillion dollars. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'll remember how I am a problem on purpose. No idea. Oh ho ho, wait till you find out the sp spicy extra details. So when you're referring to the spicy extra details, yeah. Like, again, in like Crystal Thread, those are spicy additional details. Now I have those because Omnia tweeted them out as well. They're the only place I can find them. But I don't know the context of this, whether it's a group call or a Discord or anything. But it's not like you're not in a culture of calling people out for shit. This is, again, the fucking source problem of this. You're, you're not in a, let's have a private call and hash things out. You're in a, let's either stream it or record it or fucking release it. Or, like, release multiple videos of tearing people apart. For, for varying levels of tracing to grooming. It's, you know, this is how the community works. Details and you like getting to make vague tweets about the thread you were about to drop. This individual whom I once trusted and admired played a significant public role during the GT situation. However, I have recently uncovered disturbing information that has shattered my perception of them entirely. I was the third party who Hopeless Peaches was talking about with the FCK chat. I conducted an impartial investigation into the matter. I confronted Hopeless Peaches directly, expressing my disappointment and labeling them a hypocrite. You do leave out that you told them, with your own words, to take time to distress and comforted them. You also leave out that you said you understood why they behaved that way and that there was no need for immediate accountability. What we're saying, what he's saying, is that you don't need to deal with it right in this second, right in this 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right now. You right now just need to focus on your breathing, focus on composing yourself. I believe there could be an opportunity for growth and learning, but they needed to face the music for their actions. As I pushed for them to make a public statement, which they eventually did, more information came to light. It has been revealed that when Hopeless Peaches was 18 or 19 years old, they engaged in inappropriate sexual behaviour and gatekeeping trauma with minors within the Glitchtail Amino community. Sexual truth and dare games. An Undertale staple it seems, eh? Here's where Crystal starts trying to frame Peaches as a predator based on really I don't take your time because that's okay. an interesting statement because that seems like the additional information so, that came to light. So that... Crystal, so Crystal has been telling me, uh, like in DMs that like I have never, I've never called, you know, Peach is a predator. I've never compared Peaches to Artie and Veer. Um, so if I'm gonna read that, uh, could you pull just a little bit back a couple of seconds? Yeah, sure. Do you want to see the actual tweets? Because I've got uh, them. Oh, no, no, no. Just, just, for, just go back like five seconds. I want to see that. Um, okay, actually, no. Wait, actually, go back another five seconds. <laughs> you mean back to the previous first one? This one? Uh, no, I, yeah, I was wanting to see the... Like, so a staple in the Undertale community. Oh, that, that, okay. Sexual Truth and Dare Games Undertale. Like, okay. Yeah, here we go. I always, like, at least from, like, what this screenshot is showing is trying to imply that, well, Crystal is implying that, well, if it's an Undertale staple, that means, you know, Peaches is being predatory. But, but no, I, I, what, what Crystal is saying here, at least from my point of view, right, is that there were several people, like, around in the glitch tail circles that would simply just be inappropriate around minors, right? Not necessarily predating on them, but just being inappropriate, right? This is how I yeah. see that. And I don't, I, I, I don't know, like as uh, with me being around Crystal for a while and us taking a look at probably about what, like probably a dozen people who were guilty of like the same thing. Like I trust Crystal's judgment on this one. I, I think this one is definitely a stretch. Okay. Uh, I can see uh, Lan once in. 
Uh, I want uh, in lol. Fuck, actually, we're not doing. I we're actually not have do to bounce now. Yeah, okay. Because apparently, uh, I, I, I apparently I was an hour off. I thought Kuma wanted to talk in an hour. Okay, well, uh, not right now. I got my time zones wrong, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay. Uh, I'll watch the rest of this video later. I guess I'll probably just cover it myself. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think that's that's helpful because at least you know you're getting a fresh response. You you know, we'll chat yeah. more about this. I think. Uh, let's do. Fucking, uh, I'll do some more call-ins and we'll just have a quick chat about it. We yeah, are sure. going to get through. Uh, yeah, but, sure. I'll go yeah, ahead and bounce. Uh, I guess you can bring somebody else in. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks, Queen. In a bit. Yep. Right. Fuck my life. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to be straight up with people. I don't, I'm don't. i not like a massive call-in stream. I like to do streams on my own. But also, we're going to do like, I, I'd like to hear from Alan for this. And I'd like to talk to Akumu generally as well so um both of you that's fine let me get you a fucking discord link we'll do that is that what does that work for people we good we good we good yeah okay let, let's fucking sort that shit out um fuck what i'm gonna do is are both of you linked to gilded uh because i would prefer to distribute this through gilded not through fucking chat if that's all right uh so i've sent gilded a link um just join there and we'll we'll set up a call through that, okay? That's that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll make we'll make make Beckett's life easier, okay? That's that's all I ask. I just want an, I want an easy life. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, and there's a waiting room. Go jump in the jump in the waiting room. Um, how we doing? We did. We good. We good. We good. Fucking what a time to be alive. Um, I remember being normal. I remember when life just made sense. Doesn't anymore. Um, okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, we've got one. And uh, yeah, Lan, just jump in waiting room uh, in the call in section. You should have permissions if you don't type in chat. Uh, do I go? Yeah. Waiting room. Waiting room. There we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Uh, You're good. A lot of my people in my Discord were pressuring me to come in here. You're fine. Uh, there's no, there's no, there's no deep, deep pressure. I'm just a British man. Actually, that's probably scary enough as it is. Um, I see you're doing, you're doing all right. Kumu coming in here as well. Uh, I, yeah, he's welcome to. I think he just needs to join and stuff. He said he wanted to, so I, I, I need, I need, I, I sent the link to Gilded, so I'm hoping Gilding is, Gilded's getting it to Akumu. Um, uh, I see. Um, okay, how. So yeah, uh, if you want to just start here, what am I? What context am I missing? All right. So yes, Crystal Flame put this thread out. Um, I don't know how long in between that first call where Peaches is crying, and in between this thread, I don't know the timeline between that. Uh, but Crystal had put this thread out, and a lot was happening on that day. I believe it was. Uh, I believe it was. Shit, I actually can't remember. It was probably last Tuesday. Um, but, uh, yeah, Crystal Flame put this thread out. And on the same day, uh, they had a conversation with uh, Leo, or Lyo, uh, and which I assume is one of these recordings that he's showing. And then uh, Crystal Flame made a ton of retractions to their thread. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it would be relevant to pull up the entire thread. Uh, uh, we can do. Let me share it to the uh, call. Give me a sec. Uh... All right. Because I could link the amendment one to you as well. Yeah, that would be that would be great. Uh, you can just DM me. Um, okay. That, but I've got uh, so because uh, yeah, Crystal Flame. So Crystal Flame's current response is working on my reply. Just give me time. I'm just hurt. So um, I've got so I've got the original tweets that were sent out because I've got them from Omnia. Uh, well, not from Omnia, but Omnia put them up. If that makes sense. Um, so. Then we've got the uh I can correct it. Um okay. So amendments to the thread uh closing notes. Firstly, Lion and I have had a discussion regarding the situation, direct messages, and during a call. We have reached an agreement where I accept the ban was imposed as I requested for myself and the Senate to be separate. I, I don't know what the ban is, but that's fine. So what happened is that after the uh the initial Twitter thread uh, Crystal almost got immediately banned from the Senate. 
Now, Leo will say, well, that's because she, they asked to be banned from the Senate. I don't really believe that personally, because who asks to be banned from a server instead of just leaving it? Yeah. And also, Crystal Flame would not have uh, messaged me and several other people, as well as tweeting, oh, I just got banned, if that was the case, if they were asked to be banned on request, right? So that's sure. the ban that, that they're referring to. Okay. So, okay. In order to maintain that separation, I will refrain from making any complaints as to what I requested, per se. We both believe that it is important to prevent this situation from escalating further. I request that no one sends him any hate or negative comments towards him. This is February 27th, by the way. I just wanted no, to... This is actually... The, or maybe... It, I don't know. For me, it says it's the 26th, which is the same day as the original thread. It's probably because I'm different time zone to you. Ah, uh, okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, I just wanted to distance all of my friends from any backlash that might have happened due to what came to light, as I deeply care for and value all the victims involved in the GTC situation. I want to ensure that any drama and all third parties not tarnish the stories of the many victims who I fought tooth and nail to get out there. I do see how my actions have quite emotion uh, are, have been quite emotionally driven due to my personal connections with the situation. Secondly, I have decided to remove the fifth uh, f uh, 5 out of 18th segment of my thread, I believe that relying on single screenshots to declare something as the absolute truth or to establish the truth and, uh, and dare game as reality is insufficient. Throughout the year and a half of navigating... Sorry, go ahead. No, it's okay. I was going to clarify what they were talking about, but you can continue if you don't need the context for that. Sure, go ahead. I think that's I think that's helpful for people tuning in. So the fifth part of that initial Twitter thread was Crystal calling out old Amino chats um, from back when I think Peaches was about 19, uh, where she was engaging uh, with minors in slightly sexual suggestive conversations. Uh, it's really nothing too eyebrow raising, in my opinion. Uh, and also, it's hard to know if she knew that people were minors at the time. But the reason why the Crystal's retracting them is because, well... It's it's not a whole lot of proof. It's mostly just testimony. So, okay. yeah, I saw I saw that it was sort of like an outline. I think it's I, again. I, I've said this multiple times. I think a lot of that speaks to like um, speaks to kind of the the personality of Peaches and the actions she takes generally, which is what people are striking at. But yeah, I accept that that's probably not enough evidence given some of the like more serious implications to it sure um throughout the year and a half of navigating these complex situations i have found held myself to a high standard i have made it a priority to gather copious amounts of screenshots logs and evidence to substantiate my claims in light of these uh of this commitment to thoroughness i have decided to retract my previous claims regarding the truth or death segment however it is important to highlight that in 2018 and 2019 i firmly believe that peaches failed to handle herself appropriately she under undermined the story of a victim of sexual abuse through gatekeeping, which I find deeply troubling. It is worth considering that Peaches may not have been in the right mindset during this time, given that she was being groomed by an abuser for seven years. Okay, like, I fucking, I hate this point. Uh, I just, I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> I just, I just fucking had yeah, enough. It's not really a subject I like to touch either. Yeah, it's, it's just, again, it's being presented as a defense. We wouldn't do this with the other fucking people. The Senate hasn't previously. And, like, it's a clear defense. That's fine. It's a fucked up thing to happen to somebody. I've said that. I don't want to, like, dwell on it. Uh, Neil... Uh, Neil, nevertheless, even with this context in mind, I maintain that such behavior is completely unacceptable. I'm going to read through these DMs because I hate myself. And about everything else, Cubby Scouts for uh, for the win. Happy New Year and love you all. Uh, I didn't even say anything in other chats as I, I was in one. With the others, I was too busy dealing with harassment and bullying from your friends. Uh, yeah, from your friends. Hello, I'm Yoko, otherwise known in this video as Jewel. I'm going to be covering heavy topics there, here, so huge trigger warning for sexual assault, oppression, accusations. For a little background knowledge, this incident happened about five years ago when I was 10 or 11 years old. It was on the Glitch Tales and Mino, because that was one of my biggest interests at the time. At my friend's birthday party, I was essayed by her older brother, the friends there uh that helped me and i i had refused to tell my mom out of fear as at the time she was fairly abusive the incident had been building up inside me so way down on my amino account bio where i thought no one would see it i put it there just a small vent uh, to make me feel better 
it seems really dramatically written looking back you were a fucking kid but i also have to remember i was in fifth grade i had no idea what to do who to tell isaac found it i'm not sure how long after i wrote it initially everything was fine and then isaac sent me screenshots of what hopeless peaches said to me in a group chat uh, said about me in a group chat. At this time, Hopeless Peaches was 19. She said I made sexual assault look like a joke because it is something that should be kept private, like I was crying for attention, an 11-year-old, unsure of what they were doing, unsure of what ha just happened to them. On top of that, still trying to process it, made sexual assault look like a joke, all because I wrote it in my bio. What she said made me feel worse. I saw that people would... Uh, would think I lied. I couldn't tell anyone. I thought that she just pushed it down, etc, etc. A part of me hated her. A part of me believed her. And on top of it, she tried to validate her words, to which I will never forgive. Uh, but in Huge Strand Adults, I'm sorry, but God, they need to speak to people privately. Uh, back. Wow, really, Peaches? Back. Whether it is true or not, they're making sexual abuse look like a joke, as it looks like a cry for attention. So yes, Peaches did say that. Uh, any questions, thoughts? responses i fucking hate. listen i'm dyslexic guys why are you doing this to me um <laughs> okay so um oh okay i've got a question for you you've been dotting around these communities for a while because i'm gonna i'm gonna ask this to everyone if this shit keeps happening in multiple fucking servers and there seems to be a ready supply of groomers why are none of why is no one just sort of like straight up trying to deal with the core part of hey this is fucked Maybe we should, like, take some precautions or some shit? Right. I think people are starting to do that more often now, especially, you know, in the past couple of years or so. Uh, but for such a long time, I feel like a lot of this behavior has been so deeply ingrained, especially in, like, DeviantArt culture, artist culture, uh, Discord culture, where just these sorts of things were... Uh, people just kind of got used to it, you know? And I, I think... We're slowly but surely kind of rooting out this, uh, what, what people call degeneracy. Uh, but okay, I've put the process. Discord, I put the Discord link in chat. Akumu and Crystal, if you want to join, I am not turning this into a fucking panel. Um, you're welcome <laughs> to, okay? Because we're gonna, we're gonna, I do want to clarify, uh, be, Aku, I could probably leave if, if Akumu comes in because he knows everything about it and I don't, but. I have gone through a lot of the logs with him with the FCK server. I can confirm that there were never there was never an instance where Peaches knowingly had a sexual conversation toward a minor. Uh, she did have sexual conversations in there with other adults where minors were present, but she never had sexual conversations towards a minor, and she never shared, as far as I'm aware, anything explicitly NSFW. So I just wanted so, to clear up that confusion. I want to be like, uh, I, again, I, I feel like I keep having to reiterate this. So I am, I'm someone who's just laughing at people online. I'm not, I'm not high accountability. I'm not, we need to like fucking find people and take them to the police. Let the police deal with things. I, I don't fucking know. Um, but like to be, to be clear about why this shit I think matters. And like, it's really like, I, I've watched a lot of dramas unfold over the years and people always do the sideline shit. The, the core part of this is that what Crystal and Lyo do is leverage their own morality uh, and bullshit to uh, throw incredible amounts of damage at people who they don't like. And like this call, I think, like the, the video um, Lyo's just put up speaks to this shit. He's just, it's not, oh, well, you've done this and we need to treat you like we treat everyone else. It's, hey... It's okay. Don't worry. You were going through these things. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be okay. So obviously different, and this is what people are calling out. And also, the more I go over shit, whether it's the Kumu call, whether it's Rosa, whether it's Doctor Tremble, or whatever the fuck his name is, whether it's Jax, while all like people can have their own issues and problems, it doesn't sort of excuse the actions taken. Especially, I actually think particularly with Jax and Rosa, I think those are incredibly fucked up situations <laughs> to put anybody in. Um, guys, just so you know, this is a call-in Discord server. There's no chats or anything. It's fine. Right, okay, I'm going to bring in Crystal. Um, and, yeah. It, it, again, if people have things to say, that's fine. If people come in and be like, Lyo was once mean to me, like, five years ago, I, I'm going to put you down the list. There's just too much to go through. Uh, Crystal, how you doing? Crystal, can you speak? Hello, hello. hello. Yes, I can. Hi. Uh, what are your pronouns, by the way? Because I, I can't, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Oh, good. I go by she, her, they, them. No worries. Okay, cool. Just so, just so I'm I, clear. Um, cool. Okay, awesome. I've, I've just popped into the stream. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to be very careful of my wording because I have a certain lion looking at everything I say right now. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> what, Tom, Tom the Cowardly Lion? Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, okay, here's, here's, here's what I'm going to say. Um... Mm -hmm. These calls, I, I'm assuming you've seen Liar's video. Yeah, oh, yes, I have. Okay, so was this all from one call or was it multiple calls that he's this cut up? This is multiple calls. Ah, I thought we might have done. Right, it's almost mm -hmm. like you're a massively dishonest actor. <laughs> you can right, <laughs> lovely. So, what I'm gonna say, so I'm more than willing to give a lot more context to the glitch cell situation and the dub because, oh my god, was that portrayed in such a poor light. Um, but with my feelings on the video, I'm going to keep, you know, um, selective right now. As that's I need so, to that's make... fine, look, look. Yeah. Sorry. I get, I get content either because... way. I'm good. Take your time. It's exactly, fine. Exactly. So, um, <laughs> I, I cut in halfway through the stream and I like, I heard you do a comparison between me and Lyo. Um, one big difference between me and Lyo, I don't parade myself as a child predator hunter, I don't do the Senate, I don't do anything like that. Um, the main reason I'm involved in the glitch cell situation is because um, I grew up in it, if that makes sense. So since the age of 13, I was made a moderator for Camila, and I was subjected to all of this up until around 18 years old. So that's the reason I'm personally assisting with the fellow victims I grew up with. That's why I'm involved in this. And it was meant to be today, and Lyo knows this, I was releasing my video where I was going over absolutely everything in the last nine years of my life and addressing it and also talking about the dub myself. Okay. Because so he... Oh. I want to be, I wanna be yeah. really clear about this. Okay, when I made that comparison, my point is this, and I, I keep having to say this with the ACC, because there's a, no, no, I, there's a propensity. I'm well, I mean, it, it, but generally, whether you like it or not, you kind of are. Uh, but no. I mean, no, but like, sorry, that's, that's not how this game works. But like, the <laughs> point is, like, people keep doing things where they go, I, I, I've seen so many comments of Creepshow Art was right. Listen. Just because somebody else is a dick doesn't venerate, like, or free somebody else of that fucking criticism. Like, so when I say that if you've been hypocritical, because I don't know the full fucking content, it doesn't change anything about Lyo's actions. And Lyo's, um, like, response is, hey, I'm going to fucking strike at people because that's that's his way out. He's done this with Kumu, he's done this with Kumu, he's done this with... Uh, please, boys, change your fucking names, right? <laughs> he's done this with uh, Jordan and Jay because... He like it, that's his, that's going to be the tactic: discredit the people attacking you, and then hope that no one looks at the accusations. Um, and I think this is also like I, I've been really open with Queen about this. Like this is what her video looked like when I first viewed it. Now I understand why she made that video. I know people have their own opinions on Queen. That's fine, but you know, I I don't think she's just whitewashing. I think she is just taking her time, which is reasonable given the amount of time that she's um known these people. So that's that's kind of where I'm sat. Um mm -hmm. what I'd say is this. Let me get through this video. Um yeah. and um I'll keep people unless Akumu wants to come in, I don't know if he's joined the server, join the waiting room, or or he's just fucked off to make his own video, which is fine. Um and then we'll sort of like deal with things as it goes along. If you see something and you're in chat and be like, oh can I come in? We'll do it that way. I think that's easier than me pausing for comment every five five minutes if that's all right no of course okay cool uh alana alan is that lan and oh, it's enla enla oh, so hi hi crystal hi again long time they speak yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah it's really nice to meet you um right i'll say have a good evening for now and i'll see you in chat oh right no we've got a we've got a kuma all right i'll just take a bow out thank you so, for allowing me to come in bye bye always yeah uh, Crystal, I'm gonna throw you as well if that's alright. Just be in the waiting room. Yeah, all good. Uh, Kumu, you're muted. Oh, oh, hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I mean, aside from Gerd today, uh, it's been good. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, what's your feeling? Nice how, you, how, how you doing? Uh, I mean, I'm doing fine. I, I he dropped the video, and uh, I was, I was watching it, and the second it got to the part where 
uh, you know, Peaches mentioned that she knew Slimmers was in there. I immediately knew I was like, okay, I had to figure out when that particular call was had because what what a Crystal Flame said was that there's multiple calls that he spliced up in there, and he only clarifies when two of the calls took place. Mm-hmm. So I had to go to a Crystal Flame to make sure that I was right about this. But my suspicion, because they mentioned, I, I don't know if you've seen it earlier, where they're talking about how Crystal Flame advises Peaches to uh, make the thread, the Twitter thread that, that Peaches made. Yeah. So that call was done the same day, but before Peaches made that thread, which is the same call where Peaches admits to knowing that she knew Slimmers was a minor. And I find that particularly interesting because that was made before uh, Lyle finished the conundrum video. He even says uh, earlier, he said, uh, I'm going to stay up all night to make sure it gets done, referring to the conundrum video. That's the three hour so, one, right? Right? Yeah. OK. Yeah. And in that video, he claims that uh, he says that uh, he, he doesn't know if Peaches knew there were any minors and that he doubts it. But, but it, they've just had the call. That? So yeah. she knew because she's crying there. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he, he flat out lied to everyone by saying, well, I doubt it because he heard Peaches the day before admit to him that she knew Slimmers was a minor. So why he's presenting it in the conundrum video, which he made a day later, as though he doubts it, is probably because there's no evidence at that time just yet uh, when he was recording it because he didn't know everything that was going to be in my video aside from the fact that... Um, I was going to be talking about Peaches. And in his most recent video, the one you're watching, he says the anonymous person let him know. I, I don't know why he's trying to hide who it is. It was an SCC member that I spoke with briefly, uh, Zaranthropy or something like that. And uh, I showed them a little bit about the stuff with like Peaches and whatnot. And they ran with it to Lyo and tipped Lyo off. So like in my suspicion months ago, which is why I didn't want to give him the logs initially up until October, um, was that he was going at this at the angle to like protect peaches, right? Yeah. And so me talking with this person and just giving them a little bit and then them running to tip Lyle off with it inadvertently proved my suspicion because he finds out, Lyle finds out from Xeranthropy that, um, that I plan on talking about peaches. And then his first instinct, right, is to get the, is to go get, you know, look at the logs and then have her put out these, uh, this, this fucking thing and rush to do the conundrum video right before my premiere. But, you, but if we say that they're doing damage control, it, you know, they're not actually doing damage control, apparently. I, just, I find that an interesting dilemma. Well, I mean, it's one of those where it seems like this is a scattershot approach. I think, that, I think there's an air of desperation because I'm well aware of how bad this looks. Now, like, I, I, I've kind of gone a bit... I, I, I don't know how if you've watched my previous streams. Um, I think the way I've described discovering this community is... Um, First time I ever heard of any of these people was through Metica years ago. Um, and I have covered things like Toon Critic myself. I was, I'm was i pretty interested in the Brony Analysis community generally. It's a historic point. So a lot of people from the commentary community have been like, what the fuck is this? It's incomprehensible. For me, it's more like picking up a Spider-Man comic and wondering why he's black now. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's kind of like that weird movement. But with this, from what I can find, is they've always managed to control this narrative. Um, and this has really fucking got away from them. And I think it's probably become increasingly obvious how bad it is where people who would have previously defended them um, and come out just hard defense. I think I think even though I believe Queen when she says that she doesn't see her relationship with Lyo like that, I think Lyo probably did. Um, and I do believe Queen because I've spoken to her that she's like, yeah, this is not good. Um you know, where is this response? Why are you just retweeting things? Um, and I think I think the fact that this video hasn't worked is, you know, obvious because Peaches has d- nuked everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 interesting because in the video, the conundrum video, right? He he accused me of trying to control the narrative. That that's what I was trying to do, and that I was going to misrepresent everything. And that's that he says. Oh, yeah. that, uh, something along the lines of. I'm not going to release the logs before the video because it gives me control of the narrative. But that doesn't make any sense because if I publicize all the logs after the video, people can just cross-reference the logs in my video to see if I'm being honest or not. It's not hard. He had he's had the logs for months, and that's what like actually confuses me. And I've said this many times in my videos. I believe I've said it in a tweet to him, tagging him by now. 
Uh, why, if, if I'm making a false accusation here and I'm misrepresenting it, why can't he go through the logs and show everyone where I lie and then just ruin my credibility like, like that? But he won't do it. Instead, he's trying to find out who's behind fruitcake leaks to attack their credibility, trying to dig up dirt on me or uh, put me with uh, guilty by association with for, with gilded fucking poo because he's at a server that I'm also in. He's he's instead of directly responding to what I'm saying, he's trying to circumvent and go around. And you're right when it comes to, you know, these people trying to like con like uh, control the narrative and keep things a specific set way, because like, for example, if you talk about the peaches stuff, um, he says, well, you're not you're, you're not leaving in the you're not uh, you're leaving out context. But the context that he's supposedly bringing to the table is that she was groomed. But that has nothing to do with the FCK server. Yeah. Um, if you mention like the doodle tone stuff, he gets angry at that and says that, you know, uh, it's, there's missing context. Both doodles and Lyo get angry about that and say there's missing context. But then the grooming only the grooming took place after the degeneracy it didn't result in it and he, even outside of all of that right if you just look at lyo's video by itself um and the way he goes about it he does multiple things he either does guilty by association to avoid actually addressing what you're saying the same thing that he did to a crystal flame he's done to multiple other people where he twists what they're what they're trying to say so that he can respond to that rather than actually like for example uh in this video that you're watching right now one of the things that he did earlier was he said, well, Peaches never sent porn in the server and Peaches never had sexual conversations with any of the miners. No one has said that she had. Yeah, like, it's the, like the majority the, no one's called for deplatforming. No one's called for expulsion. Yeah. Like, we're just like, no, no one said this. It's 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 a conversation yeah. people are having, and he wants it to be a specific set way because he doesn't like the fact that people are noticing the hypocrisy. So he's misrepresenting it, and he's making it look like he's addressing something by addressing shit that no one is fucking saying. But because he's addressing it that way, his audience, which are pretty gullible, think that that's what people are saying about the situation when no one is saying it. He does the same thing with... um. There's another thing that he commonly did. He did it against Kai, um, where we're, you know, trying to paint it as though Kai's issue was calling out groomers, when that's not the issue at all. Just Kai's criticism was of, of how Lyo goes about it. But it's this indirect, what, what Lyo does to summarize it is like, the, it's this really indirect tackling or, or response to, to what people are saying and what they, what issue they have with them. And it, my question is, why be so indirect about it? Why can't you just like directly respond to it? I, I don't get it. Well, so I can I can answer that, and this might be um, this might be an age thing, um, but Lyo is somebody who's never grown up. Uh, I found it really interesting in the conversation with Doctor Tremble, where Lyo basically says they're talking about how to fight and. Like, Lyo says, have you ever heard of this theory? And Trumbull says, no, I've never heard of that. And he's like, oh, okay. It's when you, like, wind yourself backwards. And like, and Trumbull's like, okay, well, that sounds familiar. Which, obviously, it kind of would, because that sounds like something that you'd give it as a bite in a fight. And then Lyo says, well, no, you haven't, because I've just made it up. I've just made it up, so you're lying. And he's gaslighting. And Trumbull's like, no, 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 I didn't say that. And Lyo is gaslighting him with a group. But actually, no, he's painting this guy as an idiot. And while Tremel has issues, and I've heard other things, I'm not trying to defend the guy, Lyo's tactics are schoolyard tactics. This is why he argues with kids and people with mental health issues. Because that's all yeah, he yeah. can do. He's only able to, to Im intimidate them. And yeah. if he can't, like, that's the thing with the Jack's call that a lot of people don't realize is... Um, I'll turn up at like, your house. Yeah, you, that's that what whole he thing says. there. And, <laughs> like, he, no, he said it. He said, okay, that's what we're doing. I'm dead serious. And then he backpedals on the whole statement of, you know, saying that he was going to show up. And and here's the thing that, like, really I, I find baffling about about the whole Jax thing. In the, there was a, a stream with uh, Conundrum and Two Black that happened recently. Uh, I say recently, but it, it wasn't that recently. But you know, you know what I get. I think, yeah, yeah, have yeah. you seen that stream? I, okay. I don't so, think so, but like, go on. It, yeah, I definitely would watch it at some point. It's fucking great. Lyo says that he's, he's taken accountability, and, but they can't actually answer how he's taken accountability for it. Right, okay. <laughs> and they, they, but they always do. They always say they're, they've taken accountability, but they can't actually explain how and what that fucking means. But um, it's, it, what, what, 
I'm curious about, right, is if you've taken accountability for it, why are you still lying about it? Because as of his conundrum premiere three weeks ago, he was lying to people in chat saying, because he's flip-flopped on it. One minute, he like, okay, so if you ask if you ask Jax and Jax's experience with the whole thing that happened, Lyo told his school that he was going to, you know, shoot it out, right? If you... I look at the interview that Lyo did with Pizza. He even says and brings up school shootings and that he would feel bad if, you know, the kid went and shot up his school if he never said anything. So clearly school shootings were a, a relevancy topic as to why Lyo called. And, and if you ask Jax, that was apparently mentioned, right? Mm. Yet then Lyo says that he didn't call because of school shootings. He called because of the other shit. Yeah. Yeah, how have you taken accountability if you're lying about it? I, I, I just doesn't make sense to me personally. And so, but yeah, you're right. He, he only intimidates people that are autistic, literally. Like, and, and I don't, I don't, I'm not even saying that. In yeah, no, no, I, I've, I've done the same thing with Rosa. I'm like, I, I you know, I use the art uh, and I, I'm trying to be careful while I cover this because I know people are sensitive to it, but like, and, but specifically about Rosa, I'm like, no, this is somebody with actual serious mental health stuff. And you are like, I said this with Gilded. We both did. We've been around a while. We've been trolls online. We've, d we've done we've done the boards. We've been around during game we game. All this shit. We wouldn't do shit like this. It is. It is. It is. It is actually over a line. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's fine with that. It, it's crazy <laughs> to me too because he, he he. Okay, so Rosa has brain damage, but that didn't matter in the call. No. But with the conundrum call. If you go listen to it, you're going to get a kick out of this. And if you go to the conundrum call with two black in it that I was just talking about a second ago, he 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 grandstands conundrum because he says that he's hiding behind someone that has brain damage. Oh, great! Yeah, no, this is <laughs> so. So when <laughs> when does the brain damage matter? Where you shouldn't, you know, like you know, hold that person to the same standard everybody else because they have brain damage. Okay, that's fine. But when when does that matter exactly? Because it didn't matter with Rosa. So like. It's it's because it's it's whenever it's convenient for Lyle. It's, yeah. it's it always comes down to that when whenever it's convenient for him. Yeah, because because again, he doesn't fucking care. I, I cannot emphasize this enough. Red, it, like he is the living embodiment of a fucking Reddit mod. That's all this dude is, and somehow people have let him get away with acting like he's the fucking adult. It's insanity. But yeah, it's just it, yeah, yeah. He, you he, know, he's got his audience convinced that he's this mature individual, but he uses playground insults. Um, of guilty by association when he can't actually respond to what someone's saying. Has he actually helped anyone? As far as I can tell, everyone I've run across, their experiences with Lyo were like, to begin with, positive, and now they either fucking hate him, or he in some way like f further fucked their lives up, even when he was trying to help. I don't, I don't know how you can have a track record like this and be like, <laughs> I'm gonna handle it. Like, when, like, <laughs> I actually ignored that track record initially, right? I tried to. People kept like telling me and showing me stuff about him. I've had disagreements with Kumo uh, because I wanted to trust Lyo as much as possible. And I had multiple people telling me not to, that he was going to go at this at the angle for, you know, to protect Peaches. And I, I, I mean, I, I put those silly little ridiculous ideas aside in October. Um, and, and then I would try to invite him, but as it, as he turns out, he already got the logs from somebody else, and him having the logs isn't the problem. It's the fact that he wants to grandstand me for supposedly doing nothing with them when he's had them for months and done nothing with them. But <laughs> you, know, you are it, the yeah, only I, person I think I have ever seen who has offered logs to an actual fucking asshole, uh, and the evidence of you doing that has actually helped you. <laughs> <laughs> like usually it's completely the opposite and you get fucked but this is like yeah. he's so dumb that like he shows the logs in the video and i'm like this is 2023 buddy this is literally like the in 10 year, in 10 days time that's a year ago and you did nothing yeah. oh we, we there was a lot of logs to get through and there's a you're a fucking you're meant to be a predator hunter what are you talking about <laughs> it's your little fucking he's, capo he's, it's he, happening to he's got like this this massive life and i get like he's got a life but the dude argues with people on Discord almost all fucking day. Like the whole time that he's supposedly been busy, that I, like people have been telling me uh, as to why he won't call me, that he's been busy. He's tried to drag uh, Gybenum that's in the chat uh, into a fucking call. He's, he tried to drag Mad Libs that made the thread. They tried to drag Mad Libs into the Senate to berate her for misinformation for daring to talk about the Doodle Tones roleplay. So this whole time that he's trying to drag other people into calls to berate them for shit, he could have had a conversation with me, but 
he kept making excuses. And like we originally, I, I, I had a mutual of ours that had zero stake in the situation, zero uh, stake whatsoever in it that liked the both of us to, to moderate the calls if he wanted a moderator. He didn't want to do that. Instead, he was cool with his admin from from the Senate moderating the call. So now I've, I've, I'm waiting to hear back to see if he's just going to do a one on one call and we both record so that, you know, if either of us uh, edit it or try to misrepresent anything, we have the full call on our end, both recorded. And, uh, you know, there we go. But, I'm going to ask you a left out of left field question. How the yeah. fuck is Doodle Tones even still a thing after everything, after all these years? How is Doodle still around? They very loyal audience. Very, I've interacted with their audience numerous times. I've got a couple. I actually got a playlist of a couple of videos throughout the years. We're talking like 2022, three, um, and the the slideshow commentary community. It's like this culminated audience, and they they've gone as far as they they dogpile anyone that criticizes Doodles. I made an offhand joke in 2020, and they dogpiled me on on Twitter. And I'm not even that's not I'm not saying that's a big issue or that I'm a victim to it. Just that that's how they go about it. Um, is is anyone that criticizes Doodles they dogpile? If you mention anything, whether it's to do with Doodles or their community, uh, they'll go as far as denying something that they know is true if it's inconvenient for them. They've done it multiple times. I've got like two or three videos showing that. Um, so they'll deny things that they know are true. They'll they'll flat out uh, die on the hill of something that they know is false. <laughs> If it's convenient for them, uh, it's it's just loyalty. <laughs> I fucking hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Okay, so uh, you, what are you, what are your plans for tonight? Are you work? Are you dealing with things, or do you want to watch the rest of this video with me? Because I think you, your interjections would be helpful. Uh, it's up to you. How much is left in the video? Uh, uh, I can stay for a little bit. Thirty minutes. Stay for thirty bit. minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, okay, I can we'll stay for a little bit on that. No, I, well, not all of it, but a little bit. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go. They engaged in inappropriate sexual behavior and gatekeeping trauma with minors within the group, it seems, eh? Here's where Crystal starts trying to frame Peaches as a predator based on really shaky evidence. And make no mistake, that's how Crystal's trying to frame it. Like here, where they just say Peaches was being sexually suggestive around children, with no context or even, you know, the truth. Liar you and me and i would like to think everyone in this call would scream and shout at anyone who is sexually suggestive around children and or partake partakes in sexual truth or dare games that shouldn't be given like it, 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 sh it shouldn't it's a glitched out amino that just screams children minors everything like that or here where they compare nix and jackie people who were actively directing sexual content in the space they knew there were minors in because you could argue, you could argue in the Skype chat, ages weren't explicitly said, but yet Nynx and Jackie and Camila were sexual. I didn't, I don't even remember ever really ever saying my name, saying my name. I don't remember it. Not my name, my age. Nix and Jackie mm -hmm. literally... I don't remember saying my age. They literally referred to them multiple times as kids. Crystal goes on in a different... Leo, you literally refer to everyone as kids. You refer to 18 year olds as kids. You've adopted 18 to 20 year olds. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking hate this. Um, one thing that's interesting here is that, okay, firstly, Crystal's withdrawn that, but Crystal's not wrong. Like, if this happened to anyone else, especially someone they didn't like, they'd fucking tear them apart. Oh, I, absolutely. I don't, I don't... They've, they've torn people apart for less. Yeah, way less, less than this. Fucking tracing up. <laughs> What so you if you you get ripped apart for for less than this, but if if precious his precious peaches does something that he would no doubt condemn if it was <laughs> anyone fucking else, anyone else they, they they would be crucified right now. They'd be crucified and they they would be ran off the internet because that's what Lyle seems to think is holding someone accountable, making a video and trying to run them off the internet. In fact, I don't know if you've seen anything from the SCC that we were just talking about, but they've basically coddled up to Lyo because they think that he's like this, you know, big, bad, intimidating lion for them. And there's a video on Doodle Tone's channel, two videos, actually. One's an hour long, another one's like seven fucking hours long, and it's like a compendium of calls. And in it, they threaten people with Lyo, like constantly. It's, it's, it's insane, but yeah. Um... With... Um... What I don't know whether you have insider information. What's actually currently happening in Senate? Because I've heard 
that it's um interesting yeah people have shown me some stuff and uh, i've i've people have uploaded calls uh from the inside what from what i've gathered from like the consistent messages that i've gotten i've got like literally all the first three days after uh you know the whole fucking shit storm erupted but uh and plus more but that i got like consistently full three days and then a couple of other things and so what it is, is it's a lot of people because they can't actually respond to any of the claims i or other people really make they mention like they love to do this really weird thing where they bring up intentions like it's because they can't actually discuss your claims they bring up the supposedly your intentions behind it and i've made my intention very clear so they just misrepresent my intention and then use that as a basis to um as to say that you know we're wrong purely because of intentions but also on top of that You've got many of them, uh, like Peach Reaver's one of them, who's consistently coping in there, saying that our side doesn't matter whatsoever, um, and no one should listen to us. You've got, I don't know if you've listened to the February 28th call where, you know, Lyo addressed the allegations. You had them either glazing Lyo, you know, needing to pull up his you, pants. You do it in them. such a loving way, though, Lyo. You, you love these people. I don't... I don't know what you know they're just being so mean to you and you're so nice you've really cared about these people and they're betraying you like they're betraying you oh yeah yeah <laughs> it, it, he's no actually he paints it there's two things he does in that february 28th call that i find really amusing he paints it as though this is this is something where we're all coming together to ruin him and undercut his credibility but i had no intentions on talking about him in any context of the fck until he decided because he had found out from xeranthropy that I was going to be talking about peaches, that he was going to start lying on her behalf. And I, I you know, I, I went over that before, but there was that. And then he, he genuinely thinks of himself as a figurehead. Yeah. Like there's a, there's a, there's a point in the call where he says that, you know, cause he's a, he's a figurehead. If he wants to be a figurehead, he's got to have accountability. And in this call too, he talks about accountability, but lying isn't account. I, it, at least for me in my, my personal opinion on this, and I, I could be wrong about this. Maybe the definitions change these days, but when you're lying about something, you're not taking accountability for it, but that could just be, you know, uh, my, my opinion. I, I don't, I don't know. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's one of those where what they say as accountability is uh, well, we've talked about it and addressed it in the way we wanted to, which obviously isn't fucking accountability. It's uh, bullshit. Bullshit. Deep, deep, deep <laughs> yeah. amounts of bullshit. I can see someone saying they sent me a Twitter DM. If you sent it to the Cope and Seed channel, I won't get it because Jenny controls it. I'm not allowed it. Uh, but if you send it to at Beckett of Crabs or just tag me, then I'll get it there. Okay. Um, let's continue onwards. Tweet later to compare Peaches to the likes of Artie and Veer. People who owned CSEM from multiple children. This is an asinine claim. Crystal provides absolutely no proof that Camilla knew about this entire thing. Roping Peaches in with actions from people like Veer is disgusting, and framing Peaches acting as if they were knowingly being sexual around children is just as bad, and it comes uh, off as Crystal right there, trying to tie the situation to, to the Glitchtail crew. So we know from a the clip that I have in my video where Peaches says that Slimers is 15 in September of 2019. And that's a month before the server came into existence. Okay. So there's that. Then the February 25th call with a crystal flame, Peaches admits that she knew Slimers is a minor. Okay. And so up the age, interestingly, uh, because she's, yeah, and, I'm sorry, and she's 16, age, 17. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we, we have that, right? And so if you look back at the conversations that Peach has participated in, she knew that porn was being sent in there. She did not send porn in there, but she knew it was being sent in there. And she did participate in a lot of weird discussions, uh, whether that be in text or I have Slimmers' testimony in regards to this that's in my most recent video. But um, she talked about her boyfriend's dick with Toasty. That was, one, that was a thing that happened to the chat, obviously her talking about... Um, the fact that she walked into the VC with Toasty Vanilla jerking off in it. Yep. Uh, and then on top of that, from Slimmers' testimony, being in calls with, with, uh, with, with, um, you know, I'll just read it to you. I'll just read it to you, but it's in my video if you'd like to see the screenshots, because I asked her about it as I was making the video. So I'll just read it to you. Uh, and the screenshots are at the end of my video, my most recent one. So I said, ahoy. Uh, she said, hey, oh, I said, did Peaches ever say anything sexual around you? Lyo's dumbass also just posted a call confirming he knew Peaches knew you were in the server, a call he had uh, he had before his video where he claims he doubted Peaches knew. And then uh, she says she didn't say anything sexual towards me, but she did make perverted flirty jokes to Toasty while I was in the call on the server. 
I said, yeah, she also talked about her boyfriend's dick in the server with Toasty. She says that is 100% true. She did talk about his dick in front of me as well. They made jokes about fucking each other as well in the call. I said, were you in this call or did you just hear this from others? I was literally in that call. So they were, she, it, she did participate in sexual conversations right in front of minors. It wasn't with them, but she knew at least one was present. Yeah. And, it, and so that's what a Crystal Flame's point is, is that if, if the people that were in you know, the, the group chat with Camilla Cuevas, the ones that didn't participate in it still knew, and uh, Peaches and Lyle both got onto the people that knew but didn't say anything. Yeah. Because that's the thing. You were the adults in the room. Peaches was an adult. She knew. I think this is the other problem as well. Like, right now, part of the damage control from their perspective is how do you fucking recover from this? Because their co their major content is going after people for shit. And they're now at the point where that credibility is shot. Whatever Lyra says, he says, you know, he says this in the February the 28th call. I need to take accountability. I need to show myself as an accountable person. Hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Um, I need to show myself as accountable. I'm the adult. People are going to question that. It's like, yes, they are, you fucking idiot. And this video doesn't help because you've gone from I'm the person who holds people to account to I'm the person who's going to gently hand walk uh, peaches through this. The other question I have, and I've had this constantly with multiple people, is it seems like it, fucking predator hunters in this community keep, keep turning out to be groomers. I think the coyote stuff was he fell in love with Sa uh, like Hypno Saf uh, Hemptus Sappho, who is a zoophile pedophile. Like self proclaimed, she's a. I don't even know with the coyote shit. I just know that it's fucking insane. I've tried yeah, it's, to it's, like it's wild. dive into it, it, but it's 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 absurd. Like I, it's it's like something. And you got you got Vida uh, who who was sat on a call with Lyo while they discussed filming somebody's sexual assault. That's what they were doing. Like, now I know that there's, like, context there of, like, well, they were desperate or scrambling, but it doesn't change the fact of, hey, you were the adults in the room and your suggestion was, hey, leave your fucking laptop computer camera on so you can film him if he touches you. Like, yeah, that's that's great, guys. The solution to grooming is great child pornography. Awesome. I fucking won. So... It, it seems like this keeps fucking happening to Lyo, and I, I, I mean, there seems to be, like, not just accountability, because, like, I don't give a fuck, but at least some, like, self-reflection would be nice of, why does this keep happening to you, dude? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? <laughs> For no reason other than wanting to be the main character again. We'll get more onto that again later. The evidence we are talking about is a single screenshot from an Amido chat with heavily censored testimony that we have no way to verify. We see no evidence of ages stated, we see no evidence of Peaches actually asking a sexual question, saying, ask something spicy next time is not evidence. Uh, yeah, we will skip to over this, but I just want to check something. In previous accusations and cases, has Lyo... Has Lyo always held this standard of evidence? Not... I don't particularly know, because what, what I think is interesting about the whole thing is um, he's, he's mentioning that because it's censored and whatnot, you know, and we have, we have little context, right? But he himself has butchered the calls with Crystal Flame yeah. in this. And, and presented them all as one call. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And also given us very limited screenshots throughout this video. So if this, this screenshot cannot have any credibility whatsoever, because some of it's censored, or we don't have the full context of the conversation, which is a fine point to make. Why is it he can provide such little context in his videos? Even the conundrum video had such little context yeah, was, that it, I had to give context. Yeah, so it was. It was. Why, it was. Why, why is that okay for him? Up with do? loads of things. Well, yeah, it was because he can make the hit piece because he's the trustable authority, right? And people will just lap it up. They'll buy it. Um, I suppose. I, I suppose that's my question as well. Like. If he thought this was going to work, why within four hours of its release has Peach has nuked herself, do you think? Overreaction, maybe, or maybe she thinks that there's 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 no recovery. Um which I mean all you have to do is just like be straightforward with it. That's that's all people want is no excuses, be straightforward with it. And yeah, I said this with gilding gilded. If you just if, if both of them just came out and said, Yeah, the truth is that we do it because we like it. We're bullies. We bully people. We're mean online. I mean, I've you know, both Gil and I have said, you know, we're dicks. 
That's <laughs> I laugh at people. I, I am not. I'm not claiming to be a moral authority. If you stop doing that, it would go a long way, at least with some of the like critics who are covering well, yeah, but this. Then they would lose their audience because they they cater to an audience that um they cater to an audience that's all about being a goody two shoes that can never uh, make a mistake or enjoy doing uh, things that are deemed you know cruel. Right. So they, they cater to a, that audience and they don't want to lose that audience. So just saying, yeah, we kind of enjoy being dicks from time to time, which is nothing wrong with that. Most people do. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's the internet. Real. <laughs> but yeah, but they bullshit it because they got to They got to keep the facade up for a particular audience. It's that's all it is. Yeah. I want to be clear because I just want to respond to Jordan. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? Uh, to Lion's credit, he did drop the whole filming thing after I expressed discomfort with it, not without some mild pushing, but I told him them no, and they dropped it. My point isn't that they were uh, proposing this and therefore they're bad people. My point is that they're proposing this, they're fucking idiots, and there are so many instances like this where Lyo has done things which are, to any normal person, like playing a fucking Senate call to a courtroom, calling a kid's school and reporting them as a school shooter, like fucking going, like the stuff with Rosa, where there is a pattern there where it should be obvious that Lyo is an idiot. And like, I, I have thrown shade at people who have, and I said this to, Chris, uh, to Queen, you guys didn't see this? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, like how blinkered were you? And Patchwork said, oh, it's like watching somebody I've known for years and they've really changed. I don't recognize this person. The reason that I, in my opinion, a lot of you don't recognize this person is because you have had blinders on to what he's. This isn't you. This is what he's fucking like. This And it speaks to that character, which is this is not somebody who should be taken seriously. This man is a clown. <laughs> that's, that's like the core of it. OK, let's continue. I mean, unless, unless you disagree with me, Akuma. No, no, I don't. Evidence of that. Besides, spicy doesn't have to be inherently meaning sexual. The only thing we see here is Peaches answering a sexual question with a no and then moving the conversation along. This is the only screenshot and it proves nothing. The second thing brought up did have evidence and that was that Peaches responded negatively to someone's trauma being put out. I'm not going to detail it because I don't feel it's right, but Peaches absolutely shouldn't have responded like this. But this was also half a decade ago when Peaches was 18. And while I think it's important to hold someone accountable for that behavior, I don't think a witch hunt in the way it's currently happening is something that's necessary or productive. It's something that happened years ago and hasn't been repeated. People can change and improve, and Peaches clearly did. To me, this sounds like some- No, she didn't. She's still a fucking terrible person. She just hasn't been in the, that same situation. Yeah. Why don't you just- Yeah, yeah. Just saying it, just tell us that what's, what's, the, what's the example? Like, yeah. Um, actually, I found it. Re if, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. Well, if she has improved, right? Why is it the Rosa situation happened? Yeah. yeah. As as bad as that was, and why people were upset about that, and uh, well, this is actually not a point that I made. I think I think I saw Gilded make this point. I'm pretty certain I did. Uh, but they say that the Senate changed after the Jacks call, and they also say that it changed after the Rosa call. So when exactly uh, did it change? Was it? after the the rosa call or was it after the the jacks call w when was the massive shift here and also with the peaches right if she's changed why is it she waited you know because why i was had the logs for months why wait until a day before my premiere yeah. to make the like to take to make that the absolute point why? where she uh sorry i'm being reminded he now had to change uh like yeah. like he had to make that statement because he had no fucking choice in the matter um yeah, it's 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 one of those where also the Senate itself has interesting things in it because you know I, Gilded showed me the punishment um, sin art where if you broke the rules they made you draw bestiality. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't think the Senate is actually that clean in all of this. I think it presents itself such a, as very such a moral clean. Pedestal. Such a great. <laughs> such <moral> <laughs> Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked from this community that this sort of stuff was occurring. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> Someone was still upset by that, and you can be upset by something. There's no time limit on that, to be clear, and decided to try and add on top of it to make it more damning. Such things, however, are not evidence of predation. Merely misconduct. I want to emphasize that this behavior is completely unacceptable and represents a profound betrayal of my trust, as well as the trust of anyone who confided in Hopeless Peaches, shared their stories, or interacted with them in any capacity. 
To say that I and the fellow victims of the Glitch Tail crew are deeply disgusted would be an understatement to say the very least, and I beg all of you to support them as much as you can, as I will be as well. It is important to understand that the only reason I and the fellow members of the GTC interacted with Hopeless Peaches was because we were unaware of their actions. Had any of us been aware beforehand, we would never have engaged with someone who posed a risk to children. The truth of this behavior being that Peaches talked sexually in a space with children, yet never knowingly directed at them. Framing Peaches as predatory is dishonest and malicious. Not filtering yourself in a space with minors does not immediately make you a predator. Remember, Crystal knows that during this time... Pe but again, these aren't the claims. These aren't the claims people are making. Peach didn't... But he was not going to ever respond to those claims. Let's what, be real. Well, he can't. He did, he'd have to acknowledge the issue. Yeah, he, he can't. And also, this is what, like, I, I mean, Queen like literally pauses at this point when it comes up. It's like, you need to show me examples of where my hypocrisy is at. We've done that. What, is, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what? <laughs> no one's given me any specific examples. But if you watch a video, everyone's pointing to specific examples. <laughs> I've been really busy, guys, doing adult things. Like, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, talking to Peach. I, I think I think they've been sat in calls for ages not addressing it. And the thing... I actually... no, they, absolutely, they have. They did a call just purely dedicated when they... We're digging into who Fruitcake Leaks was. They did an entire call dedicated to bitching about the person behind Fruitcake Leaks instead of actually addressing the claims Fruitcake Leaks made. I'm not joking. Is that available? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's um, the same person that uploaded the February 28th call. I, I'll, I'll hold on. Actually, let me yeah, see if you I can find it. And I'll upload it to you. You can, yeah, okay, DM it to me. Uh, give me one sec. I'll uh, I'll do things. Um. Um, okay, give me one second as well. Let me just do that. Brand that makes things easy. Yeah, we'll we'll have a look at that one. Um <laughs> I found it very interesting actually going over their streams. I can't remember when Lyo did this stream. Let me just let me just have a quick look. Uh on his live. Uh Hope it's Peaches and their playthrough of Holy Trinity was like five months ago. Um so that would have been around the time that they got the logs, right? Five months? Uh, he got the logs around October of 2023. So yeah, so like he'd have had the logs by this point, and they're still sat there on a call together Keep doing the stream. I was able to go through um, the the logs, and I did have help. Um, I had I had one person help me, and whatnot but we were i was able to produce a condensed video going over the gist of it right mm -hmm. with just a little bit of time a couple of months and he's had almost the same rough amount of time that it took me to get most of the screenshots inla helped with with you know gathering the rest and telling me what i should and shouldn't talk about you know giving me an idea as to where it should go um but he's had roughly the same amount of time since i got the server early 2023 and whatnot to at least do something with it. In fact, actually, his excuse in the conundrum video, uh, if, you've, if you've seen it, mm. he says that he's not going to share anything from it in the video because there's minors that watch his YouTube channel. A, you can blur stuff, and B, you have an entire server dedicated to only 18 and up. Yeah, you can just black stuff out. Yeah. By the way, please black stuff out better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, please. I <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I feel like old man back here. Like I do, I do this with Kumo as well. I'm like, please stop editing in this way and sort your about uh, audio out, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> like... yeah. Uh, uh, next time I will I will put more put more effort into the blurring. Yeah. You're good. Like, listen, I'm old. I'll have a heart attack. Okay, I'll I'll die. Um, actually, I don't know if you've heard me say this, but one of the most interesting things I found out found with Lyo is Lyo is a, uh, a millennial. But he doesn't just jokingly say he's a boobin. This is a LARP. He is LARPing at hey, being hey. a booner. Yeah. It's so, like, I'm super odd. And I don't know if you know who Tonkasaur is. Um, I'm assuming it's like... No, I don't. Okay, so Tonkasaur ran something called the Early Morning Kumite. Uh, like, he's part of, like, basically the one of the origin points of blood sports. Um, but Tonka used to do this thing where he's like, oh, I'm not internet people. I'm not internet people. I'm not like you guys with internet people. But he was just terminally online. He was internet I'm people. Not, I'm not terminally online yeah. like you guys. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. Yeah, and so, like, it layers this weird mix for me of Linkara and Tonka. And it's really fucking weird. <laughs> um, but anyway, right, cool, well, let's go. Peaches were still dealing with their groomer, especially then. Something Crystal should understand. Why? Because when Crystal was 18, they read off, in voice, sexual materials to the Glitchtail server while still a moderator in that space, knowing there were minors in the community and merely expressing that they should.
Okay, so I uh, see King's lost a trusted role. So what occurred that caused this? Like I know basics, some weird stuff was in the audience listens. Just us lo uh, looting the transcript up a few episodes. Well, mainly me and Kiki. I should have done my job and stopped it. Crystal, why? I see. Look, I don't give a flying fiddle if you want to dub an entire porn movie dub an entire poor movie in the server but the fact that you and everyone else involved thought it was okay to do that in front of around 30 greenies in the audience listen vc is completely unacceptable understandable uh, i know that crystal is going to respond to this themselves because they've just fucking said that they are but again this this weird like even if this is true i, I just want to take the hypothetical because there is too much fucking hair for me to know everything after like a week and two weeks of doing this even if this is true it doesn't matter because like if these are like attacks and they and liars presenting them as attacks then they're also attacks on peaches because the standard is still the same thinks, like yeah go on. go on what lyo thinks is a really good tactic for him is oh oh god people are bringing shit up that that is inconvenient let me just bring up something else let me just shift the topic over so uh you know if, if you talk about peaches he brings up toasty and fuchsia butters which why can't we talk about all of these people why can't there be a conversation about all of these people yeah i think that's but, i think that's fine if that's anyone fine. mentions peaches no we should talk about just toasty and and fuchsia butter and yet one of uh lyle's long-standing things that he does in multiple calls is if there's multiple people involved he goes to the person he goes to the people that are older and he says you're you're older so that you you should know better but and again i'm not excusing toasty toasty's a fucking gooner but with that said peaches was older toasty was like freshly 18 right yeah 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 and like i've said this before as well it's probably the british thing as well like our age of consent is 16 i don't know what teenagers are like and frankly it's a, it, like hellbent said this to me when uh, they started looking into like the uh, acc generally the interesting thing about this community is it's all grooming allegations and no rape accusations because nobody here fucks like it's just nobody nobody's having any of that because all of this is so terminally online it's yeah very terminally online yeah yeah and like again, I don't want to excuse Toasty because I don't know the full. I I don't no, know no, enough. Toasty but has like, a large responsibility in it all, no doubt. No one is denying that. No one is disagreeing with that. In fact, Lyle lied in that to the February twenty eighth call and said that uh, Toast that uh, fruitcake leaks put Toasty on the cleared or innocent list. Toasty Vanilla was never on that. Yeah, I saw that, and it ever. wasn't cleared. It was like the innocent parties list, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. and Toasty Vanilla was never on that list. Toasty was always an individual since the beginning when me and the, the, the person behind Fruitcake Leaks spoke about this. We knew just going into this that Toasty has a massive responsibility about, you know, with this whole thing. Toasty made the server. That being said, Lyo's own standard that he constantly whips out against people is the older people should know better. And yet somehow, for some reason, he's trying to make excuses uh, for, for someone that was older and should have known better and could have said something. Yeah. Uh, any excuse in the book. He's, he's trying uh, to, all he's of them trying and he is like pulling her through this while she's in tears because that's and it, it's real interesting because this seems to be peach's constant tactic cry and then gain sympathy i have fucking no fucking what yeah, yeah. lio is well, a bully yeah lio is a bully multiple people of them multiple multiple of them do it and you know anytime they can they love to put other you know people in the hot seat the spotlight mm. put them whether it be over things that are true or even they'll go as far as just falsely accusing people and put them under the fucking hot seat with it. Yeah. But then the second there's a conversation about shit that they actually did, it's denial. It's victim complex every time. Yeah, one of the things that I've said uh, like through all this is firstly like and subscribe. But secondly, you know, Lyo is like, again, a, a nerd. And the, the one standard everyone should hold themselves to on the internet as they get older is never let yourself get bullied by the chess club. Never worry about what Reddit says. Never re worry what these people say because they are the fucking chess club. And if you're getting bullied by the chess club, something has gone fucking wrong for you, okay? That's it. That's like the baseline. Well, yeah, that's that's what that's what the Senate is. It's chess club members and band kids that, that got bullied and want to be bullies. Mm. Which is, you know... Fine. That's a lot of people online. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll throw shade at myself. Like again, like I don't know. I think you need to become well adjusted as you get older. I I dread to think what I'd have been like if I'd been making content back in my uh, like early twenty, late teens, early twenties. 
Like it's very different now, where like you know I, I don't care Especially as much. You get surrounded by a hug box. <laughs> yeah, and this it's it's massively just psychologically unhealthy, and you can see Leo leaning on that in the calls where people are going. I thought it was really interesting on the twenty eighth call actually. Sorry, I know we're like for everyone's like, can we just play the fucking video? But like, I think it's really interesting. Like when Sunbeam or whatever the fucking name is comes in and it's like, I've got a question, Leo. What's your favorite color? Really, not the time, son. And it's just like. <sighs> What the fuck is going on with you guys? You can see what's going on in the chat. You can see what these calls are. And you've got people who clearly are just like not on the same level going, oh, do you like purple? I like purple. Purple's such a great gun. I'm the fucking one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should have done it in a different chat after being called out, despite that chat having minors as well. The call out was directed at holding it in the wrong room, not the fact that it was done around children. So holding Peach is accountable to this extent when Peaches was also 18 themselves and morally grandstanding about it when you are someone who knowingly directed sexual content to children is nothing short of hypocritical, especially when Peaches never called you a glitch tail predator over this and instead told you off in private, as Crystal states on the February 25th call. Which they want you to publicly address it, you know? Because you remember yeah. when you were going for the chats with me, yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the glitch server, and you saw something where I was a bit, like, weird, you know? When I was mm -hmm. 18, I said some weird shit. And you mm -hmm. came to me, you asked me about it, and you posted about it. Which you were in your full right to. This is the same, it's like, the tables have turned, you know? <laughs> the third table! This point especially is absolutely hypocritical, considering Crystal's conduct when they were 18, which would make them unfit to deal with the glitch tail situation by their own standards. A fear that lingers within us is that the GTC and the groomers associated with it will exploit this situation as a gotcha against us. This thought fills us with dread, and I struggle to comprehend why Hopeless Peaches would ever put us in such a vulnerable position. You mentioned people using this Just because somebody's a dick doesn't mean somebody else isn't moving swiftly on. ...situation as a gotcha against you. Wouldn't that also apply to you and your actions since you were 18? Considering you, yourself, found yourself in a similar situation like Peaches, actively directed sexual content to children in a server you moderated. I guess every person in the Glitch Tales chat should make a similar threat on you. But framing you as a sexual predator over this is stupid, which is why it hasn't been done. In her call after you released this thread, you backtracked and made excuses for your behavior like being freshly 18, this being normalized to you, and so on. Lyo's really going to talk about I've making excuses for behavior? Well, of course he is. Really? He's... That's fucking rich. Ak Akumu, as Lyo said, you are a kid. You need to sit down and listen. <laughs> He's the, he's the adult in the room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I fucking hate these people. It's, it's so cringy. It's like, I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm a fucking oh, loser. Man. He's doing such a makeup job at handling. I know, it's I gone mean... so well. <laughs> his door, it's gone so well that his daughter's deleted her channel. <laughs> <laughs> one yep, video. Yep. I can't wait to see what happens off the next fucking one. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, and they were not. Yes, they were not. Mm -hmm. But again, <laughs> I gave you full context of what Peaches was dealing with at that time and what was normalized. Yes. If there's anybody... I'm not done. If there's anybody yeah. here who should understand that... I'm not patient. done. I'm not done. These little fucking... There's, there's, there's almost senatisms. You'll ask somebody a question, they'll go to answer it. I'm not done. I'm not done talking. That isn't the topic. Eaton Shut the fuck too. up. Eaton does it too. It's it's a normalized thing for them. They all pick up on Lyo's little <laughs> uh, little things. So like they all do the guilty by association now. They like just be, like the conundrum call. They were like, well, mind you, I've never hung out with the guy before. They, but they they immediately the second they heard that he was in a a, a a server with me, I think they were like, they immediately went. How does it feel to know that someone you hung out with is like this? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But yeah, they all do his his whole thing. Like they, um, In one of my videos, I go over Heaton, which is like one of Lyo's orbiters, going, I'm not done. I'm not done. Don't gish gallop me. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was fucking absurd in the Kumu call, where like they fucking mute him and just shout at him and go, why aren't you saying anything, Kumu? <laughs> I'm just like, you fucking assholes. Holy shit. Yes, oh, I fully understand, but the difference between me and Peaches, like, we know the dub I did, yeah? I was, I called him that out on myself. It was one of my biggest fuck-ups, is that dub. And Camila, Quavis, of all, Camila and Via called me out on it, of all fucking people in the world, to call me. So I understand how grooming behaviours can influence people. I understand that. But 
right now, I'm 21. I'm still younger than the majority of people when these screenshots were sent. Like, You're Peaches right. was 20, you know? Peaches, it's Peaches, like, was, Peaches was also still in contact with the person who groomed her. And as I told you... And wait, wait, was Peaches actually like 20 at this time? Like 1920? During the FCK stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Peaches' content goes back quite far because they've been doing call-out culture for ages. So even if she yeah. was still in contact with that person who groomed her, it's irrelevant because her actions on other videos show that she knew this shit was bad. Doesn't doesn't She's matter what. She called out several people for doing uh, weird sus shit or shit that she deems morally reprehensible. So clearly, she had some form of a moral fucking uh, idea in her head. We're talking in 2019, 2018, 2020. She had some idea of some morality, and yet somehow, when it comes to this, well, she was groomed. <laughs> I, it's out of my hands. Fucking. That's not how any of this fucking works. And also, the it, fucking. Oh my god, holy shit, I fucking hate these people. And. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Showed you in the script that you looked over last night. She didn't even know what was going on in that situation. Also, you took an extra day for. Like, two days for this layer. You couldn't balance your fucking audio? What, you taking tips from Kumu now? Jesus fucking Christ. Just cut up the audio of the call and increase your fucking volume a little bit and turn the fucking music down. You're, you're, you're in your 30s and apparently have like 20,000 subs. What, what the I fuck mean, is wrong to with be you? Fair, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, I, but I get what you're saying. I <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a tactic. Maybe make it fucking listenable. I just, I'm just saying, I'm sick of fucking hearing these people. What's with the fucking weird metal music, like thumping bait? I don't fucking know. She wasn't even aware well, he makes Goku. Until she had to start questioning things later in the year when Cosmodor was outed. And you were explaining and that so yesterday as well. And so did I. There's so many things, even in the Glitch Cell situation, okay. I've looked back then upon. Why do we condemn where her I've and not had you? So no, because I haven't done these actions. So you never what did anything The dub from was when I was. Yes, it was. The the dub was done when I was freshly 18. Like, we are talking very new. I think two, three months of being into 18. And that's why we all have that level of understanding of, so, hold on. you know, 18-year-olds don't really understand that with an adult at that point. So, hold on. You recognize mm -hmm. that grooming behaviors can last. You recognize how much that can impact somebody, even when they're still in contact with that person, not knowing whether yes. or not that behavior is right. But you think that Peaches should mm -hmm. be condemned for something she was groomed into doing while she was still in contact with her group? That's an interesting thing. Okay, it's very quiet here with the audio. But Lyo just said, so you think Peaches should be held accountable for doing something that she was groomed into doing by somebody who wasn't in that server while Peaches was already calling out this sus behavior from other people. When, when he says groomed into doing too, he he's making it sound like the groomer was behind the scenes pushing her to be yeah. quiet or to know about these things, but that's not the case. Because in truth, he's really just saying, "Well, this is normalized for." Well, yeah, but it, but it clearly fucking wasn't. Like from her own actions, yeah, he's, he's, it's, it's it's his wording that that he's he's using specifically to push for it, and it's like. You know the angle he's trying to take when that's not what a crystal flame is trying to say, but he, he just keeps needing to feel the need to bring up the grooming, thinking that it's going to magically change the point that people have, the, the issue that people have. Oh my god. Groomer? No. Okay. Let me make my point. So, I understand, as many of us do here, grooming does... Stop treating him with good faith. Form. Stop treating him with good faith. That's not what his intentions are. Holy yeah, shit, guys. And I still think my grooming experience still had impacts on me right now. I still think it is for Peaches. I still think it's for a lot of the other victims I've supported. I wholeheartedly would agree with that. But it's at what point, what behaviours can be looked past? At what point? Like, what, what's the line for you? What okay. is the moral the line, line, the line of what actions me, can be looked past? The line for me, as someone who has been dealing with these types of situations for six years, comes down mm -hmm. to 
certain things. If Peaches was sending pornography to children to get them interested in sexual things, that would be a line. If Peaches had not corrected this behavior after finding out she had been groomed, that would have been a line. These have not been crossed. Those aren't your lines. Those aren't your lines. You've gone after people for other shit, you fucking lying coward. <laughs> yeah, he's gone after people for less. Oh my god, yeah, no, I've got I've got very strong lines. I've always held those, except in all the cases where I fucking haven't. I don't know what you're talking about. What a fucking cunt! Holy shit. You are claiming you do not have proper, sufficient evidence. For hey, enough. And you need to start asking if this is also condemning, why is the most out of context screenshot given to you instead of something more damning if that chat was really as bad as they're claiming? While Peaches was distraught by their own actions and took almost immediate accountability, yet you were given grace, especially from Peaches, while Peaches was made out to be- While Peaches was distraught by her actions and took almost immediate accountability. Uh, what? Almost immediate accountability. <laughs> but what's interesting is he leaves out that he's had the logs for months, and conveniently he did nothing with them, and Peaches didn't take accountability until he knew that I was going to be talking about this. Because he found out in February that I was going to be talking about this. You mean to tell me it's, a co it's purely a coincidence? You mean, to, you mean to, you want us to believe that you've had the logs since at least October of 2023? You never spoke with Peaches about the fact that you had these logs. Never spoke with her about it. She had no idea. And then you find out in February, early February, that I plan on talking about Peach's involvement with it. And then all of the sudden, all of the sudden, now there's an interest in accountability for it. <laughs> and conveniently the day before my premiere. Yeah. 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 Our, it's not a coincidence, right. guys. <laughs> Correlation is not causation. Come on, we've all been on I Reddit. I want him to... <laughs> I, I really want him to show me the at the the end report uh, end part of the conundrum video when he recorded that because I know he recorded that last minute. Mm. He even says it says so in this in the early on in this call with with a crystal flame that you know he's going to get that video done as soon as possible if he's going to stay up all night. But um, you know, since he's apparently as he's telling Senate and he's making it seem to Senate, uh, he's not doing this isn't damage control, right? So so then just just show me when you recorded that last segment of the conundrum video then. Interestingly, just, just the from the way those my name. from the way those calls sounded as well, because I read that a different way, because I didn't know when this call happened. I think it's pretty easy to read that I'm going to get this video done. I'll be up all night as this video, not his last one. Mm -hmm. So it's, that... it's easy to read it that way, but that's because he doesn't re he doesn't do a good job of making clear when these calls took place. I had to go. I, to I think that's fucking yeah. I think sure. yeah. I think that's pretty fucking intentional. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The way it's cut up, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Be a predator to the public by your thread to protect the glitch tail chat, especially because you knew it would be misconstrued by people like Omnia, by your own admission. Being concerned is fine, but not to the point that you're willing to throw people who helped you under the bus at the slightest whiff of an issue, rather than, say, a productive conversation or allowing people to show you their side and evidence first instead of running head on into accusations you can't even substantiate Wait, in hold, public. What do you mean? Not to mention the what, what is that supposed to fucking mean? Show you their side and evidence first? You gave them the- they had the whole law. They literally had the entire server. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Well, I, you know what it means. It means that you, okay, me. I'm sorry, buddy. Our dishonest actor with an axe to grind. How dare you? How how dare you? <laughs> how dare I not like the people involved in this server? How dare I? Yeah, just just wild. I can't imagine why you wouldn't like them. They seem like such a nice bunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. D -d -d nothing, nothing, nothing. I, it's ridiculous that I even dislike them. <laughs> oh, fuck me, these people. I... Uh, I, everyone must love me. I'm Daddy Liar. <laughs> I'm the adult in the room. Who doesn't love their grandpa? Holy fucking so here's shit. Here's the crazy part. is He actually paints it as though anyone that doesn't like him are freaks and degenerates. Anyone that doesn't like him. Like, and that he also actually, there's a, there's, a, there's a clip out there that I really love. Oh my god, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep, keep myself straight just thinking about it. There's a part where he, he goes into this, this, this speech about how there's there's no dirt on him he's never done he implies that he's never done anything wrong ever that's because he knows that there's a there's a just god out there and that when he goes on judgment day you know he keeps that in mind about judgment day so that he never does anything wrong okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leverage something i have a i have a theology degree and i would personally like to say as somebody with a degree in theology 
this man is not going to have a happy judgment day. <laughs> no, because the whole point of, a, of of being a Christian is the idea that you are extremely flawed as an individual that you need Jesus Christ. And I'm not here to preach, by the way. I'm just saying this is yeah. the doctrine of being a Christian. Um, you believe that you're so flawed and imperfect that you need Jesus Christ to forgive you and to who had died for your sins so that you can get yeah, access this to way, This is why so you go through Christ saying, not directly to God. You have yeah. to go through Christ. You're, 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 you are tainted by original sin. I know we're going a bit theological, but yeah, like, but, oh, fuck, like, talking to one of the fucking, some of the right-wingers I have to deal with occasionally who are like, yeah, that's not actually what the Bible says, I'm like, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) And and then you got Lyle over here, there's no dirt on me, I've never done anything wrong, because I I know there's a just, he actually, you have to see the clip, I actually cannot do it justice summarizing it, I can't. If you can find it for me, we'll play it, please, I'd love it. I, while you Fat while you play this, I'll look for it. Nice. Seemingly, we're okay with resolving these situations after talking through them and coming to an understanding, only to backstab everyone in a public thread that you knew would affect the very people you also came to terms with the night before. Also, this was not your main goal. When we looked at your conduct within the server, you share with water. Are we gonna have to throw a hopeless peaches over party like we did with the glitch tail raid? See, you say that drinking tea emoji uh very nice to meet blue haired hair and pronouns just haven't said shit because i don't want to get into internet drama while school is killing me all these people are fucking kids anyways nick bestie no this server is public it's pronouns and pronouns actually just okay whatever Dorito, you really seem more excited about this happening than actually concerned with whether or not this affects the glitch tail case Hopeless Peaches over party ring a bell? And you were sitting in the call with me, pretending that you were unaware of this being said as if you hadn't interacted with it actively. Part of the problem here, Crystal, is what you are saying to my face is completely different than what you're saying in your Discord server. Hopeless Peaches is over party ring a bell? Interestingly, I think this is the second call. Like, you can hear the change in his tone. That's second call. Really? Did I say that? Um... Somebody Possibly a crystal oh, flame would be able to tell us the specifics because Lyo, of course, doesn't. Well, why would he? Yeah, I'm just I okay. True, I'm guessing. I'm making the assumption, but uh, yeah, that is that is very interesting uh, because, like, in the previous call where like Peaches is there, it's very we'll deal with it and everything else. But no, this is this is this is after that. This I think this is after the thread uh, threads out. Very flippant. In fact, one of your people Ooh, put the fact. Okay, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. One of your people sits there and puts that Peaches is my daughter in quotation marks. Really? In your server? She is your daughter in quotation marks. What? Are you, what the fuck are you talking about? She's a, fuck! Fuck the! You haven't adopted you know here's, her. <laughs> here's the kicker with the whole thing too. Is this would be like me getting in a call with Leo, right? If if you would do the call and then just bringing up shit that other people said in Senate. And then bringing it up to him, and bitching and whining and moaning about it. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? Like, why? Why aren't you talking about the actual issues here? Why are you bringing up what other people are saying and people having a good laugh about the fucking stupid shit in a server? Like, what? What is? What importance does this have exactly? Well, it's to to bully Crystal. That's that's what this is. I mean, what amazes me as well about Lyo is he's got away with this shit for so long that he's literally sat in a call, clearly bullying somebody to get them to, like, back down. And he thinks this makes him look good. It's fucking wild! It's actually, like, the levels of delusion on this remember, man. He's never done anything wrong. He's never done anything wrong. Like, the Rosa call, he was fine doing that. He was He was using ableist language, and he has owned that. You know, the fact that he has not owned any of the other shit is sort of irrelevant. It's just a really interesting thing as well that people like this do, where they will take, like, an L that their community will accept. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll cop to that. But it's like, well, no, that's not accountability. That's just you damage controlling. Oh, fucking these people. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What? Give me a second, I'll check. I know you said this was to hype yourself up after you remembered that you did interact with that post. But, how is watching your chat rag on Peaches hyping yourself up? Wholeheartedly, that was me being cocky. Wholeheartedly. That is me being cocky trying to talk myself up. I, I 100% You know 100% what, I, I, I have something to say here, but I can't to, to be specific out of, out of being asked by someone else. But just, 
Lyo knows exactly what I'm referring to if he's watching. Shut the fuck up. I, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm referring to, dude, because there's... I'm, I have to keep my word here. I promise not to talk about this specifically because it, it wasn't supposed to be shown to me, but you want to talk about you sitting in a circle jerk of people hyping, uh, hyping up and saying, like, ridiculous outlandish shit. He was saying shit like this to other people before my before this whole situation happened early like uh before the whole si that shit storm even started okay he was already pissed off because he knew i was going to be talking about the peaches shit running his fucking mouth behind the scenes um now i'm not going to get into specifics someday i might we'll see how that goes uh but he knows exactly what i'm referring to so he needs to shut the fuck up because he's got no fucking high ground here there's none i swear to god i wish i wish i could give you the specifics but he <laughs> knows what i'm talking about I, he knows what i'm talking about well, that's that's because he knows that you're trying to control the narrative, Akuma. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah. I yeah, wanted we, to appear. We have you, Dorito. She's been digging her grave for a while. You want to clarify that? If it was about you, they'd hype you up and not tear Peaches down. Dorito, Crystal's partner, behaves the absolute worst, comparing Peaches to the likes of Artie, Veer, and Vita, people that Peaches has called out for a multitude of things. You know grooming children, directing sexual content willingly at them, and worse. And that's less than what Peaches did in Dorito's eyes, apparently? I've shown you what Veer did already. I can't exactly see how not filtering yourselves around minors is worse than what these disgusting individuals did, but sure. Regrettably, that's not the what the Crystal Flame never fucking said. What did oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? He, oh my god. He's like, he, he said, well, I, I can't see how not filtering yourself around minors is worse than any of these people. A crystal flame never said that it was worse, ever. I, 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 I can't, I, am I wrong? Well, no. I, again, this is part of the thing with, like, trying to portray the arguments people are making rather than the arguments they are. And this is, interestingly, he's responding to Crystal's threat on the truth and dare stuff. But he seems to gloss over the gatekeeping thing really quickly later on. He's like, yeah, Peaches shouldn't have done that. I'm like, okay. Peaches told an 11-year-old that she was attention-seeking by talking about her sexual assault. That's not a... You wouldn't gloss over that if it was anyone else. You'd be like, wow, that's incredibly Peaches fucked up. Her grooming, if yeah. Peaches talks about her grooming, anyone that doesn't take it seriously into the fucking world are dog pieces of shit. Okay, it, it's this flip floppity shit that I I just I can't wrap my head around. It's, yeah, I think it's again because he's able to get away with it. Fucking again to his audience. If anybody here is watching now and they're like, actually, I like Lyo. I've liked Lyo for a long time, and I I don't know if I trust you, strange well, orange head ginger like man. So I can speak here now. I didn't always dislike Lyo. Me and him were were cool at one point and i've been at that point where i was per i was there was a period of time where i was like okay yeah he does odd stuff but i don't think he's the type you know where he's got no fucking consistency and oh my i was naive me naive me <laughs> don't worry everyone 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 has a learning curve my advice to you is uh people will tell you who they are listen that's it um, that's, that's the baseline. Just don't be surprised. You can still be friends with assholes, but don't be surprised when they're assholes. <laughs> Leading oh, their yeah. account, most of the messages have been lost. However, based on the evidence I managed to gather, including confirming the authenticity of the chat and other users involved as an ex-Amino creator slash admin for Camilo Cuevas, I'm confident that the allegations against them are true. You admit you can't verify the authenticity apart from through testimony from possibly biased sources, yet still chose to go through with this. If it came from your server, you've gotten a testimony from a biased space that finds that situation amusing, treating it like tea. And we'll get to that later. Something I kept quiet for my well-being is that for the GTC situations and every other AU were connected to it, I was oh, the one, one thing responsible I just want to quickly note about that whole thing oh. that he just, he just mentioned. Uh, Lyo is actually so fucking stupid that he has no idea what he's talking about because in his server, he told them that it, the, the Amino shit probably came from me. So when I say that even though he's speaking on all this, he has no actual idea about most of it, I mean that in the most, like, full sense of it. He, he has no idea that this came from other fucking people that took it to Twitter. <laughs> Fuck, I mean, again, this is the problem with a like a uh, fucking echo chamber. You can just say one thing, say it, and that's probably that's probably fine. That's probably fine. Yeah, with oh, yeah, Kumu. Yeah, to get that back. Yeah. In 
idiots. Evidence, collecting screenshots and compiling everything, which I then provided to... This is your Batman, boys ideas. and girls. With that being said, all they had to do was work on the script while at the time the other victims, including myself, were truly grateful for their help. But now, I want to create a complete disconnection between the GTC victims and Hopeless Peaches. Before, I was okay with Peaches and others taking credit for the work. I welcomed it as it allowed me to step away from the public eye as I never did this for clout or attention. I even deleted my Twitter account as it made me feel disgusting growing from this. Peaches looked through them, so did Sarah, Jar, Kay, and even Sunny. The idea that you were the only one working on it, even putting the word helped in quotations, is wholly dishonest. and doesn't show any respect for the plethora of people. Ooh. Queen, I was going to dump the logs from Crystal, and we picked through to find exactly what was needed to prove Camilla's contradictions and complacency with Vera and others. Uh, other interesting people worked on it for two videos including some collaborations with others while crystal moni uh, monitored with me obviously i was very passionate about the subject although given the ending of what happened the last time i'd rather not touch it again well that have helped you and the others this point is even worse because in the call we had after this thread you said you didn't care if people took credit so long as the evidence was presented truthfully yeah you know how it's like it's one of those things where even in the thread I was like, I'm more than happy with Peaches and Queen and so on taking the credit for how much evidence, you know, I got. I didn't care for that. You know, I just wanted a good job done. You know, that's how I always held myself. I don't care how the ev evidence gets presented as long as it's the truth and nothing but the truth. So, yeah, I would agree. Yet here you are in a thread making sure everyone knows you did all the work when that wasn't even true. I didn't want to be known as the person dealing with such matters in a public light. I never wanted to be seen as a hero nor grow from it. I just wanted to help victims behind closed doors to move past Camilla's inaction and the action. Again, hypocritical, Mr. Most of my predator hunting, believe it or not, happens offline. <laughs> like you're a fucking clout shark, Lyo. You've or, done or I work with law enforcement, but I just file police reports. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, nothing's ever come of it. Or the fucking, like, insane shit of people can come to me and I can I can teach them how to deal with stuff. I, wh what? The fuck are you talking about? Like, you, you put up, and I think Gilded was right to get me to show this call, because I didn't realise, uh, inst uh, like, at the beginning, but Mint Heart and Watch, or uh, Isaiah, whatever the fuck his name is, you put on somebody who was, who you believed was being groomed with their groomer on a live stream for content this is content to you you are this is this is exploitative pornographic content that's what it is and that's fine think, uh, but there's a stream that inla did where she shows the lion maker call interview i can't remember the guy's name that did the interview with lion maker and she makes a very good point that that's how you should really go about it is just put like if you really want to Sp spotlight this in the individuals right um and do something like that one don't if since the if, if the person was groomed by the individual you don't want to put them anywhere near them again to, first off that's that's one sure. secondly like i think in in the made a good point in come in, in showing that um that call with the the interview that was done with lion maker was done really well because that person just asked lion maker questions and let him sort of he, he basically let lion maker run himself into circles about it and and provide a confrontation which ended up being informative if you really want to make people aware yeah that's a productive way of going about it in my in my opinion i agree with that i think i've got that interview call um because uh, but yeah we might have a watch of that at some point because that's an interesting one i don't think i've seen that yet since of the abusers but here we are considering you claim that you were working on things in the background is it it's a colossal combo Beckett. i fucking need to talk to him yeah i know we'll get to it we'll get to it if he wants to, wants to talk to me interesting that you show up every time this is being talked about to put yourself in the forefront in fact remember how i said earlier that crystal loves being the main character you call yourself the main character right here and we're happy to call yourself the voice for all victims when you are being platformed by other people to summarize this section the content discussed in the gt videos remains valid and truthful peaches and other youtubers collaborated closely with me in creating those videos therefore despite the recent revelations please understand that what has been said in those videos still holds true as i basically fed them the information to them as i grew up in the gtc people must start holding their friends to the same moral standards they preach. 
Refer back to the earlier point of you not being held publicly accountable for your actions when you were 18 by people because you were given grace and a place to explain yourself, along with the fact Peaches has been held accountable by the people surrounding them and removed themselves from the online space afterwards. After this thread was released, Crystal, their partner, a Senate mod named Zach Not Kyle, and I hopped into a call. Okay, even if that's true, you haven't been held accountable for covering this stuff up. Uh, Peaches, I don't think Peaches' intention was to delete her channel. Her channel fucking trailer changing to we're going to do different content is not accountability. And dropping a thread because she had to is also not fucking accountability. It's damage control. Well, the channel trailer thing came out uh, where they were going to do different stuff after the Rosa situation. That was that had nothing even to do with this, but I get what you're saying. Well, I mean, but she would have because the channel trailer stuff wasn't like the the new one, the one that had 12 to 15k views. She dropped that after Lyo had the locks. Oh yeah, yeah, that is a good point actually. Yeah, she so she yeah, so she she would have she would have known what was coming because they were clearly fucking prepping for this, and even yeah. if she's doing that ahead of time, that it was clearly. I think she knew from the logs that she couldn't do more predator hunting shit. 2023 was really crazy, guys, because she knew this was the start. I think it was the start of February. Can't tell now because she deleted a fucking channel. But like, yeah, I, I believe so. To discuss the claims made within it. In this call, I gave Crystal a lot of grace. One of the first things Crystal was asked about was their standards when it comes to evidence. Number one, what do we look okay. for? What would we look for when it comes to cases like this? Do you remember? Um, well, what I look for is adults holding themselves correctly around children. Okay, but what else do you look for? What do you look for in order to determine this? This is interesting, but what else do you look for? He's not disagreeing. He's like, okay, but that would just make peaches look bad. <laughs> so let's, let's add yeah, something dude, he's, gonna, he's gonna like, well, what else do you look for? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, whenever I'm looking into a predator case, I'm not saying this is one, but whenever mm -hmm. I look into a case like this, I determine a yep. few things. Number one, if ages okay. were stated. Number two, if ages were known. Mm -hmm. Number three, if things can mm -hmm. be verified. So I've seen your thread. Okay. And here's... Okay. Two out of the three of those, y you can. And actually, I think the third one is also verifiable. So yes, all three of those things are verifiable. I think you're. Ref I think he's referring to the fucking truth or dare shit. But regardless, with the eleven-year-old. That's verifiable. They all fucking knew. Pete just knew at the fucking time when she was sending those texts. Here's the problem. So, okay. Number one, there is a single screenshot which does not denote any age or show any screen names. And if this is the most okay. damning... Okay, so, hold on. I... If this is the most damning thing they have, Crystal, it doesn't cut mustard for anything. Fortunately, it's not, but carry on. The other two screenshots No, I completely have, agree. But... The other two screenshots you have are mm -hmm. just statements that don't have any solid evidence. To yeah, you're right, Caesar. They're claims, they're not evidence. Okay. As you can imagine, such low standards do not make for a proper chain of evidence. In this call, I went through their accusations and proof and discussed it with them. When confronted with the Amino screenshot, even Crystal realized it was shaky. Yeah, I would have shown that um, the truth and dare screenshot because there's no proof to be able to Okay, I just really, I know I'm pausing a lot, but I really just want to point out how how transparently obvious it is that Lyo can't address the core claims, because he's not dealing with any of them, he's just going for Crystal, because Crystal is, in his view, and actually he's probably right, the weakest point, uh, the weakest point to attack. The Jordan stuff didn't work. I, I am pretty sure that other people have talked to him past this point about the Jordan call on the 28th, where he's like, I'm going to destroy Jordan. And being yeah. like, hey, this looks really fucking bad. Like, what are you doing? You look like a fucking monster. So that's why he's gone for Crystal, because, no, like, no one's come out in defense of Crystal Again, Crystal it's yet. baffling to me that, you know, he's supposedly busy, right? And yet he's had supposedly two to three calls with a Crystal Flame about all this. Mm -hmm. He tried to drag Mad Libs into a call to berate her for misinformation for discussing something that wasn't misinformation. And he tried to drag in the person behind Fruitcake Leaks in for a call there. Also recently, you know, all with, this all happening within the span of two, three weeks, by the way, of him constantly dragging people into calls. Uh, but he can't have a conversation with any of the people or directly address any of, 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 of the shit that he's claiming is false. It's, it's really baffling to me. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's almost... <laughs> It's almost tactical. Uh, we might do the the uh, Mad Libs ones of February the 29th, right? 
Um, is that the one you linked to me? Uh, no, that the one that I sent you. Yeah, that's the one where they talk about uh, uh, the person behind the fruitcake leaks. Again. Okay, we might listen. Where they, they literally get in a call and just talk about that individual. They don't even actually talk about the account. Interesting. We might because li- I don't think we listen to that in full. We might listen to that after this. Might do that as a, okay. a wrap up. Is but is a very very flimsy screenshot as most, but this one has a lot more behind it. If that makes sense. In fact, I brought up the Peaches has been in hot water multiple times, so it's strange how it is only now that the people regarding the Amino come forward when Peaches is in hot water for the FCK stuff. Even Crystal describes being confused, considering there was ample time and moments to come out with all of this had people wanted to. So I generally do not know why the screenshot has never surfed this before. I cannot give you an answer to that. Because this seems like, because the amount of time Peaches has been called out, the amount of shit that has happened to the Glitch Cell crew and Peaches, it should have been shown. It is such an anomaly. That's why I'm back. Because so there, was, there, 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 there was there like, was So it's easy for outsiders to assume the screenshot was shared to Crystal with malicious intentions. In the end, Crystal even says there's no proof in regards to the Amino screenshots entirely. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have shown that um, the truth and dare screenshot because there's no proof to be, well there is, but it's a very very flimsy screenshot as most. But this one has a lot more behind it if that makes sense. Crystal admits to handling these situations emotionally, and admits they don't have proper evidence, just feelings. What I like to admit about like me being scared, because I am, because I've seen, not because like, I'm worried about the impact, it's because I've seen the I- I- immediate <laughs> impact, because <laughs> it, it's one of the- <laughs> Sorry, Crystal admits to being emotional. What, you've, you're always fucking emotional, you freak- No, I, I'm level-headed, that's why I screamed at an autistic woman. Like, wait, what? You fucking lunatic. Jesus Christ. He has to- he has to present himself this way. No, I'm just the adult in the room. Even- I, I've said this before when looking at Metica stuff, and it's rare that you'll ever see Jim get really concerned over things, or actually genuinely fucking angry. But one of the few- things was anything to do with kids like it, he really went hard on this there's a reason unlike school shootings and stuff there's a reason he presented randy stare the way he did there's a reason he dealt with like ross and the bathtub shit the way he did he really fucking hits at this also a lot of his transphobia is actually down to that it is down to the fact that he sees this as like a corrupting influence on fucking children people do have emotional lines with this even those people who like actually are seen as really level-headed and like detached those things where I saw that screenshot going around. I saw it going around and I knew everyone else to see it and the group chat did and just everyone felt betrayed. Wholeheartedly betrayed. And it, did I handle this emotionally? Probably upon reflecting? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I'm at a point where I'm like with the evidence, even though I do believe like again, this is this is a hundred percent where we're all gonna have to disagree or agree with one another and this is not something I can ever say public, you know, because Unless there's screenshot proof of it, I can't prove it happened. Crystal also admits they cannot hold Peaches to the same standards. I could never respect Peaches to conduct herself the same way now as she did, like, back then as she does now, you know? Like, that would be an unholy expectation. That would be an unholy expectation to throw me back three years and expect me to respond to situations how I do now. They also said they didn't want this approaching commentary, which is a lie considering the call they had with Linlin before they even spoke to me and in which they admit contacting Harley TPS2, as stated earlier. Which, by the way, you told Linlin you'd tell us everything yourselves, asking Linlin to not tell me, but never- Sorry, I need to just call out, it's gone. Or did. So thank you, Linlin, for sharing this with me. I'll go from there. As a person to person, don't tell Pete and Lyo, because I can swear on my fucking heart I'm going to tell them myself, being like, uh-huh. I'm quite disappointed. And they approached Harley TPS, despite saying they didn't trust Harley with research. What was that? disappointed and they approached harley uh just noticed something as well you and queen both checked i was doing okay after the huge gamer move i pulled on camilla to delete her server only to find out all the shit which has happened and what nix had done to harley doesn't care about any of that just wants a video my boyfriend did more than me lamau true mvp that's harley i'm hoping all that stuff uh that is sorted so we can just have fun uh shit to chat about these two videos then my one finish the fucking timeline Camilla has made, then no more fucking uh, canvas, bro. Yes, despite saying they didn't trust Harley with research. Um, as, as you know, I, I don't want to be the pirate. Like, uh, Leah, dude, people are jumping a sinking ship and uh, Lyo is surprised by it. I, do you know what? I actually think Lyo is surprised by it. 
genuinely, I think he is shocked at the amount of people who fucking turned on him. I think he thought he had everything in a vice-like culty grip. It hasn't worked out for him. Uh, the private stuff. I basically, I've informed Harley about this as well. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm basically saying the same things I'm saying to you, to Harley, so everyone's just informed about this, because I know the whole art commentary space is very like, oh, I keep this evidence to myself, or do we say this? I don't I don't want anything to do with that shit. I'm very much an outsider with all of this, and I'd rather communicate when I see there's actual risks or worries within the community which should be addressed. While they have stated recently that they don't believe this at this point, it was still an odd move to make. Crystal also attempted to make another claim about Peaches drawing inappropriate artwork by their own description being two characters interchanging saliva whilst making out. I, it is just her randomly staring, very suggestive imagery, tongue and tongue, you know, saliva kissing in front of minors. Only to realize 30 minutes later their description was completely exaggerated and their claim was false. Yeah, this is the image in question which was sent in the um, FCK server. There's literally no drool there. There's no tongue. I oh god, who fucking cares? But secondly, isn't one of these characters underage? Isn't... Yeah, am I right in thinking that? I, I can't... I can't remember because I... I have no idea about that. There was also another claim I heard that this wasn't the only image uh, from the FCK. Uh, apparently there was one... No, no, this that's not even close to the remotely... Well, I don't, I don't know if that was shared in the FCK server. I, it wouldn't surprise me. There was a drawing of Peaches and ZZ, I think making out uh there was another drawing of peaches and toasty vanilla naked but it didn't show any genitalia of them bathing one another um there was all kinds of shit sitting there it's i don't, have you seen the, my fck video it's it's fucking yeah I, I i'm just trying to fucking bear with me i'm a i'm old buddy and there's, I, I there's a lot <laughs> but yeah i i i know there was more than this and also it's not just people drawing their own shades like they were sharing not safe for work uh stuff outside the not safe for work channel everywhere everyone was and peaches like was fine with it she didn't leave she didn't fuck off she literally put this this is going to be this can be used to expose you she fucking knew she knew what it was <laughs> what are you talking about this is so fucking selective liar you're a fucking coward buddy you're a coward i my <laughs> Oh, that's, that's my bad. I, I, yeah. I, 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 so, yeah. so, since you asked, I still, right? I still, go ahead. I still would say, am I clutching at scores here? Yes, you I are. Know. Because I have, I've seen literal teen romance think, yeah. or literal children that is more risque than this. Yeah, no, no, wholeheartedly. Yeah, I, I'll concede that. I. Because all the artwork was, was a peck on the cheek, which is a great example of Crystal taking things at face value and running with it before even checking anything in regards to it. When I brought up Peach's grooming and the way it affected their actions four years ago, Crystal actively tried to invalidate Peach's grooming and the effect it had on them to convince me that it shouldn't be taken into consideration. Why? Because apparently Crystal gets to do way worse since they were freshly 18 and Peach's wasn't. Because Crystal sat there comparing their own grooming experiences to Peach's experience. As a <laughs> How fucking dare she? Seems <laughs> to saying that if they didn't get to do something, Peaches shouldn't have either. Which is strange coming from Crystal, <laughs> as they conducted themselves worse by actively directing sexual content at children, as mentioned earlier. As a reminder, Crystal actively chose to read out sexual material in a server they modded for and knew there were minors in. Crystal also, on multiple occasions, compared the actions of Nix and Jackie, who talk sexually to children within a group chat knowingly to what Peaches has done action so many years ago because i've called out jackie Ninx, and so many others for this for actions said a multitude of years ago why would this be different why should because i treat peaches differently because their actions are not one-to-one -one comparable crystal which yeah they are though like the the the, the standards that you've held are one-to-one -one comparable with what's happening to peaches you're being selective about the story you're talking about you Fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Which is an uncalled for comparison, considering that's not what Peaches had been doing at all. Near the end of the call, Crystal admits that they cannot substantiate the claims they're making to the public with the evidence they have, even if they believe in it themselves. Let me pose you this, because I, I'm at a point where I'm like, with the evidence, 
even though I do believe, like, again, this is this is a hundred percent where we're all gonna have to disagree or agree with one another, and this is not something I can ever say public, you know, because unless there's screenshot proof of it, I can't prove it happened. I can't say X, Y, Z happened yet, but I wholeheartedly do believe those truth and dare games were real. I do believe that took place, and the context of the little context of what it is, I do believe Peach has mishandled herself there. When confronted with the conduct of the server Crystal and Water Dorito were in, Crystal says they don't remember saying anything in regards to it. Crystal says they don't remember saying anything in regards to it, claiming they were hyping themselves up, but never apologized. I just want to bring up something really quickly, because Dorito's been mentioned now, and someone mentioned this tweet from ages ago. So, fuck. I am so fed up with uh, Lyo holding what I've said in Dorito's server as a gotcha point over my friend's head. I stand by everything I said in that server, so here is every statement I have made relevant to the ongoing situation with Peaches and Lyo. This is apparently 13 things, uh, 13 posts long. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. We'll come to this later, but it is being addressed. I, I don't know enough about the situation. F fuck me. Like, no... <laughs> This is all so impenetrable. Holy fucking shit. Right. Apologizing for what they said. To this day, Peaches has not received a proper apology. Meanwhile, Dorito is more concerned with who leaked the screenshot rather than an apology. To the point where they ask- <laughs> Cope, I'm sorry you're having to listen to this. It's all right, I do it to myself. Ask me for the name of the person who leaked things. no sympathy. Twice. <laughs> I, it just, because of personal reasons and shit that's happened to me like in the past, I just- could you at least tell me if the person leaking my my server not leaking it's it's a public server but like is one of my friends because it's just uh, again i'm not going to go into details but this is Dorito. yeah i don't know who your friends yeah. are yeah i got you <laughs> do we need to cover anything yeah. else tonight um, um I'm, I'm assuming that's the february the 29th call where uh they're trying to work out who the server the leaker is which is <sighs> I can't believe that one of my friends is leaking this stuff to to hurt me. That's interesting with Dorito because it shouldn't shouldn't they care that the stuff happened? I I don't fucking know. I I have one thing I have to say. You don't have to answer this. It's just like has someone been leaking like stuff about my server too? You know that I have much to hide. It's just school <laughs> stuff. It's it's just like. It, it feels a bit like a breach of trust because most of the people in my server are like my friends and it's like, ugh, oh, goddammit. But, um, <laughs> it like, I don't mind if that person disagrees because like they can like come into like, they can like be in my server and just tell me they wholeheartedly disagree and it's fine, honestly. It just, I would like to know who, you have to tell me honestly, you don't, because I won't ban them or anything, it just, eh. Funny, because they say their server is public, even though it really isn't. The only apology from Dorito comes in apologizing for how they handled the situation. I will apologize for letting that slide because I did. Um, no, hold on. I should not be, I should not be, like, putting that and, like, into question. I myself have said that because I especially should not do that considering I have my own found family. If someone told me that B was, like, like, called me B, like, my mom, in quotation marks, I would be. Stop, stop building weird family units. This shit's really weird. Everyone's looking at you like you're fucking crazy. Please stop doing it. Holy fucking shit. But you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to acknowledge it. What? Not, not allowed to... You're not allowed to do that. What? I'm not... I'm, let's... <laughs> is, this, is this really important to these people? I'm sorry. This is, it's fucking lunacy. It is actual insanity. This is, this is the one of those signs where I look at it and I go, these people like have clear mental health problems. I'm not... Do you not? Do they not see how weird this looks? Do they not get it? No, no, they they, they don't. Cause it's terminally online, right? I'm not terminally online, but I'm doing very terminally online thing. <laughs> like that, that, that is not normal remotely. <laughs> you don't see happen in real life. Like there is there is one person who's a friend who's like a brother to me, and we've be, we've known each other since we were kids. You know, like I I was best man at his wedding, kind of thing, and I refer to him yeah. as my brother. But it's not like we're not a literal family unit. He's just like that level of closeness to me. I wouldn't like adopt him or something. Like, what the fuck is going on? I understand, and that was completely wrong of me. I will also just apologize for like uh, how I handled it in the server. Granted, I was also yeah. No, actually no, no excuses. Um, I still agree with my thread. If you think it was out of line, 
uh, we can agree disagree. I still agree. Maybe the last part was was a bit offline because, yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, I do apologize for <laughs> for that. Not an apology directed at me or Peaches, which is the more important party here. During the call we had, we came to an agreement that Crystal had to make an addendum to their thread. Crystal decided it was enough to delete a single tweet from the thread and add a quote thread to their original post. I will be going over that. Okay, so two things there. We'll just get to the quote thread, uh, second thread in a minute. But it's really interesting with the way Lyo is already framing this as people should be apologizing to Peaches. They should already be apologizing to Peaches. Why aren't people apologizing to Peaches? It's like, motherfucker. Like... <laughs> You're getting a bit of ahead of yourself, aren't you? That too, and the way they decided to conduct themselves within the server after we spoke. First of all, the addendum and the way it's done was irresponsible. Way more people have seen the thread than they are to see the correction, even if quoted. The way this should have been done, instead of just deleting Three the thread with the faulty evidence and accusations, is to delete the entire thread and take accountability by explaining why it shouldn't have been released so carelessly and why it was released to begin with. That would have been the real accountability here. According to Crystal themselves, the only reason... Fucking what? The real accountability is deleting any evidence you might have had. Uh, not clarifying that some points you now retract and some points stand. No, delete everything. Silence yourself, Crystal. Crystal, you need to be silenced. You need to be silenced. What are you doing, Crystal? <laughs> the reason why that's not been done is because they were worried it'd come out as me forcing them to delete it. If I take it down, there will be people, no matter the context, who will say that Lyo pressured Crystal into doing such. You which, know, which, even if it's not, which, which you are, you, Cr Lyo is absolutely pressuring Crystal to retract. That's what this fucking video is. What are you talking about? You can't be like, oh, people are going to say that you're pressuring me because you're pressuring me. I fucking hate when people do this. They point out something obvious, and they've done the same with Akuma and Kuma. They they have issues with the group, therefore you can't trust them. It's like no, no motherfucker. <laughs> An observation does not vindicate you. <laughs> Oh, you clown. <laughs> Which is a particularly strange claim to make, solely because it relies on Crystal telling people I had spoken to them about it, not just about their ban from Senate. Crystal starts the addendum by talking about their ban from Senate, something that happened because they requested it, which is also the least important thing to address when it comes to this thread. What's interesting is that publicly, they admit they wanted separation between Senate and them, yet in their server, Crystal drops that they were banned, and when people speculate on why, makes no effort to correct them, even in the announcement they dropped. This is only after two entirely unrelated tweets, we finally get some semblance of accountability. The admission you were driven by emotions. Sadly, Crystal doesn't address their own hypocrisy, let alone apologizes for framing people. Uh, uh, okay, so they, that, e even if you're talking about the hypocrisy, where's your, where's your acknowledgement of that, Lyo? Huh, buddy? Where's your acknowledgement? What are you doing over there? <laughs> With your little fucking, like, two-week video it took you to make this shit. Or you cut up somebody's, uh, testimony, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Peaches like a predator. And that's what you did. You compared them to literal groomers as we covered earlier. In the next two tweets, we see the reason for why one tweet was taken down. Evidence being insufficient. The claim of holding yourself to a high standard is hypocritical considering how low your standards for evidence are. By your own admission. Number one, what do we look okay. for? What do we look for when it comes to cases like this? Do you remember? Um, well, what I look for is adults holding themselves correctly around children. Okay, but what else do you look for? What do you look for in order to determine this? Mediant suit. This is like, okay, random one, but the, the Republic of Ireland was voting to join the Lisbon Treaty. They had a referendum on it. They lost the referendum. They were like, no, we don't want to join. We don't want to join the Lisbon Treaty. And then the government came back and said, actually, we really do kind of have to join. So we're going to have another referendum if you could just uh, <laughs> vote for it. It's like that shit. Oh, no. Give me the answer I want, not the answer you want. Fucking hell. What do you mean? Well, whenever I'm looking into a predator case, I'm not saying this is one, but whenever mm -hmm. I look into a case like this. Oh, we have Crystal in the way. Room. Give me a sec. Okay, hold on. Crystal, how you doing? Hello again. Hi. Hey. Okay. Uh, I've literally just come into the stream, so I don't know if this point has been made before, but I, you probably have. Um, so, you know, there's a point in this, which, again, I can speak publicly about this, is that um, he says that I compared Peaches to groomers. Never yes. in any of the threads, never in any of the servers, never anywhere did I say Hopeless Peaches is a groomer and or pedophile. He is making this argument. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a straw man. Air. 
we've we, yeah don't worry we have we have covered this so um okay, you're good awesome. but yeah no it's it's just it's a straw man like he's setting up an argument which he thinks he can knock down rather than addressing the actual claims i i'll tell you what you've been you're reading chat right i'm sure they've got some questions for you and i is here and also i need like two minutes so i'm gonna run away and do something for literally two seconds um, and then I'll be back. Is that cool? You can, you know, we'll yeah, let you, cool. like, cool. Uh, <laughs> you can manage the stream for me for a sec. Right, BRB. Yeah, happy days. Just let him stream the chat load and I'll answer any questions within reason, of oh, course. Okay. Hello. Hello, Kumi, by the way. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, finally speaking after all this time, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not nearly as sick as I used to be, so. <laughs> oh, we can happy probably day. have the conversation. God, a lot of things have changed since like we were meant to call. I would love oh, if my yeah. chat made it. <laughs> quite, quite a shit storm. Yeah, no. Um, this is definitely a video of time, to say the very least. <laughs> um, all I'm saying is th this is three different calls snipped into one and presented as just one call. It, it's really ironic. Too, because he, he gets on to you about the amino screenshots for not having enough context. It's like, okay, fair point, fair point, all right. But why is it you have no problem all these calls? It minds you three different calls, and then mm -hmm. not giving us an idea. He could have put something on screen telling us what call it was from each clip that he played. It's not yes. that hard. Like with like with when I did my my ponder video, right? I knew it was going to be a little difficult for people to understand the clips and whatnot. So what I did in part one and what I'm doing with part two is putting timestamps there because I know it's going to be confusing because I'm referencing multiple videos all in one fucking thing. Um, and it's yeah. just it's absurd to me that that. Uh, this yeah, situation, it anyway. yeah, just just smashing all this these calls together with no idea, no direction. Um, oh, hold on, they're saying I'm roboting. Hold, on. let me fix it. Uh, you're you're fixed now. You you are uh, you're fixed. Oh, okay. All right. All right okay, so, yeah, so, what I was saying, chat. Oh, well, you you say what you're saying. Yeah. No. Um. For a bit of context, a lot of this is shown. Um. This is prefaced with the idea that I knew everything within the FCK. I didn't. I only found out a lot of information after your video, video Okumu. Like, a lot of this information, which is presented here that I comforted Hopeless Peaches and everything like that, this is before mm -hmm. your video dropped. Yeah, because this, this was not this made clear. had the logs and whatnot. And, um, yeah. It's, it's interesting, too, because, you know, he's had these logs and... So he has an idea as to just how fucked that server was. You mean to tell me he's been in there, he's had those logs for months, and he's got no fucking idea? He's had, he, have, he has, I, like, I refuse to believe that the idea that he hasn't had a conversation with Peaches about having these logs. And then what really actually made, it warranted me to make my video um, was, you know, the conversation where Peaches admits to knowing that Slimmers is a minor. Because you all had that conversation before the conundrum video, right? I, that... um, well, so basically, it was the idea of that Peaches knew there was a minor, but it wasn't me. Again, I did, there were so many names I've never heard before. Again, yeah. I am so far away from the ACC. Well, okay, so the conversation yeah. Yeah. that where, where Peaches says the 16 to 17, like that was on February 25th before her threat, right? Yes, I think so, yeah. Okay. So yeah, then he goes in the conundrum video, and then he's like, well, you know, I doubt Peaches knew there were any minors in there, when she straight up admitted to him that, that, that she at least knew of one. And then mm -hmm. he's, he's it's, it's, it's baffling to me. But, um... All oh, I am going to say, a bit of information I'm going to add here, um, which I will, again, I need like two days to scrap together everything and make my reply, because... Oh my god, the attack on my character is actually insane here. Um, the amount of strawman arguments and out of absolute bullshit, it is wild to say the least. But I was the one who prompted Peaches to make the thread. There wasn't going to be a thread. I was the one who had to convince her to make one. Which is a funny bit of information left out as well. <laughs> so how's everybody's evening going? It's pretty magical. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. It is wild. It is a wild one. It's it's an interesting one. 
Well, it I is. got Kumo and Serafina to bury the hatchet. Oh, this is funny. Oh. Well, I, well, I didn't I get them to, but I just helped. It went, it went well. You showed me the blackmail material before the stream, so I understand why they've both given up. What? I'm just messing. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. It's fine. Oh, just saying the bits. Oh. Just saying the bits. I'm like, British. Oh, no. I tell, we tell yeah. jokes here. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, there's a lot of context. A lot of context articles, and it is amazing seeing it firsthand because, like, you hear all these stories about, oh no, lie does stuff out of context, and you know, but you always draw a man and say that he doesn't. But now seeing it firsthand, it's like, yeah, goddamn, goddamn. No, it, it 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 makes me curious as to why he doesn't want to call with me, right? Because he could just do this with me, and his his global audience would just eat eat it right up. Mm -hmm. Um. It's but, because yeah, he no, can he... easily paint you out to be a villain. You know, he's already done that. You know, for the longest time, people didn't want to listen to you because you're very abrasive. You know, you you let people know of your presence in like in the nicest way. With me, you can't really do that because I'm not part of the ACC. I've only been on introduced out. to them um, because no, do not do not branch me with them. I will cry. Um, but I don't have all the connection with the drama from before. I'm not part of the Fox Mafia. So the only way he could have done gone about this is the way he has here, with straw man arguments and everything like that, because there's literally nothing on me which I haven't confessed to. So that's why he's doing it to me, because it's because I don't have the platform because I allow Peaches and everyone else to forward my stories because I didn't want to be known for this. So that's why he's willing to do it to me, because he doesn't expect me to reply. So what I missed all of this video <laughs> and have no idea anything i i yeah i i got thanks the for the input that was bad <laughs> huh? thanks for the input gilded <laughs> yeah i have no idea what's going, going on thanks old man i have no idea i i was in that call and it just uh yeah i thought it would be an hour later both queen and seraphina both of us uh, thought that but you know i mean i think it's i think it's one of these where like looking at this call like as i've said you're the weakest link you're easiest to go after Crystal. That means yeah. that he can just use you as a scapegoat. And I think from what I've seen, and I want to see, I, I want to see the actual calls from this, um, Lyo, because <laughs> like I imagine Lyo is watching um, at this point. Like I want to see the calls from this. I want to see the other Senate calls that you've had at this point. Like because you can say what you want, but you have presented all this stuff publicly before, Lyo. Everything around it, you've made content out of this. This is your content, buddy. And right now, you are being very selective about what you're showing because you know how bad this is. It's fucking awful. <laughs> you look like a complete clown because you are. But yeah, I, I'm. Go on. There are no comments on his video where people are like, again, it's working. His, his plan is working where um, people are saying, oh, Crystal Flame only said that they were freshly 18 to get away with it, to defend their grooming buddies. It's like, and Lyra, all, all they did right there, to the reply, because Lyra replied to that comment was just correct the pronouns because they got the pronouns wrong. So he is fully fine with saying, I associate with groomers and abusers, even though I have been actively calling these people out for a year and a half. Lyo knows this, but he knows he can't say that anymore because it will give me credibility. He just yeah. wants me gone. <laughs> yeah. And you have me blocked on Twitter. So that did you like? <laughs> yes. I just wanted it's to say It's all a coming, coming to the other moment. Oh, one thing I will say is that uh, I wouldn't read too much into the comments under Lyra's video. Uh, it seems that some are being deleted. I imagine they fucking are. Um, if this was going that well, Peaches wouldn't have deleted her channel on Twitter. Um, that was a really interesting move from her. I wasn't expecting that because that wasn't my goal of any of this. It's like she just needs to be held accountable because even in the course before, which I will be talking about in my response, is that I called her directly a hypocrite to her face because she is. She's polluted herself as this child predator hunter and everything like that. And she's literally screamed at people for much less. And it's just interesting to see when, you know, the music is against her, she just completely fumbles. Well that's what she she's done before. Thing. Yeah, because I mean this is yeah. this is really bad. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'll I'll keep you guys on the call. Uh, we're going to get to the end of this uh, call. I, I want to have a look at February the 28th, uh, 29th quickly, uh, because I think that's helpful. I don't think I've seen them cope about the fruitcake uh, leak, leaker and, uh, themselves, but that is actually a pretty interesting angle of attack because it means they're clearly looking for it. I determined a yeah. few things. Number one, if ages okay. were stated, 
Number two, if ages were known. Mm. Number three, if things can mm. be verified. So I've seen your thread. Okay. And here's the problem. So, okay. Number one, there is a single screenshot which does not denote any age or show any screen names. And if this is the most okay. damning... Okay, so, hold on. I... If this is the most damning thing they have, Crystal, it doesn't cut mustard for anything. The other two screenshots No, I completely have, agree. But... The other two screenshots you have are mm -hmm. just statements that don't have any solid evidence to back them. They're claims, they're not evidence. Okay. Crystal then goes back to hammering down on Peaches by reiterating the one claim that they have evidence for, Peaches' conduct in regard to someone else's trauma. They then go on to invalidate Peaches' grooming again by explicitly wording it as it may have affected their actions during that time, whilst having been told that it did. That's okay. Oh, man. You can't say that it did. There wasn't the groomer in the background being like, hey, Peaches. Oh. It would be so cool if you went into the server with miners in it and started like, oh, like just ignoring any of the sexual conversations they had and posting not safe for work stuff and you know engaging with that content. That would that would be so great for me. That didn't fucking happen. Like that just didn't happen. What the fuck are you talking about? Because if it had happened, it would have come out in the grooming story fucking years ago. Like it's obvious that that's not the case. Secondly. While while Lyo is glazing over this, and he is glazing over this, um, it doesn't change the fact that the second piece of evidence that Crystal is presenting that he has ignored for the last what is it thirty nine minutes is he's going to just wash over it again because what else is he meant to do? Because this looks fucking awful. He literally just latched on to the one truth and dare screenshots, which again. I redacted within an hour of making it because we had, like, again, we had three calls, two of the calls that were recorded. Um, I redacted it because I do agree it is not enough proof to make a case about. Even though I believe it's true, I can't prove it. So it is false in the matter of fact. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a question very quickly. I don't know why the groom was brought up. It's because it's a defensive tactic, because it's damage control. Let's be absolutely fucking clear about this. I cannot stress this enough, and I will do it over and over again for every person who asks. Actually, that's just going to get you to spam. Don't do that. Um, it is fucking damage control, obviously. No, well, because and it is coaching. Yeah, it's coaching, it is... sure. It's a very interesting argument, because it, let's just say we use Lyo's whole argument of, like, Peaches was taken advantage of, which again, I will never deny. I do believe that she went through absolute ab abhorrent actions. And even in the screenshot where he's saying, oh, I'm downplaying what uh, she's going through. No, I'm not. I'm saying it may have influenced her actions. I'm not lying with that. I'm saying I do see how it, with having the groomer around would have affected her actions. But going off that, if we are saying if your abusers are around you when this is going on, doesn't that mean by that more standards that he's setting, that I need to forgive Camila, because Camila's abuser was around her the whole entire time. Well, and it's... up until 2022. So going off this really faulty argument, he needs to forgive Camila. But that's dumb. No one's going to do that. Yeah, no, no one's going to make this argument. Also, yeah. like Akuma and I have already gone over this. She was already calling out people for sussy behavior during this period. She, she was doing that. She knew. She already had the moral compass. It's a bullshit argument. It's just very, very selective. Anyway, we are getting through this. Considering they tried this before, during the call we had with them, it's easy to see that's how it's being framed. Crystal also made an announcement within their server, discouraging people about making jokes about Peaches and Ice connections or jokes in regards to the Senate. Sadly, we see no semblance of telling people not to rag on Peaches, not spread misinformation, or any corrective action of, I'm sorry I painted Peaches as a predator. There is no accountability for the thread and the thing said within it in the announcement, which there should have been, so people were aware of the corrections you've made. Once again, Crystal focuses on the wrong things. I know I've touched upon it earlier, but I want to use this chance to really highlight just how malicious Crystal and their other server members have conducted themselves while this was all going on, all of them celebrating Peach's supposed downfall, hyping people up for it, and okay. how it's been coming okay. for he years. Wants to, he wants to talk about, about malicious, and I find that in, in malicious intent in talking about other people's servers and shit. And I find that really humorous because as this is playing someone on twitter is giving me screen caps and they they've given they've given me screen caps before of his server members and whatnot and their little fucking hug box i'm gonna read just just a quick little message okay that i've just been given a screenshot of uh hold on hold on i want to i want to i want to get read the really good one okay so this is this is um this is from soda pop barbecue 
Okay. And they want blood for their valor. Peach's blood. Lyo and his, his wife's blood. Susie's blood. Nezzy's blood. Bonder's blood. And I bet they'll move on to Heat and Sunny and whoever they can's blood. They won't stop until people are dead and or little more than lol cows ripe for the milking. Because they are deluded enough to think they're worth a blood price for daring to question them. I hate to armchair psych, but these are major signs that the Drat Pack are psychopaths in the medical sense, and they need to be in a straitjacket for theirs and others' protection. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, here's one more. Demanding peaches as a sacrifice to facilitate an armistice <laughs> is not issues. It's revenge for Akumu and Kumo's Senate vans. Pooh being exposed in their imagined stolen, val yeah. stolen valor as content creators. Like, who's, what are they smoking in there? <laughs> I fucking love these people. That are like, oh my god. Guys, you don't understand. This is a war that they're fighting, and they're demanding that we sacrifice Queen Peaches. We cannot let this stand. We cannot let democracy fall to these rabid animals. <laughs> these I motherfuckers think, need I... to stop playing Helldivers. <laughs> I think Akumu just killed the, what was left of my brain cells by reading that. Dude, that's 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 scraping the that's not even scraping the bottom of the barrel. That's just that's the froth right at the top. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> I I I want to I want to see Senate's logs. I want to see Senate's logs. Oh oh, I'll, I'll gladly give them to you. I can't, go to my Twitter. Go to my Twitter right now. Just, just there's there's some of them there. Okay. What is your uh, the Akumer? The uh, Akuma. Uh, how am I spelling Akuma? Right, uh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, that right one. There. Scroll down a little bit. No, no, not that, not that one, not that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you see the horns with the, the white hair with the horn? Oh no, good. It's E. E. Change the E. The A to an E. Right there, the horns. See the horns? See the horns and the white hair? Uh, yeah. Horns and white hair. There we go. Hair. Bingo. Cool, we got you. Just, just check my, uh, okay. check my replies. Uh... <laughs> All right, then. and there he is. Okay. <laughs> oh, buddy. Just click on, it. Click on the, the quote retweet. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You just have fun with that. Let's, uh... oh my god, there's more. Um, holy shit. Um... This is such a LARP. This is such a LARP. These people are fucking... Just go play d and D. I I can I can recommend you DMs. You don't have to live like this. No, they can just... They can just ERP with doodle tones. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' vultures. Oh my god. Uh, they won't accept any peaches have been gone. And leave and just... Because they want blood. Bloody revenge. Um... Holy shit, what is wrong with this person? What's their actual, like... Oh, um, yeah. Is this what they're... What's their Twitter like? Uh, no, that's not them. That's not them. That's just the person sharing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you want to see their Twitter, though, I did tag them. I was like, what the fuck are you smoking? Um, so, right, yeah, right there. That's their Twitter. Oh my god! It, it looks kind of tame in comparison compared to the the yeah, it looks, it lunacy looks like... shit that he says in comment sections in in Senate. By the way, he's right now seething in Senate as we speak, like as we're talking. <laughs> as we're talking, he's just like, "Fuck yeah. these guys!" Oh, buddy, you need to you need to grow the fuck up. I think that's my advice to a lot of these people. I feel like the judge in the in the court case where Lyos shared a Senate call. I'm just I feel like I'm sorry, going. Can you guys? Grow the fuck up a little bit, just just a little bit. Is that is that okay? <laughs> How everyone's too scared Gundam. to criticize Peaches for their drama, and Crystal went along with it. That has nothing to do with hyping yourself up, Crystal. It's celebrating someone else's pain in a hug box. An example of people acting inappropriately is this user here. I know who this user is, and they know that I know. You, specifically, have been in the Senate for about a year. If Peaches has behavior that's troubling, you could have approached them at any time to do so. Instead, you sat in the server and made catty comments about what's going on like it's some tea. And based on your content, I know you know better. Part of the problem with this community is a lack of proper communication. And yes, I've been guilty of that too. Recently, in fact. But that only further highlights the issue. By, you know, not talking to Akumu when he offered you the logs and ghosting him and uh, trying to, like, 
uh, fucking glaze peaches and just sort of not being honest about where your takes or positions are, that, that kind of communication, or possibly by saying that you're going to destroy Jordan's lives. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just pulling at things. <laughs> no, and here's the thing. Here's the thing too. I can't, I can't show this because I've kept my fucking word on this. But his whole like trying, wanting to ruin people's shtick is not remotely a thing of the past that stopped at Jack's. Like I, I have recent shit. Uh, I just I can't show it because I've kept my word and I'm waiting until the the person's cool with me sharing it. But he needs to shut the fuck up because that he has not stopped that whole uh, act stick that he does of wanting to to ruin people and shit. Which is funny because he wants to talk about intentions. Yeah, but that's the thing. This guy, he's just an internet bully. That's it. And these people, there's no, there's very little difference between somebody like Lyo and people who are in the sector. Except at least the people in sector are kind of honest about it. I'll, I'll actually give them a bit of credit over somebody like Lyo. Like, the the dude is just like, one, all he wants is to, for, for once, he wants to be the person shoving somebody into a locker rather than one getting put in it. That's it. That's all this fucking is. Issue. It doesn't make it less valid. Meanwhile, Dorito reacts to Peaches taking accountability by comparing Peaches to people covered on their channel. Such as, again... Veer, Artie, Spockter, and Stryker Dawson. People that were called out for much worse than Peaches, calling it as the same crap as if their actions are in any way comparable to what Peaches has done. And once again, in the screenshots we've already covered, they're saying the people Peaches called out did less than what Peaches did, giving the server a false sense of seriousness. All in all, this is terrible conduct that never should have been encouraged by Crystal or Dorito within the server, nor should they have ever joined in. Once again, this has nothing to do with hyping yourself up. It's celebrating someone else's downfall and severely misrepresenting the situation. That's what you do. Accountability was expected, Crystal, hell. but you never actually gone through with it. You did what I suggested you do, not because you truly thought what you did was wrong, but merely because you got called out. Yes, Peaches had to be held accountable for their actions. And they did hold themselves accountable, as did everyone surrounding them. They did all they could, and anyone asking for more needs to reassess and rethink their stance. Peaches did something wrong, but that is exactly why they apologized, took accountability, and stepped away despite how long ago this happened. Which is good, and it's more than enough of an atonement for what they've Wait, did he completely skip over the 11-year-old thing? He did! Mm -hmm. He just completely ignored it! <laughs> what a scumbag! Wait, wait, wait. It's irrelevant. What 11-year-old thing? So, the run, so when Crystal retracted, they left up the point where, like, Peaches turns, like, is in a chat saying that an 11-year-old who was sexually assaulted was uh, making a mockery out of sexual assault and doing it for attention. When it was just in their bio. Oh, that. And he's yeah, completely that skipped over that. Like, the, Peaches hasn't been held to account for that. She hasn't done anything with that. She's just run the fuck away, Lyo. <laughs> well, she, I, have a, I have a clip of Lyo uh, bashing some dude on the internet for, you know, quote-unquote trauma dumping. <laughs> so, it's the same too. shit. It's the same shit. Same, same shit, different day, fuck actually done but piling predator allegations on the peaches especially no with the severe lack of proof to an no audience that. that was already at the time biased against them after things had been resolved and you were told i would handle it is entirely unnecessary and i would handle it you're doing a real great job there liar <laughs> inappropriate crystal as for the actual predator allegations i think i can safely say those are debunked just fine if any of you call peaches a predator over this you're wrong. The conduct of yourself and the people you share that server with is disgusting and you know switching up less than 24 hours from understanding and not being concerned to throwing peaches under a bus is disappointing to say the least, but actively malicious at the worst. I'm just disappointed to see that you didn't even properly rectify your actions, let alone took any accountability for the damage you've done. However, the work that you, Peaches, Serafina, and others have done on the Glitchdale case is by no means invalidated by any of this. You said yourself that you still stand by those videos Peaches released. Neither should anyone use this- And removed. And removed, Lyo. And removed and deleted. Those videos, yes, those ones. ...video to invalidate you, your work <laughs> on the case, or your trauma. This is meant to be productive criticism. This video isn't to tear you down or turn people against you. 
I hope that you do see your genuine misconduct and- Okay, I just want to point this out. I hate when people do this. It's the same as don't go and harass anyone. Like, when you say stuff like this, it's kind of like saying, if I came into your house and stole your computer, and then the whole time was saying, they're saying, uh, no theft intended. I'm not stealing this. I recognize this as your property. I'm just picking it up. I'm not stealing it. You'd still be like, okay, but you're clearly walking out of the house with my fucking computer, aren't you? <laughs> like, you can't just say it, and suddenly it's true. You know what this is steps to make sure no, this doesn't happen again and again he has no proof of me even comparing peaches to a predator i've never made those claims i've never compared peaches to veer i've never compared <laughs> peaches to arty because those would be outrageous claims to make but he has <laughs> claimed that again and again and again and again in the video that i have so because if liars listen to this call liar you know this isn't true i've never called peaches i've never called her a pedophile you even agreed with me and you know that's true Holy fucking shit. That will come later on. <laughs> Actively correct your misdoings. Send apologies where they are due, Chris. What I'm saying is like, those calls are interesting. What was shown, what wasn't shown, how they were spliced between... Well, well hopefully, we'll, well, Liar is an honest actor. I'm sure he'll release them before too long. The rest of you, take care. <laughs> we will see, see we will see. It's going to be huge, because, yeah, I'm hoping within the next two days well, I can get a reply out, which is consistent. It's just... It's 47 minutes of complete bullshit, and it's just like, oh my god. Because wait, hold on, I need to know, what conception do you have, uh, same with all of you, apart from like Gilded, because Gilded has no clue what's going on, um, what do you think that dub entailed? Going off what Lyo has said. Because that was the big... I think that the dub was um, kind of like, a, I'm assuming from the term dub and the fact that it's mentioned pornography, I'm assuming it was like a laughing over a hentai video. Okay, so, let me actually say what actually happened in it, which I told Lyra about, and he chose to ignore this. It was me dubbing over Glitchtail in a public chat where I was just replacing words with, like, fuck, dick, sex. It was inappropriate, I shouldn't have done it, but it was very immature humour. Wait, what? I didn't watch anything- Yeah, that's it. That's the big fuss they're making about this. And they've made it out and portrayed it in the worst faith possible. It was just me replacing words from Glitchtail. No porn was shared, no 18 plus material was shared, no imagery was shared. It was just me making a jokey job about Glitchtail. Like, you know that's those Sonic So it's dubs. basically, it's Imagine. basically doing Helsinger Bridge live. Yeah, literally, like that, but more PG. And then making it out that I was sexual around kids. It's fucking insane. It's... I regret doing it. I will never do it in any kind of way ever again. I've learned. Do, do you know why? You know, do you know why you should regret it. doing it? Because it's fucking cringy mm -hmm. from what you're saying. That's not yeah, fucking. That's not even. What the fuck is? I fucking hate this place. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are comparing this to around the same thing of what Peach has done. But no, no, no. Wait, hold on. Let me get a comment. Let me get. A, let me get a comment because this is this is rich. Um. Do, 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 do. Let me send it in DMs. La 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 la. He go, look at this. This is a comment he left in the video. Okay. He's uh, addressing me in this. Considering said grooming victim was also inappropriate around minors and doing something factually worse, you'd think they'd be consistent about how they'd handle it, but that's just me, though. God, the fucking projection, right. Lyo. The fucking mm -hmm. projection, you so fucking they are coward. Playing, <laughs> doing an inappropriate dub, which I do agree, it was inappropriate. But I've owned up to it. I've already been called out by Camila, by Veer, by Hopeless Peaches online. You know, the big fuss they're causing about my me talking about what she did online, about talking to them privately. Peaches did that to me and also got the information wrong. Hey, so Bestie. It's, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. It's just insane. Well, this is because like everyone does this. They're like, I want to deal with things privately. And then they deal with things publicly. I think some yeah. things can be dealt with pu privately and they can be dealt with publicly. It is up to the people involved. Like you can offer, yeah. but ultimately if someone wants to talk about something publicly, that's their right. I've got no th uh, shade to throw. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, look. Thing, again, this is like jumping into the nuances of it, and I know you probably don't give a shit about it. But Lyo knew I was making a video where I was finally putting this glitch now shit to rest. He knew I was going to talk about the dub myself and talk about it publicly. But now he can twist it and be like, oh, you're only talking about this now because I called you out on it. And that kind of bullshit. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. He I blame I blame it. Akumu for controlling the narrative, personally. Yeah, come on, Akumu. What the fuck, man? I trusted you. <laughs>
Okay. We're going to get through uh, this call. We're going to do it slightly faster. I'm partly doing this with people here because I don't know everyone involved in this call. Mm -hmm. And that seems easier. But apparently this is... So this is the Senate trying to work out 29th who the fucking leaker is. Now, the reason we're doing this is I think it's very interesting in the context of Lyo's video that he's just released that his f the first action they seem to have take taken was A, the call where they're attacking Jordan, um, and then this where they're like, well, okay, who else do we need to attack? Oh, he's gay. He came from the Brony community. I think I know what call you're referring to, actually. Fair enough. So that's why... <laughs> That's why one of my significant others is extremely gay. Anyway, um, yeah, they've been working around the SEC trying to get involved in our situations, even when they had been blatantly told that they just make things worse and we don't want them around here. Yep, yeah. in fact, one thing they did recently that had nothing to do with this individual is they went to Indo to talk about the guy who was making pornography of a bunch of SCC and regular CC members, even though they never did that to Endo, because Gasp just wanted to talk about how big of a victim they are. Now, in this case, they're not wrong. That person's a scumbag. Um, the person who commissioned the art of Peaches and I and all these other people is the same person. And since I know this is being recorded and sent to in-law server, guess what? We found out who that guy is, and he's in your server. Have fun finding him. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait, what? Hey, you've got we, the groomer, the groomer and pedo hunters, have found a pedophile in your server. Good luck finding him. Wait, what? <laughs> right? That's what I'm wondering. Like, like, why wouldn't you just tell everybody? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and and la. Oh fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck your name up. You you've hit the point where like I I have no fucking ideas. You're in. Uh, I know. Hello. I don't know who Bean Skies is. I've got no fucking idea. Hello. Hello. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Bean Skies. Yeah, I'm so trying to explain who the fuck you are. Talk about my server yeah and he says we know there's an alt of septi pause in your server but we're not going to tell you who it is and we're going to withhold that information until my video so i can expose you <laughs> oh my god he wasn't referring to nerf was he no he he i i'm pretty sure just from the context in that video he's talking about septi pause well no 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 no, you're forgetting what I'm saying. Uh, Nerf had his name changed to like Liquid Septipaws for a while. You don't think that that's actually what he was referring? I to? I, I think it might be. <laughs> but, Wait, so no, so no, no, no. I think I think North changed his name to that because of that accusation. I'm pretty sure it was before that, but I I don't know. I I'm my memory isn't the best at the moment. Okay, I should probably tell people who the fuck people are. So yeah, sorry, I hopped in here. No, you're fine. This is uh, this is, um, yes. Gilded Poo and Akumi. There we go. That's who people are. They're all ACC people. Uh, for no, anyone... I'm not. Yeah, yes, you are. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you are fucking now. Uh, but right, okay, we're dragging you all in. Um. <laughs> Because Nil couldn't. Okay. I tried doxing him. Couldn't do it. So, Nil, your, uh, your query, your prey, is in the server that you're hanging around with a bunch of weirdos. So, have fun eating each other alive over that. Because I'm not going to tell you who it is. That's going to be revealed. Yeah, we didn't, the by the way. Oh, you're an ex Senate member, basically. Okay. No, 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 I'm not. No, no, not you. Uh, sorry. Uh, Bean Skies is an ex Senate member. Bean Skies, do you want in? Do you have something like important to add? That's fine. You do. I just don't want this to get too fucking crowded. Anywho. Uh, yeah, no, I can leave. I just wanted to state my case on that. Real no, quick. no, you're all good. You're all good. Uh, well, <laughs> jump, just message me in chat if you want to come back in. That's fine. You're all good. And then I will hand it out to people Bye. who have had far more interactions with Jess. And I will make sure Efron goes last because I want other people to be able to talk. Uh, was. I ran into Jesp when I ran into Call Me Nil's group as a whole. I tried. You to gotta go him. cook, no worries. Okay, go, go cook, go eat food. You're fine. Jesp, I tried to get Jesp to stop being a parasocial lunatic. Tried to get them to be accountable for their actions. And one of the terms of June, because June was tired of Jesp running around pretending they're a victim. Okay, what we'll do is if Akuma's out, we'll do we'll do beans quickly. Beans guys, you're on live. How you doing, buddy? Oh shit, hi. Hey, hey then. Howdy. Howdy. What can I do yeah, for you? I basically just wanted to share a bad experience I had with Senate. Oh, uh, sure, go very, ahead. Very, very bad. 
So basically, they said that I was suicide beating for venting in people's DMs when I literally asked them to, if I could, de- like, vent to them. Okay. They basically, like, they basically don't play my depression. Yeah, I mean, I think my general takeaway from this is it's pretty selective of who they're going after. It's people that they don't like. Um, what I'd say about like all of this, because I've said it to a, I've said it about a few people. So I said it about the jibs thing as well with the video stuff. I think uh, as this like kind of moves, um, and we're getting to that point now more and more where people are going to have like a lot of stories come out. What I might do is if people are interested in me, like like I don't know, platforming a few things uh, again or other people. Fucking anybody, I don't, I don't care. I think that conversation will probably happen, but it's difficult. One of the, one of the problems is it's difficult to do because you've got to keep people like focused to things. Does that make sense? Because yeah. otherwise, it just ends yeah. up with a load of fucking random things. What well, I'd say is, you're in the server. I'll drop you a message. We can chat about what happened. Uh, is that make? Is that good for you? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was not a child. I'm nineteen. And I saw that in, ch- in the chat. I'm not a child. That's fine. You're all good. I'm glad. To- I'm glad to hear it. I really don't want any kids on this fucking stream. Okay, cool. Right, I'm gonna throw yeah. you out. Um, have a good evening. We'll chat soon. Okay. You too. That is. Uh, okay, cool. Gil, did you still with me, or have you died, old man? Is that that's fine? Then please leave me alone. Was do not lie about what happened and just talk about me. <laughs> Jeff immediately stopped doing that. And it started like five minutes later doing so. It got so bad that I had to call Jess to try to chew them out for their nonsense. It's all right, Bestie, you're good. I'm sorry, I feel like I've ignored chat all fucking night while this is going on. I hope, I hope everyone's at least having fun. Like and subscribe, uh, otherwise Jenny will beat me. Or dislike, I don't care. Leave a comment, tell me I'm an asshole. It's all engagement. Um, wait, I like you as an off, so a part of your kidney. Um, and then I want to talk to their mother to, in- to inform them, hey, your kid is being really freaking weird, is obsessing over people online, and we've had enough. Rin, Jeff, uh, said they would take a year offline, because that's what I told them they needed to do. And they did not spend a year offline. They still got involved. They still looked in the dramas. They still watched videos about SCC members and the trouble they were in. So now that they're done with their quote-unquote year, they said, well, I'm just going to work on my art. Hopefully I won't get harassed. And I told them, stay in your lane. Wouldn't be a problem. And of course, this happens. So of course, Rin, Jeff, Galvanum has to come in has to be involved, has to be a problem. So I fucking hate this shit. Oh my god, guys. Can you believe that in our drama community, people are coming back and talking about drama? This is fucking wild. It's a revelation. I've never seen a drama community work like this before. Fucking what? Also, who are half these fucking people? Holy shit. How do you have such, like, it's it's weird because it's like they've got this weird little fucking group that they can like pick at from time to time. People get bored. Let's make some content out of somebody. <laughs> it's your turn now, Lyo. <laughs> Bye, Peaches. Bye. Oh, That's fuck. my end of things. I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to the Suzel Tones because they have experience with Jesp as well. If Dune wants. Yeah, no, can't, can't. I <laughs> can't think why handling this off to Dune might be a bad idea. Holy shit, go watch Akumu's video. To come in again and talk about their oh, experience if they can. Welcome back, Gilded. Yeah, sorry, I had to run off to use the bathroom. I come back and I'm all alone. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. We, we all uh, collectively decided that you're awful and uh, I'm the bearer of that news. <laughs> no, uh, I'm 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 the diseased fish. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty sure you would be at work by this point. Um, but as far as my experiences with them, um, I mean they were in the uh, they were in the Cloud Palace for a little while. Um, and the the only particularly notable thing that they did in the Cloud Palace, uh, outside of leak the vent chat, um, was uh. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a small thing, but <clears throat> the only thing worth of note in there was they were the reason that we made, like, a specific Among Us chat, because they had claimed that Among Us was a trigger for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I remember listening to this last time, and it was funny then. Uh, guys, we had to have a specific Among Us chat because, uh, you know, it's, it's very triggering. What, how? How do you... Look, what happens to you in your life I, that Among Us triggers you? I mean, fucking I, what? I know I know what it is. I know it is. They're, uh, the reason why it triggers them is they're afraid that everybody's going to find out they're sus. <laughs> 
It might ruin the troll shielding. <laughs> I fucking hate these people. It's so tough. I think there should be a new rule. I want a new internet rule that if you talk about dumb drama like tracing or who's the racist of the week, you're not allowed to talk about grooming and pedophiles. You can have one or the other. You're allowed to do. You're allowed to do one. <laughs> you, you, you can't be like, yeah, we have to have a chat in case somebody's triggered by Among Us, but also there are pedophiles everywhere. <laughs> no, motherfuckers. No, you're not the people who should be dealing with this. Um. That's probably the most notable thing that happened there. It was after they left, or it was after they got kicked from the Cloud Palace that, uh, I guess, <laughs> the bigger part of my uh, interactions with them happened. Uh, because I wound up having to be the, uh, I wound up having to be the messenger for them to people like Heaton and Yoon and the rest of the Cloud Palace. Uh, but that's really about it for me. I don't have that much of a story about them. That is kind of among us true. Wait, wait, Blossom. Blossoms, are you the person who had to have this are, were you the person who was triggered by Among Us? I, I wanna I wanna know what Blossoms fits into this. I feel like I've missed this shit. A duplicitous liar being triggered by Among Us is just hilarious to me. No, uh, they claimed it was <laughs> something that their ex it was they claimed it was something that their ex had uh had played a lot and it like triggered like it gave them uh like bad uh memories <laughs> Blossoms, yes okay i'm going to start like i'm going to start a fucking cope discord where you can all come in and like struggle session out these weird fucking issues that you all have because if nothing else comes out of this you guys need to fix some fucking shit okay <laughs> you, know, you know what i don't what i don't like is that like anytime there's like a bad association all of a sudden they use the words like triggering and ptsd <laughs> and Vietnam flashbacks. Like, I'm just really confused. Like, I I'm sure everybody well, like, did like this. A the last, breakup. the last gate I had to deal with was Watergate. Motherfucker, you weren't alive, <laughs> right? Like, but I I'm just, I'm pretty confident in saying everybody's had that relationship where the relationship ended, and they ended up with the person that they were with, like favorite shirt but it was their shirt and there was like a negative association yeah with it's shirt. it's just and no nobody was all like oh my god it's triggering <laughs> so what's your discord sounds so like a chat and explain <laughs> I'll tell you what, like, join this one, I'll message you. We'll we'll start collecting stories. No, that's just my Twitter. Or you can tweet at me, fuck it, whatever. Um, if one of the- ah, oh, fuck, hold on, let me thought. Have you? And so I was like, okay, fine, you know, that's that's fine. So I made a specific Among Us chat that they could mute, that we pl uh, piled all of our memes and, and such in. It was pretty interesting, though, that very shortly after they uh, got kicked from the Cloud Palace that they started- This is just a cool in Discord. But I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna think too deep into that- uh, into that one. Mm. All right, who else has tales they wish to elucidate on concerning this individual? Oh, this is literally a struggle session. That's really interesting. Is any in call? Uh, I don't know. I can't look at the call right now. Uh, Zenny is, is not Zenny? from the looks of it. I don't think Zenny's even in the hey. server. No, he is. Zenny, Yoon, Zenny, Yoon and uh, you, Ephraim, are the only other people I know who have, like, the most to say about her. Oh. Doodle keeps claiming they were groomed into diaper RP, but they were doing it before getting groomed. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Doodle's history on the internet is fucking bizarre. I do not, I would not trust anything they say ever, okay? Ever. Like, it's been years. It's been years. I, I think it was Doodle who was the person who, like, Lyo said, went into their DMs and then was like, oh, I was groomed as well. <laughs> Wait, what fucking what? Yeah, that was, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I had no idea. possible second, yeah. <laughs> Like if it, <laughs> there's a statute of limitations on realizing you were groomed. I'm sorry that I don't. I don't actually you know what. Fuck it. I'm British. I do make the rules. Well, I which mean, which uh, which, uh, there is also my dealings with her, which isn't. Fuck that is too many people in my waiting room. Say them. No. With with I... them. I apologize. It's all good. But please elucidate, Boone. Um. So it's funny it gets mentioned her being triggered by or them getting um, triggered by a monkey. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it's funny. Hold on. Um, it gets mentioned them being triggered. I by just a got us. yelled at for um, that today. Okay. 
Um, I had a traumatic experience at Six Flags, so I couldn't watch Looney Tunes. This is one of the many times I had to go to a professional. If you are triggered, go to a pro. I actually, joking aside, completely dis uh, completely agree with you. I had to go through treatment for my PTSD. I had to do some things about it. It was destroying my life. Like, uh, the very first time I covered this, people were talking about OCD. And I was like, no, OCD is a really fucking specific thing. It's not just, oh, I feel like I need to clean things. It ruins people's lives. And like, we shouldn't minimize those things. But there are there are differences here, right? If, you're, if you've got actual fucking problems, especially with these kind of flashes, you need to actually get a, seek help from a professional, not in a fucking Discord call, okay? Considering the video of mine that she decided to cover, and I know this sounds like just commentary stuff, but it's actually not. Um... And in that end, because the video that they covered was was in a lot of ways primarily about Among Us. It certainly starts being about Among Us, and the video itself has an Among Us themed thumbnail, so... Oh, fuck, maybe I do need... Blossom, can you just tell me, just in chat, what the first letter of your fucking username is, please, so I can tell which one is you in the waiting room? It seems very strange that she would willingly click on that and watch it to cover it, but that they would. I apologize. Yeah, anyway. Get to their room, don't worry. Right, okay. Uh, there we go. Blossom, welcome to the <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. well, it's me. <laughs> I'm the embarrassing Among Us guy. Um, to sum it up, four years ago, I was 19 terminally online. Okay. And also... Yeah, it was also from after effects of really bad events in my life, but it's not an excuse. It's still really cringe. <laughs> you could call it retarded all you want. I don't care. I'm, That's okay. what people make fun of me for, and at this point, it's kind of funny. I find it funny. So, so this is this is the line. Yeah, as long as you can laugh at yourself, you're fine. This, it's when people see, keep taking keep, keep taking this shit seriously. Just reflect. Be, be less fucking cringe, or at least do what Patchwork yeah, does was, and be like, I'm I'm comfortable in my cringeness. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. I was 19. I mean, you can clearly autistic. take the rivet. I literally got this in 19. Yeah, no. <laughs> so no you one's wanna... how retarding I how retarded I was back then. Oh my god. Do so you want to play Thanks, Among Us? I would play it. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, I I would never play it. Okay. Well, like I'm not sure. The main thing is you can take a uh, you can <laughs> take the joke. That's fine. Um, can you just give context of why they been they're discussing you in this call? Okay, so I was the leaker in this, and um, right. because I was the one who was willing to leak everything. Because no one was willing to get into the server. Because a lot of people thought, well, Akumu bad. Well, therefore, these leaks are not real. And I experienced firsthand going through the leaks myself, including Ms. Zizi, asking a miner for thigh pics. I even have that recorded. Recording number seven. And uh, I was stressing out over it. Um... It was a really tough time, but the re the reason why they're discussing me is because they don't want me to all, uh, in drama to begin with. But I never want to come back to this community. This was actually a way for me to get away, because from seeing the shit I saw, the cringe shit that, like, the lollicon, the bestiality, the cub porn, all that shit, and a lot of people doing really gross shit, um, that... That in itself messes with you, and this was a way of me to express the opposite. These people will state that I want these people to die. Not true. In fact, when I found out Nezzy Monster was in the hospital for a suicide attempt, I had a mental breakdown. <laughs> it's a very yeah. stressful time. Yeah, I get that. And I... like, it, like, well, Gildan and I are maybe a bit more callous, and I, I you know, we'll cop to that. Uh, Gilded, I'm speaking for you now. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I, I think the ACC generally is a bit more sensitive, and that's fine. Different community. I, I also think the AC is actually a bit more cruel. Uh, one thing I will ask, just just on that, did the Senate? So I've seen the fucking punishment, uh, like the sin drawings and shit. Did the Senate itself contain bestiality, cub porn, and like lolly and shit like that? Um. 
not cub horn or bestiality. Well, no, not cub horn or lolly, but bestiality. Yes, there was this one comic. <gasps> um, there's this person named Baiji, also known as Dolphin Man. Um, Dolphin Man was an admin that was commonly encouraged and encouraged others to draw um, a comic of a dolphin. Um, I don't want to get too graphic here. Going up a horse's asshole. Non-consensually. Well, it was yeah, a I, of punishment. And I, I imagine neither of those it. beasts could consent to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. It was um, gross. Yeah, I think the thing is as well, this happened in their server and from one of their admins and seemed to continue for a while. So I just, yes. I, I just like, I, again, this is all building a body of evidence of what these fucking people are like. That's kind of the line we're at here. Anyway, okay, what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this call. Uh, I, uh, fuck it. Uh, why don't you if, you, if you're happy to, why don't you stay because the call is about you and then you can provide context as needed, basically. Does that work for you? Okay. Okay, let's I'll get... try. <laughs> no worries, dude. It's low pressure. We we don't give much for shit here. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But, um, but they did, and during the video on me, they referred to me as a as a mental abuser, and said that I was um, dehumanizing I need to that. the person. Sure. Okay, so. There's this person named Slatester. Um, from what I've been told by Boom Slayer, I don't. I hate his voice. I hate him. Um, because he talked about my sweat longer. But what? The, whatever. Um, there was a point I made in regards to so saying that if if you think no one can, if you say someone will not change, change. I personally think that's mental abuse. Because without proper evidence of believing as such. And meanwhile, this was about a guy who was just being goofy about the FCC. SCC. Slayster was commonly known as a bandwagon for a reason. And he, um, let's just say you could tell he has problems. Yeah, I think that's... I didn't think his harsh tone was worth it in the end. And the way he said, well, I don't think you will ever change. I did not like that, and I expressed that. What pisses me off about Moonslayer's video is that I did not want to inflict harm on him. It was an unlisted video for a reason. You can call it cowardice all you want. But I was legitimately trying to have a discussion with the guy. And he just got really mad at me. And villain fights me to this day. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> yeah, I can I can imagine that to be the case. I, I think a lot of it is uh <laughs> Chris, everyone involved in this story has problems. Yes, buddy, I'm fucking I'm with you. So that was covering, in spite of the fact that they're the ones who <laughs> in their response to me called called the person I was covering a lol cow. Yes, that is true. And there was like and basically tried to justify not not saying that they were calling me a mental abuser with from their transcript specifically saying, I'm not saying you're abusing him here, but it's basically I'm not saying you're doing this but is essentially the yeah. way it and kind of doubled down on a lot of that and again then you know continue to be a little an bit obsessive video. over um Can you pause that? How does an unlisted video cause harm to your reputation? <laughs> I, I, it was a solely unlisted video, and I was thinking about publicizing it if he wanted me to. And he, he got mad at me, and I freaked out, admittedly, but that was back when I was su suffering from a lot of pro I still do, but I suffer from a lot of problems. Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. I think this is just one of those, like, it's a hit. It's a hit on you. That's fine me backing up their clarification of their points after my video came out um, in Twitter DMs. Huh? All right. Okay, can I tell my stories? This is oh, Ephraim, sorry, by F -Rom. the way. I, have I hate I the guy. The guy is the um, one who literally got my mom they, involved. Um, they did have...
Wait, did you say they got your mum involved? Why does everyone keep getting well, fucking people's he was parents the one involved? That leaked my shit to Lyo, and Lyo would then get involved with my mom and threaten me. And it's alright. I don't mean to laugh. It's just God. fucking. I hate him. I think he's a snake. <laughs> he's a horrible person. He hurt me so much. Yeah, like I, I listen. I believe you. Believe me. I know that right now, like you're at the point of. Uh, this is a lot of pain. Don't worry. That's fine. That's that's par for the course. But we had like I fucking just. I'll say this. Just enjoy laughing at this band uh, <laughs> getting clowned on because yeah. that his voice is kind of nice. fucking hurt. Isn't you know? Don't worry. Don't worry. We're we're well, getting there with him. We're getting there with him. So I actually uh, like uh, with Efron specifically. I've been uh, making fun of him a shit ton lately. I've learned the best way to handle him is just to go in his comment sections and uh, spam nerd emojis. It really upsets him. I saw that. I saw that. He gets actually upset from nerd emojis. Yeah, I also have other experiences with the guy such as him getting making fun of me, making free talk sprites with for him because I, I wanted friends. <laughs> Which is really fucked up. Yeah. And also I having a deadline on said free talk sprites, I didn't even have a price on them. Yeah, I mean again, I think this is all just I part of the problem is that so much of this is down to the you, the fucking ACC is weird. I, I don't know how else to put it to you. This this yeah. the, this you know, and the Brony community was weird as well. This is why you know I can see why it fucking grow. Anyway, continuing on. Of like a continuous habit of trying to make people the messenger because um someone that they want to interact with block them. Um, for example, they tried to make me a messenger between um them and uh Dragonite. Because Dragonite was a former friend that did not take their side after the document situation. And because they saw that Dragon and I had each other in our bios because we had recently started dating at the time. Um, and they had also called me an abuser behind my back. Oh, what? yeah. Uh, I, I remember Wait, that. Wait, what? Johnny. Wait. Where did they come from? What? Where did they fucking <laughs> play? Well, what, oh that you called God. someone an abuser behind their back? I have literally no fucking idea. Um, I... No, no, no. I think who th this is, this is Donnie. Um, no, I did not call you an abuser behind your back. In the DMs, I think Ephraim lied to you. In the DMs, it was in regards to me comforting Ephraim. In regards to how he handled stuff with you. You said a similar criticism of how he doesn't want to change. I felt that in my bones. And I went like, ugh, that's kind of a shitty thing to say. It's kind of, I kind of view that as abuse, but I did not call you an abuser outright. And that was in DMs, and... Yeah. I was fucking lying to you. I can't even this, this is going to This is going to resolve just everyone leaking their fucking DMs, isn't it? I can already see it. Right. Yes. I, I'm. I'm. Yeah. And. God. Uh. So that was. My that poor was brain. Um. I and know. they <laughs> tend to try to get involved in FCC so dramas broken. and then, or not necessarily dramas, but like really serious situations that's happening to us, and they try to make it about what? them. What do you mean? Uh, and yeah. It's it's really gross. Actually. On that note, uh, anyone here in that 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 is also in the cloud palace, uh, didn't didn't they try to do that with the V stuff as well, or am I or am I not remembering correctly? Uh, oh, we're probably gonna have to check they... the the archives. Okay. I'm a little there, Susan. Oh, oh we... okay. Hold on, Lorenzo. Hey. No, this doesn't involve you. We don't need your commentary on it. Hush. Uh, Thank you. Go ahead, Aaron. I do remember. Uh, I do remember the escapades that Jasper had when it when it came to. Um, so I, I believe, as I went dealing with other people's like um, suicidal inclinations, uh, I do remember that. 
but I don't remember them butting into necessarily the view dramas. Um, that's clearly well, no. The... Go on. Oh, sorry. Did you uh, fucking? It's just Doodle Tones' his voice, like fucking sketching me out, right? The the V thing. I know they definitely uh, tried to because they they were on the side of V was innocent for a little while until someone get a new fucking voice changer. It's been fifteen years. Please shut the fuck up and get a different voice changer. I'm begging you. I'll fund it. Get a GoFundMe. I'll give you money. Just anything other than this weird fucking squeaky voice. You freak. How Stop much? It. How much you want to think? Want to bet? Doodle Tone sounds like Darth Vader without the voice changer. <laughs> I I. Uh, th- I mean... <laughs> Right. Go she on. sounds pretty normal without her voice changer because I think they saw her because there was a video in regards to her computer breaking and she just sounds like some ordinary person without God. a changer, but still. But she's not an ordinary person, she's a freak. Come on. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I know what's being discussed here. Can I explain? Sure. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, first off, you gotta understand, Jesp was very close with V for the entire time. Yes, and you backstabbed me, bitch. And then when the V stuff happened, they, like a lot of people, began in denial. Uh, And then I think it was Ponder who, they said, sat Jesp down and said, no, this is all real. Everything here shows he is guilty. Uh, I'm not gonna hold that too much over their head, because... I think all of us have had an experience where someone we knew and trusted turned out to be guilty and we didn't believe it at first. Yes, because your community is full of people hunting pedophiles who turn out to be grooming children. Why, why does this keep happening to you? And that we should have... <laughs> uh, fucking we, insanity. Oh, no, no, a fucking community. <laughs> well, they kicked me out, so... So... Do we have anything else right now we need to go into concerning them before Ephraim gets to start telling his tale about the Jess? <laughs> this is just like a struggle session, holy shit. Uh, I know about the June thing, I don't completely remember the Heaton thing. Can you elucidate a bit? Heaton was sharing some uh, very intrusive, potentially suicidal thoughts on Twitter. Uh, and Jess was like, hey, if you, uh, what was it, if you... Basically, Jess had said something that was very out of pocket. It was something along the lines of, if you kill yourself, then nobody will miss you, or something like that. Wow. No, that's not true. It was, it was that everyone would have been true. That is not fucking true. What I said was, I, I admit, it was very out of pocket. It was fucked up. But I, what I said is, if you killed yourself, you would eventually be forgotten. Because that's what I was been told when I was in the mental hospital, when I was at the hospital for my suicide attempt in 2019. It was bad, yes, but I was a 19-year-old, and I was facing my own mental problems, and I was trying to get her to not kill herself. It was really bad, of course, but I did not say nobody would miss you. I've got... (laughs) These are the pettiest things to fucking bring up. Like, I'm sorry, this is... Okay, so what's insane about this is they, like... Lyme and Peaches are fully happy to bully people to the extent of life ruination, but they're like, oh my god, you made a fucking suicide comment? I cannot believe you have done that. That is, like, so bad. Like, oh my god. Like... The worst part... The worst part is I was trying to get her not to die. (laughs) Well, that was your mistake. (laughs) Thank you, Gilded. Thank you. (laughs) But that's a problem. Like, okay, so, again, I've said this to a few people. This is a learning experience on why <laughs> why you, you shouldn't care too much. Because even even if you do things in the best of faith, people will fucking use it against you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm so tired of these people, man. <laughs> it's all right. Join the dark side. It's much more fun over here. <laughs> Everyone, yeah. Everyone but yeah. forget you. I am. Uh, well, my therapist told me yeah, that. that was... so. Yeah. Yeah, I. I... <laughs> Wait, Lyo has a uh, therapist? I didn't remember the exact wording, but I knew it was- Lyo, yes, her name's Peaches. Something like really bad and out of pocket, <laughs> and uh, that's actually kind of, I think, what started the Yoon stuff. <laughs> yep, that's, that's what started it, pretty much. What? I think it was also, uh, they also, like, mentioned how expensive hospitals were, or something along those lines. Yes, yes, I expect, I stated I, that my I hospital bill costed me $8,000 um, or something wasn't like that. Wasn't this person- a part because of the to rabbit prevent her from committing it, Liz, they're still buddy buddy, even though Rabbit's insane. Great. Because none of these people learn. Oh they just get mad that they get called out and try to come. 
spiked in fucking the projection. Come back and different aliases and try their scumbag. Are you were about to adopt your therapist. <laughs> Then they get called out again, they pretend like they're sorry, and they come back under another alias, wash, rinse, and repeat. Because <laughs> I don't know if I told you or not, but I got... Maybe it's because you people harass me, but whatever. Any of them. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, but you've got to understand that you're the bad guy here. It doesn't matter what they do to you. <laughs> These people have no fucking standards. I'm saying. And then I come to realize not, that... Well, not rabbit, but... Um, yeah, whatever the other person... I, j gal, I think. Your old man yeah. fighting with 15-year-olds, yeah, yeah. They're also insane. Yeah, telling me to years, to I'm gonna call. Show the I'm gonna septi, call the school. Whatever. And I'm like, what is, I don't know what this is. I don't yeah, care. That's what they, do. <laughs> they saw an opportunity to paint themselves as a victim, and again, what happened to them concerning that is not right. But they just ran around sharing it anyways. I wanted uh, to get the drop on these idiots, what? but they can't keep anything quiet. Drama. What the fuck are uh, they talking about? <laughs> this is the cope section. This is struggle. Okay. Um. So the last time this happened, you did call uh, Rin's parent. Well, I called Rin and yes. their parents overheard and talked to me, their mother specifically. Okay, because I was going to say... Um, yeah, you manipulated uh, me to give my phone well, to my mother because might be they actually thought you cared for me. Uh, would you be able to just call the mom again and tell her that, yeah, um, Rin is not doing good? I could. I could, but I'm not. Because I am tired of this person being able to hide. There's going to be no more of that. They want to keep putting on their pants and swinging like they're a big boy. They're going to get hit like one. Understood. Okay, Whoa. then hit me. Wait, what? <laughs> hit me. I, zo <laughs> I zoned out for like 10 seconds and then my brain comes back to that. <laughs> <laughs> I love He's how everyone from treatment. He's giving me the Jordan treatment. <laughs> I love how everyone from normal commentary looks at ACC and is just like, "What the fuck is this shit?" I've been thinking about the past five years, y'all. You are not alone. Holy thing! Yeah, holy yeah. fucking shit! Uh, you think we can up uh, set up a boxing match between Lyo and some people he wronged? No, I don't, because Lyo's weight class is that of fucking children, and I don't want to do that to them. And. <laughs> Uh, the, and also, actually, no. Real talk. Stop saying you're gonna fight people online. Stop it. It is the cringiest fucking shit. It, That's the, like what children would say. So yeah, the internet tough guy thing of I could beat you up is it's cringy. It's real, real cringy. Um, a uh, fucking. Where's Tonka Star when you need me? Sick of them. Every where's Tonka Star? Tonka came back. Actually, come back. Uh, You're vindicated. Have a question. It's not related. It's uh, kind of related to the situation, if uh, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, how easy was it to, or uh, I guess more specifically, how were you able to contact uh, Rin's parent, uh, mother, apparently? Well, I mean, I had their Google number, not a Google number, their Discord number, so, or not number. I called Rin on their Discord account. And her mother overheard Rin freaking out when I was talking to them. That's that's how I talked to her. It wasn't, uh, I called their phone number. Now, granted, I do have Rin's phone no, number. No, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no, no. So, so here's what happened, okay? What happened was he demanded me to get home, call him. I was admittedly still freaking out, but that was because I didn't want my family involved. But he says, and I quote, does your mother love you? And then I said, yes. And then he says, Put your mom on the phone. That was him manipulating me to put my mom on the phone. So... Lyo, once again, the offer to speak to my mother's ashes is still available to you. You were talking to Rin. You heard, uh, their mom overheard uh, them talking. And... <laughs> you can hear... You basically... You can hear her ghostly voice calling you slurs, if you like. <laughs> asked to talk to the mother directly? <laughs> yep. Because they were panicking and couldn't tell their mom what was going on, so I did. And we went from there. I do have the call recorded, but because I'm a boomer, it's only my audience. Wow. And I, I understand how that works, but the, the, the one thing that now, I guess the new question is, why wasn't Rin's first instinct to immediately end the call? Because why the trusted him! Yeah, like, okay, I cannot, I, I'm gonna run a little defense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help here, okay? Everyone, yeah. everyone in around and around Senate is very, very uh, protected and a bit bubble wrapped. So when Lyo says things like, put your mum on the phone, it's because 
yeah, the, everyone in the Senate seems to have been coddled into this position. And while I am going to call you incredibly dumb for doing that, Blossom, and a bit cringe, I, I do actually empathise with the fact of the situation you're in. Because it... People keep saying Senate is like a cult, and it is. The way Lyo works and setting up these familial units and things, um, just don't be... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris. But, like, yeah, it is not... This is not conducive to good mental health, okay? We'll just put it that way. Same, Chris. I, I try oh, not okay. to be crazy. Thank you, friends. <laughs> try not to be depressed. Answering my question. <laughs> Odd question, but okay. Anybody else? Is it an odd question? Doesn't feel second. like it. I said odd questions, but okay. Is there anybody else? Because we still need to get through Ephraim stuff. Uh, no, before that, when he asked um, um, about... Why they didn't hang uh, up? Yeah. Kate. I have no idea True. why they didn't. Couldn't tell you. I don't speak crazy. Get get yeah, I go into the gym. I go to the gym and I sometimes uh, lose up to 800 calories and I'm trying to, trying to get like up to 1,000 So when I'm jogging, so... As you can see from the way I stream, very healthy lifestyle over here, highly approved. Um, fucking this, this is also interesting, like the, the back and forth with Lyo. This isn't, this is being treated as, oh, I, I'll answer questions on accountability. This isn't what this fucking is. This is just, hey guys, we need to get to the bottom of this shit. You talk to enough of them. I do, but it doesn't mean I understand them. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, no, like, sorry, I remember what my point was. Lyo's like, I don't speak, re like, mentally ill person or whatever. Yes, you do, Lyo. You, you're, you're amongst your people. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm just, saying, you I'm just saying you probably... You, I'm just saying you probably pick up the language eventually. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> pause for a moment. Um, That's true, Susie. That means um, Pause for a moment. Um, North um, wants to chat. He is... Uh, Saint in a fancy text. Uh, t -t 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 -t. fuck. Uh, I cannot see which one that is. Um, what's um, that? The one with the edgy deer oh, or edgy animal. Oh, I can't see them in waiting room. That's not. That's not Nerf. Nerf's not in the waiting room. Yeah, Nerf. Okay, Nerf, um... give me, give me a sec. Let me, let me send you the Discord link if you want to. It's in chat. We're keeping this very, uh, uh, yeah. I'm being, I'm being nice, Evan. I'm just, I'm just trying to be nice in this case, because I'm actually clearly dealing with people who have some, some issues. Trying to be sensitive, okay? We know don't do it normally. Uh, if you join us, I'll drag you in, okay? Uh, just go in the waiting room. Uh, and <laughs> we'll fucking get that. You should be fluent in it as well. Uh, this is true. This is true. That would require the language to have structure, though. It's true. <laughs> and patterns beyond blah blah blah. I'm a victim. Blah blah blah. Uh, but in any case, uh, no, okay. I think I think it uh, comes down to Ephron. Okay, so there we go. Dragged in. How Hello. you doing, buddy? Oh, you are deafened. That's unhelpful. <laughs> there we go. Right. How you doing, though? Hello. Hey. I'm doing well. Um, I just want to drop in real quick uh, because I'm at work at the moment. So sorry for the shitty my quality, but um. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Um. So narrative to the beginning where uh, and like just popped in where uh like why I withhold a predator from uh endless server. Um, I want to add on to that real quick and not derail anything, but uh. I actually happened to pop in Senate uh, pretty recently. I'm pretty sure it was like two days ago, just to ask Lyo about what uh, one of the alts has Skeppy Pauls in it. And uh, I actually have this all recorded. Um, I can send it to you. Yeah, if you please, like, if you but, could, uh, we'll, we'll listen to it. Yeah, um, just a forewarning, I'm near, it, near the end of the video. Uh, Gilda pretty much said the hard R. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, yeah, we'll uh, judge him later. Like, fucking, yes, that's, I'm the person to do that. That's fine, cool. Yeah, if you, <laughs> drop me, drop me the video, either a link, a link on Twitter I, would be great. 
Um, we, we, we're in DMs anyway. Private call, but... Just shut the fuck up, Gilding. You're not helping. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, I'll let you get back to work, buddy. And uh, yeah, cool. We'll Actually, chat soon. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That right. is. All right, have a good one. Bye. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right, Ephraim, you're up. Killed it. I, I, I'm very disappointed in you. Very. I, I'm shocked. Shocked. Stunned. Stunned and shocked. Ephraim is okay. I'll go <laughs> like, for a moment. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love the irony. Ephraim finally gets shot. Can I can't. Nope. Nope. We'll wait. Okay. It's not so important that they need to talk right now. I just think it's funny. The guy who half the time can't shut up is being silenced. <laughs> I'm back. There you okay. are, Court. It's your turn. Okay. So let me tell you all the tale of Jesp as I knew it. I remember first meeting them in uh, Nil's server, or what was at the time Nil's server. It was later given to Deville. And mm -hmm. then I don't know what happened to it after that. Uh, but it was during the Sepi situation. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that Lyo and I sort of became friends again. Well, we were always friends, but we reunited <laughs> in about mid-22 after he found me in some pickles that he helped me get out of, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, and one of the people who I noticed was active in that server was a person named Yo Pal Gal. Uh, or as they would later be known as Rin, or as they had formerly been known as Jesp. And we started talking about what was going on with Septi, because that was the big situation at the time. Uh, and then over time, we started talking more and more, and we have both expressed skepticism, I believe, of the Enough. claims of a YouTuber named Essence of Thought. Now, does anybody here yes. not know who that is? Oh, Jesus Christ. We just got away from it. I don't want to talk about Essence of Thought. Please. Yeah, God. God, <laughs> God wait, no. Wait, wait. I'm just... the nutcase. But, but the what liar. is the... But what is the essence of that problem he's talking about? I handle this situation. Oh. You'll just your fuck. Stop it. Right. We're gonna we gonna... <laughs> and everything. I w before we get too far away, I've got the call, so we're gonna listen to the call. We're gonna listen to the call. It's only five minutes. It's only five minutes, so we're gonna listen to this call. And at the end of the call, we're all gonna judge fucking Gilded very harshly if I can catch it. Actually, is there a transcript? Is there a transcript? Give me a sec. Uh fuck. Um I just, I don't know. Gil, did you can tell me when well, it's coming up, okay? Well, I, I don't know. I oh, Jesus. Recording. <laughs> I was watching Beauty for 24 hours on my dad. No, uh Okay, there we go. No, fuck um, you. The uh Um, does anybody have to invite mm. to the server? Go to Lyo's video. Go to Lyo's, like... I thought they removed all of them. I thought they no, bro. They're they're still. If you can't get into them, it means you're banned. Uh, I found that out because I joined. Okay, I'll I'll test that out big then. Question: Why are you wanting to? Are you wanting to use want another to... account? No, I want to test the theory of whether or not I can join based off of it being a public server. Low Chris, uh, oh. get banned. <laughs> oh, this hellscape. <laughs> Why does your thing say? Sh you know, I'm really glad you changed your name from what it was before, because I got like really pissy for a minute. Oh. Uh, no, I like before it said, uh, what was his name? Um, you had the name of somebody else, like not this guy. Liquid Septi Paws. Yeah, Septi Paws. Yeah. And I saw you in VC, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in here and fucking scream at Septi Paws until he kills himself, and then it was. You. <laughs> if, if only. If only. If only. <laughs> I genuinely want to find the the alleged Septi Paws account just to just to talk to him. All right, just to um, see. All right, uh, I'm going to join the server. Ask them about the Septi Paws alt. <laughs> yeah, that. Hold on. Like, how do the Nazi is malicious? That it's like I'm going to withhold this information that a dangerous person is in your server and then shame you for keeping them in your server. It's like motherfucker, just tell me who they are. <laughs> right. But no, you want something to hold over our heads. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you got an automatic, like, uh... Automatically. <laughs> Let's just say your age, and I want to have an open discussion, that's all. You're just say to... your no. age. No! Uh, oh, straight it? Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> it's around here somewhere, I think. Jesus fucking yeah. Christ. 
you're really digging. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it won't even show up in the... Um... It'll have, like, a line through it. Because I think it's just something like, call him a... Uh... <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Uh... I'll wait for Gilded to start talking. You can, like, press the stream button. Yeah. I cannot join in there. They would probably know who I was. I know Lion knows. Say your age and that you want to have an open discussion. Fuck That's off. All. I don't want to help a discussion. <laughs> Gotta watch the transcript carefully. Fuck me. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, that's something, uh, that's another thing like, I won't tell them someone in Alar's server. I think they make R34 rule art of people. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you want free? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was quick, quick. I just want to talk, bro. I just want to talk. <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. It's actually in the fucking transcript. <laughs> wow. It made the transcript. What? It was a discovery. Yeah, I don't even know where that came from at all. What? <laughs> all right, hold on. I I'll I'll just stay here, dude. Just say, I'll, I'll just stay here then, sad face. Just stay now here. we're just lonely no, 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 just re re reply who. Who? <laughs> okay, so this is, this is uh, trying to get a co fucking conversation with Lyo about who, who the fuck they're talking about in the server who is this groomer and not getting an answer. Sit it, bot. He's a lolly defender? I didn't know that. So who are they actually talking about? Uh, like... Oh, we're ha talking about... Oh, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, gonna go get more interviews slash lollycon defenders. 20, just want to know who's the alt in the server. Like, were, uh, we'd like... We'd have the alt in here, go away stupid. Uh, no, go back to talking to lollycon defenders, creep. Who's the funny lolly? Can you just say, do you have proof? Because I didn't know. Just, yeah, just say proof yeah. question mark. Yeah, they're talking about Tommy's house. Uh, uh, it's a moment for me right now. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Can... The boom and he's like five dick is a type. Oh my god. Uh, you were, uh, so... Nerf types in proof, Lyra responds, You're really dumb. You should know by now that the morons that hate me are degenerates. But doing basic research is hard, right, Minecraft? Interesting. So anyone who hates Lyo is a degenerate. Huh, that's that's funny. Because it seems like, Lyo, you've surrounded yourself by degenerates who you've had to call out constantly. It's almost like the people who like you are fucking degenerates. Oh, weird. Isn't that like a Mama Max sort of go-to thing, Dude, like, how, to call out uh, everyone? Ghosty, 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 sorry, it's somebody in uh, commentary who lied about their mother being dead. A job, he's just just to give that there. address to chat. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? Will now be gone? Now nah, I'm gonna stay here. No, no. Now be gone, creep fiend. Okay, we're coming up to it, so I'm just gonna uh, roll the chat up. I think that's <laughs> it. They just fucking keep uh, kick him. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so that's the context for that. They did try and find out who it was, but Lyo wanted to hide it because Lyo wants to get dunked on people because Lyo doesn't care about victims or 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 grooming or anything. He cares about internet clout and being a fucking bully and not being shoved in a locker because he belongs to the chess club. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think it's really yeah, Can I mention that I could have hopped into Endless Server and gone in co and that person that was affiliated with the Pedo Zoo file group could have contacted and harassed me again because I'm one of the victims of the group because they drew rape art of me knowing I'm a sexual assault survivor. They drew rape art of you? Yep, twice. What? 
What is wrong with these people? Hey guys, I know how oh, we're gonna go. get a dunk on a vi on somebody. We're gonna we're gonna draw. So Wait, th so they know that you're a victim. So just just yes. to, just to draw this back, they know that you're a victim of this. This has been discussed. But when you do something, it's because you're a malicious actor. But Peaches, when she does something, the grooming is like a complete excuse. It's like no no no, she was groomed though. Holy fucking shit! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so tired of these people, like, Lyo withholding me part where the person could have harmed me. I could have gotten in contact with that fucker. Like, I could have, that person could have contacted me going like, Hello, um, I, I have uh, this art if you want to just setting the traumatizing images. Where's, where's, where's Nick Diorio? Where's Nick Diorio? We've got a you for Jesus oh, fucking Christ. That reminds me. Uh, I got a, speaking of gamer words, I have a clip of Lyo doing like a dog whistle race joke. <laughs> I think we're going to put a clip compilation oh. together. Okay, okay, we got yeah. to get through to school. We got to get through to school, otherwise I'm going to lose my fucking mind if I haven't already. I do know, but uh, please continue. Okay. But... I just, I just wanted... just... Okay. Well, long story short, I knew Jess was a former commentator, and... I had already worked with two people who were former, former commentators, those being Lorenzo. That co-op still isn't out yet, by the way. <laughs> it's been over a year. In the right, I'm, I'm editing other videos. Okay, I, on, I, topic. I'm, I'm, on topic. Uh, and, well, and MTR. Uh, and so I figured I'll add another one to the list, and Jess and I did a collab on Essence. And, then, and through that, we became very close. Uh, we started talking basically daily. I learned that they had apparently done some bad things that I was kind of aware of, but was never given the full details to. Susie can confirm this, but a lot of the situation- Just mention Tipster and he'll come around. Let's be clear, like, Lyo is somebody with literal, like, fucking goth mummies. Like, <laughs> Even when I was alerted to it, were kind of elusive. Do you think that's a fair thing to say, Susie? Well, there is a reason for that, yeah. I, I'm not saying there isn't one, I'm just saying that meant I didn't know as much as I probably needed to really properly assess things. And I'm not blaming anybody for that. I'm just kind of describing what happened at this point. Um, but long story short, Jess was very manipulative when talking to me. They would constantly overemphasize their fear of the SCC. One thing I remember vividly them doing is they never referred to Yoon or Heaton by name. Instead, when they wanted to mention Yoon, they would type parentheses, period, close parentheses, with Gabby parentheses. And then, uh, and when they want to write Heaton, it'd be the same thing, but with two periods instead of one. And I asked, why are you doing that? They said, because they made a deal with Yoon and Heaton to never mention them again. I pointed out that was probably not what was meant. And even then, like, that's kind of silly. <laughs> that's so and autistic. I promise I'd never is. mention them again, so I came up with a code to use when I was talking about them. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I didn't say your name. I'm obviously, it's obvious who I'm talking about, but I'm not mentioning you. Hey, could you imagine? Hey, I don't want you to talk about me anymore. Don't worry, I'll just subtweet about you. <laughs> and yeah, it was silly. That wasn't actually part of the deal that was made. That was just something Jess lied to me about. Jess lied to me about a lot of things, you'll find out. Uh, one specific one I remember <laughs> that I vividly remember finding out about is Jess claimed that Yoon yelled at them over something Yoon couldn't have yelled at them over because Yoon didn't know about it at the time. Yoon didn't know about it until I told them after our falling out. But um. this basically was what happened constantly. Jess would talk to me, again, basically nightly, and they'd tell me all sorts of terrible things, and it would get and basically lie to me. Now, the beginning of the end was the Boon video. Now, it was already known that I did not like Boone's video on Sonic Shadow for reasons that, looking back- Oh my god, this is so- okay, I'm actually losing my mind, this is too autistic. Is there anything else in this call that I need to go over? Because I'm- I'm uh, sort of- no. I- okay, we're gonna jump ahead a little bit, uh, because Ephraim I- Ephraim does this to people. I'm just- I'm just losing my fucking He's mind. He is a yapper. Holy shit. Yeah, I probably need to go to, go to that anyway. Yeah, it's just like, shut the fuck up. Okay, and we've been going for like four and a half hours at this point. Um, right, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see where we're at. Oh, no, no, no. I pushed back on that even at the time. I thought that was too far. You can see that in the DMs. I don't care. But yeah, no, I'm... Can I get a little emotional, or is that a bad idea? I don't care. 
Okay. Because I know there's. Don't want to look mad for me when I leak the call. You can get emotional as you like. Fuck off. The guy is still make... talking. He is still yapping. Fun of me for being emotional, but I don't care either. These are the same people who sit in a server with a guy who sent zoo porn, another guy who has sent child porn to people. Guild had mentioned. Right. Zoo porn is fine with wait, child wait. porn because. Uh, child porn. What? Well, yeah, yeah, the zoo, from. the zoo porn, but I don't know what the child porn is. I, I don't fucking know. He's probably he's oh, referring why? he's referring to the alt, obviously. Like he's referring to the oh, alt. Oh that's God. what that's what's referencing. Oh How am God. I the one helping you two through, through this? Reveal. How the that's fuck? Also a part of the group that was sexually harassing me. Yay. How the fuck am I the one helping Please you two through this? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> because. Because well, we're coping and seething right and, now. Uh, <laughs> you are coping so and seething. Crazy. Like and subscribe. Fuck. <laughs> 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 who has a girl pet her name? His name into her thigh. So who cares what they think? Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, who cares what Kumu thinks? Doesn't matter that he was manipulated. Doesn't matter that at the time, at the time, and Kumu's provided the DMs for this, and the, in the call we can hear it. Lyo defends Kumu. He defends him. It's only because Peaches freaks out that Lyo changed his position. Lyo, you have no fucking spine. And I've said this before. The irony of all this is I know a lot of people here are like, yeah, fuck Lyo, Lyo bad. But I cannot emphasize enough how much that Lyo is not the one in control here. He's not. He's not the adult in the room. He's not even like this big fucking alpha. Peaches is the one in control here. Lyo, Lyo is not the one carrying her, she's the one pushing him. And when you realize that, it's even fucking sadder. Uh, the Jess situation- Lyo is the same. True! Be a True and accurate. essentially convinced me <laughs> that they and I were in a similar position. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> God damn it. That's my story. Any questions? No. <laughs> I'm, no. For a while, I, I, I might have, there are a few instances where I felt like, well, maybe I- maybe I was wrong to get as angry with Nil in our last conversation that I was to be, but now hearing about the type of company that she is keeping- Okay. This is not the first- This is all guilt, guilt by association, we've heard this all before. Time that in, like, multiple videos, fuck all of them. Had you someone- Peaches is no different than creep show art. I don't know enough about the creep show art stuff, but yeah. Gonna... We're not I'm rehashing not sure it. Sure to just make them feel worse. Like what that happened probably won't be earlier. They probably yeah. won't be the last because here's here's Gal's playbook. Sit there and act like you're remorseful. Sit there and pretend like you're gonna change. Cry crocodile tears so people will believe you. Well, that's what like peaches, peaches. <laughs> There's these people are protecting. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you are checked out, mate. <laughs> you're literally I'm you're projecting, bro. You're coaching peaches through this. You'd already had these calls, actually. You'd already had the call with peaches where you're pretending that things are going to change and she's literally crying about it. What are you talking about? You can't describe the tactics you yourselves are using to attack other people. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. And then the moment, and I do mean the moment, that it comes out what they're doing, bail and try again. And yeah, I still have it. It's privated, but I have it. Uh, sorry if this what? sounds very ignorant. What is FCK? What's the leaks? I'm sorry, I, I just jo I joined. It's a... uh... Okay, I kind of want to hear how they describe this. I'm interested. I, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's a, it's a Discord server that existed for almost five years ago that information about is being drip-fed from that Twitter account that Jess is running. And the more we look into it, the more that this seems uh, not like they're trying to paint it as being. Oh. What? Miss... Excuse me? I'm not going to... I just said earlier I'm not going to go into the details about it because I'm going to do it in the video. Uh, <laughs> when are we going to see that, buddy? I'm familiar of Jess, but from, from what I, glimpses of I heard, they sound a bit disturbing. <laughs> scary. They're not a bit disturbing, and they're not, they're not scary. They're just insane. And frankly, yeah. somebody needs to take their internet away permanently and never let them on again. Excuse me, that okay. I don't mean to be bothered, but like I got a notification on Discord that apparently someone was clipping the call. Oh, that's it says that clipping's enabled on different calls. We have a leaker in here, we'll figure out who it is sooner or later. But I don't care, this is a public server, we're in a public call, and I'll let them freak out all they want because here's what's going to happen. I everything I've said I'm here is true, and right. they're gonna have to look into it. They've got the guy who commissioned um, non consensual art of people they know in there. 
And now they're going to have to Again, try to figure out who it is, because I'm not going to help. That guy <laughs> was associated with the people sexually harassing me. That guy was an abuser of mine. He is using that abuser against me. Fuck Lyle for this. Oh my god, oh. what an actual fucking cunt. Wait, hold on. Yes. What does non-consensual art mean? Rape art. Okay, oh, okay, got it, got it. Sorry. Sorry. Help them. Uh... Um, what's about the 80 page Google Doc? I, I, that's okay. very new. Don't, don't worry too much about that. That, I'm sure that'll get talked about when it gets talked about too. Okay. okay. I'll give a, I'll give a real quick TLDR. Uh, Jeff's insane ramblings to try to paint themselves as a victim of their own actions. Oh, I see. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's all my questions. Uh, thank you for answering them. So the typical adults not wanting to be adults. Yep. Because God forbid they not be allowed in a very specific place in the online space. They, they... Oh, this is fucking so much cope. They could not handle the phrase, please leave me alone. They can't handle the phrase, no. I I... <laughs> oh, <One more> God. <laughs> Hold on. I, I never accept this no is, for an answer. This is, on my dates. this is somebody who got so blown out of the water by a 15-year-old who wouldn't apologize to him that he phoned this kid's school and and claimed that he was a school shooter. That's who this man is. He, he tried to get a 15-year-old arrested as a potential school shooter. After, I'll remind you, he threatened to turn up his hat, turn up at his house. <laughs> Like, he wants to talk about he, m me violating boundaries. He freaking violated his 15-year-old's boundaries. And if he, if it went really wrong, <laughs> he could have gotten that 15-year-old killed. That I mean, look, 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 let's, let's not overblown this shit. I mean, sure, we can say this, but I, I want to be really clear, and I, I do this with, like, conversations and debates and things, where it's like, you can think of the worst cases, but, like, here's, here's some advice. Don't try not to do that because those worst case scenarios are what they'll use against you they'll be like you said this and that wasn't possible you don't need to you don't need to you don't need to take the most extreme stance because even the middling stance is so fucked up that everyone's with you that's just that's just some general coverage advice gotcha. um you interrupted the map wrong i apologize uh Ms. Lyo, this is your can i talk to you uh i'm right here go ahead oh okay <laughs> Well, I wanted a one on one, but that's okay. It was, uh, yeah, is it okay to have a one on one instead? If that's okay. You, if you want, is, is there something I need to do specifically for you? No, no, I just, uh, uh, I want to tell you about a person. So there was a person. I didn't report to the police because he would have got arrested. Amazing. True. And they made me, they, I, they, uh, I, yeah, one on one. I'm sorry. That's fine, but if it's something that involves legality, you need to go to the police before you come to me. No, it's not. I'm not, no, it's not legality. I don't think. I, I, I don't think it is. But I, I don't. Is know. it? Is it a typical? I'm in this situation. I'd like advice type of thing. Yeah. Or, okay. That like, works. Or and also like I wanna. Uh, <laughs> come on. You gave me advice and I did. Oh this my god, I, he's like uh, the I'm fucking lie, godfather. Um, yeah. You you come to me this on the day of Peach's birthday. <laughs> Very many questions because I'm still a little I'm trying to figure out a lot of stuff that's going on. Okay. So, do we have any questions then? Uh, just one minor one. What's it like to hear that any of these muckers finding any moderately reasonable dirt on you? Uh, what? Uh, What's the likelihood of these people finding anything on you? That's an interesting question to ask, Lyo. What, do, what does Lyo think? And who, uh, the people. Uh, the people in. The people okay, that let's try, this again. let's try this again. Let's try this again. Think about what you're going to say. Cope, father, true. Mind a few times and then speak. I'm having a hard time understanding what you're saying in general. Oh, sorry. Rambling. Uh, what's the likelihood of any of them finding any moderately applicable dirt on you? Well, considering the fact that the best they can do right now is allegedly first-hand accounts of my appearance and apparently the fact that I have caps, whereas with literally every single one of these people, their actions are egregious all the way into what? illegal, uh, minimal with none. Pause that real quick. You know what's really egregious? Holding on to the logs for months and admitting it to Lakamogalaka to Lakamogalaka's face and expecting us to not get at least a little heated because you 
would get on to others for the same Look. thing for being on to for, for sitting on information in regards to predators for months Rosa Ray Ramsey to be let's, specific no, no, I, cause I, can say, I can hear your comments I can see the comments in chat but let's be real fucking simple about this what are the chances that people are going to find things on your liar uh, quite high I'm on my I'm on like hour maybe 18 of this what is it like multiple streams Maybe, maybe less, maybe 15, 16. Yeah, there's huge amounts on Lyo and Peaches to go over. It's, it's insane. It's years and years worth. So the fact that Lyo would even say that is fucking ridiculous. I, I will say this about this 29th call. I don't think Lyo realized how bad this was. I, like, I think he knew it was bad. I just didn't think he realized it was about to breach containment into the commentary community. And also that people who would normally have defended him would <laughs> were about to just burn him to the fucking ground. Okay, People who've watched me for a while know that I have a general rule of I won't cover a topic more than like three times in a certain cycle. I tend not to do that because I, I just get bored. But with this, there's so much that it's actually, like, there's still stuff that I'm sat on the back burner being like, oh, I need to get around to this. <laughs> and it's still funny. Like, yeah, Lyo, you're fucked, buddy. I'm not even watching full videos. Leia Something is watching your, like, the full video breakdowns of these. I'm sat here, like, skipping through shit because I haven't got, there's not enough time. There is not enough time in my day or life to do this to you. <laughs> yeah, and like, every single single person he surrounds himself with has their own set of individual lore which is crazy yeah it's oh god yeah i i'm really looking forward to actually finding the time to because i haven't seen akumu's new video yet but i will say and if anyone else is like oh do we go watch it i would suggest go watching it akumu's like videos tend to be, I, I like them and i'm looking forward to look, look watching it through trains video i'm i'm quite excited for it i might do that after this stream i transformers Ooh. Scary stuff. Jordan's so claims are... Well, there's something that happened last night that I'm not going to talk about here, but I will talk about when the video comes out. It'll be interesting. Very interesting. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Do you want that shown? Uh, I got a question, actually, if you don't mind an sure. uh, answering. That's a tweet, I'll uh, show you. I've been... Uh... I've been running through the calls you posted, the recorded calls you posted on YouTube, and one question just kept uh, popping in my head every now and again. Uh, I guess with this particular... Okay, we'll go we'll go back to that in a second. But also, Crystal has uh, sent me this. They, they've just tweeted it. Um, the This is from Crystal. Here is my main point I would like to make clear before anything else. I never called Peaches a groomer or a pedophile during any of this for it to be framed as such as wild. Can be tainted. Did, I, did I say in the in the thing itself? That piece is a groomer. Did I say that she's no? Computer? You did not. I would never. I wholeheartedly. Nope. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> Crystal coming out swinging. Oh when, Jesus! All happened when this was recorded. I am Crystal. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. <laughs> That is. Is this AI coming out swinging? That is actual swinging. Shit. So Lyo did an entire video. I mean, I want to listen to it again. I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Okay. It can be tainted. Did I did I say in the in the thing itself that Peaches is a groomer? Did I say that she's no? Computer? You did not. I would never. I wholeheartedly nope. don't think oh. that she's. It can be. Oh my god! It's so fucking Jova. <laughs> she calls me a pathological liar. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, this is just, this is not to uh, ruin Crystal's credibility, but you've got a clip, clearly, of them be of you agreeing with them, and then you're like, nah, 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 <laughs> what a fucking dickhead. And Lyo, if you, if you think we're wrong, release the calls, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that is, that is an uncomfortable truth right there. <laughs> this actually might, this, this. This might be why Lyo didn't uh, give her the call. Yeah. Him, whichever, you know, like, try, like, talk about trying to control the narrative. <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking, I, I love this cycle. ACC, oh, you're a gold mine. Thank you, guys. Particular case, it's with uh, Cass Warfox, <laughs> but um, why do these people who willingly congregate together? Like, I know this probably sounds like a dumb question, but uh, I legitimately just want to like at the very least understand the thought process 
uh, they take the enemy of my enemy as my friend to an insane degree, and they lick each other's wounds because if we're going to get put on, put on blast for our moral actions. We've got to get back at the guy who did it instead of fixing our problem. Oh, all right. Thank you. I also have a question. All right. Lions and peaches and doodles are my. <laughs> so, uh, this probably has something to do. This is probably, you probably, uh, so, uh, would you be covering the abuse allegations as well? Because I literally have said multiple times, both yesterday and today. Have you been keeping up with the discussion chat? No. I, I think you need to. So, refer to that. Okay. And who, who just asked that? No, who asked that? What's your name? There you go. It's what? Vega. Never heard of you. Uh, that's because um, I'm just a nobody. Mm, interesting. You're a nobody. All right. Anybody else? Can you hear the fucking paranoia as Oh, you're a nobody, are you? Are you a ghost? Are you a fucking she's ghost? Trying to, she's trying to sniff her spy. <laughs> <laughs> she got this spy. isn't so much a question as much as it is a statement of concern. Uh, Ephraim, Lyo, anyone in the commentary community, please take care of yourselves today. Do something nice for yourselves. You don't need this bullshit. No. Oh my god. True. Oh my true, god. actually. I am doing something oh, nice for myself today. I'm laughing at you. It's made my day. Don't Thank you. Fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna get water burger later today, so hell I yeah. Appreciate the, I appreciate the concern. Uh, I, I, I do have plans to watch Cars with some friends, so there's something that to look forward to today for me. Oh, fucking hand. God. <laughs> Honey, I'm about okay. to sit in like a three-hour <laughs> class where the professor waffles about nothing. Yeah, I'm about to kidnap four people and force them to play card ga games against each other, and one of them goes to the Shadow Realm. Oh, oh uh, no! <laughs> is it called against humanity? It's called our hoverboards. Wait, you two? Okay. Uh, then another question was asked, and I started recording again. Interesting. When do we, uh, like, uh, not to sound like uh, rushing or anything, but when can we expect to see this uh, video? When it comes out. All right, okay. Because okay. uh, here's the thing. Right. Like, unlike literally every other person involved in this, I have a job. Okay, all right. That, all right, that, that's fine. That's unlike fine. everyone just, else, just I'm employed, guys. <laughs> Motherfucker, we've all got jobs. Shut the fuck up. On top of that, given how much has been dropped, there's a lot to parse through. Yeah, it's a mountain of bullshit. All right, well, I did. I did. I didn't want to sound like I was rushing, so I apologize if I if I did make the make it sound like that. It's fine. It's just uh, you know, these things aren't going to be like, hey. In five minutes, I'll whip up a response. I have a lot to cover here, and thankfully, I have help to do it because there's a lot of logs. But I can tell you right now, um, things aren't looking good for Akumu's side of the narrative. Oh, there's definitely some such stuff. What Junkie admitted to is pretty damning for Junkie because Junkie went in there knowing there were children in the server and had no problem being inappropriate with them. That's different than not I knowing if they're in the server or not even seeing so... if they're interacting and posting inappropriate things. I know that, Jim. Okay. Okay. Lorenzo, you have got to learn call etiquette. I'm going to start server meeting you. I don't want to. Okay? Okay. All right, any other questions? One minor one. Okay. All right, yeah. what's your minor question? After all, all this is over and done with, is, are you going to be okay? How would I know? I'm not a soothsayer. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, Lyle, just... 10. No, no, you you first. Is this just going to be dumb hey, shit for the rest of the call? Okay? I'm okay, really interested in this response, though. How about two? It's very cuddly. It's it's very yeah. This is I I think interestingly enough, this is quite learn cool etiquette. Yeah, learn cool etiquette. Or in my case, uh, I speak. You guys shut the fuck up. Um, no, I don't mean I don't mean that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but this is interesting because I think that it kind of shows because we can't see the conversations that have gone in Senate. We can't see the other private calls. I think this is really I think genuinely Lyo's really rattled. I think that's why it's taken him so long to get the response out. I think that's why he went after Crystal. Because it's not looking good for Akumu's side. But that's interesting. Then why aren't you directly attacking Akumu's side? Because you're not. You're sub you're you're attacking the bits around the edges because you can't hit the direct uh, the core narrative. Because you, you you got nothing, you're fucked. Well, he's yeah, he's also not engaging with any of the questions involving that. 
and just yeah. telling them to wait and tell the video, yeah. which I find particularly interesting. Oof. I'm gonna dox your Neopets. Why the Neopets? Let me use those next summer and call Becky. True, true and fair, Hoss. Any, any other questions? Just a wrapping statement before I uh, before I head out. I've been meaning to say this for a while, and sorry if this sounds a little sidetracky, but uh, things considered, I recently started, uh, you know, hearing about what the SEC has been going through, seeing the work you, Susie, and uh, other people have been doing to keep uh, this community and others like it uh, uh, free from freaks like that. Honestly, uh, and I just wanted to say. Thank you. I, you. Oh, fuck off. Your work is legitimately appreciated, and I, I yeah, I praised before, but God. Uh, uh, but for once in your life, you're please, begging you. Doodle, you've been doodle. friends with me. Doodle, you've been friends with me since 2016. I've got a bomb. Interesting. Bombard you with compliments oh. until you take at least one of them. Even if wait, it's wait. One she will. Wait, what if. What if we try insulting her? Will she also argue with that in the same no. way? No, she literally just says true. She was Damn it! Right. Uh, but those you... Interesting. Anyway, okay, cool. Oh, fuck this cool. Um... Feels like a hot box at the end. Oh my god. Lamau, Bestie, if you're still watching, you're the best. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, answering answering DMs in, in, while I'm on stream, fuck it. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I have a lot of people in my waiting room. Um, Blossom, thank you for coming on. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you out I'll now. I'll leave now. Thank um, you for having me on. I appreciate. No, it. No, no worries. I, um, just take care of yourself. I need my side and you yeah, too. no, you're good. You're, you're good. Okay. Cool. That's right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag people in one by one. We're gonna ask them what they have to say. And if it is nothing, you, you might get kicked. Don't be, don't be offended. I'm just, I, it is late, and I want to keep things cycling. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Right, first on, Axton. Hello, are you there? Limited amounts of time to answer me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Five, four, three. So, no, okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> the sheep, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, oh. oh. Welcome to live. Did you have anything to add or were you just hanging out and waiting? Uh, I was more or less going to just... I was going to give my uh, thoughts or my experience with Lyo's personal server and, uh, because I wasn't on the okay. Senate for that. Or, I, I was on the Senate for a little bit, but it was very limited. But okay. I do have a shit ton of insight on personal server. What I'll do then is because I think that that might need a separate thing. Can you give it a taste? And then um, I'll DM you after stream. Gotcha. Got it. Because uh, I, it's getting really late. I have a headache and I'm a, and I Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, so the way I, I could describe Lyo's like public server like his six by the way it's 16 plus he's he claims to be a fucking predator hunter and his public server is 16 plus what well how else is he gonna uh get the predators in anyway come on <laughs> <laughs> okay and the way i the way i could describe it in one word fucking toxic it's toxic in there bro yeah i i imagine so i imagine it's a proper little stomping ground okay well what we'll do is and let's Go on, go on. I at least want to say I at least want to say one of the most notable yeah, and fun fucking things that happened there. So I was having a a real bad day, and I, or I was having a bad day up to that point, mm -hmm. and I get I got into a call in the fucking server, and I was very grumpy, very uh, upset, and I was complaining, and I was told by one of the mods to shut the fuck up because no trauma dumping, even though that day. I had my fucking foot ran over by a Toyota. I had it, okay. I, my what, foot was what? still my foot was still throbbing. I think I had every fucking right to complain about the fact that I had a shitty day. Yeah, and you know what? It's <laughs> look, it's not the most egregious, but yeah, it does speak to the fact that it give a shit. Okay, well, look, let me throw you. Let me grab someone else, and we'll DM. All okay. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. I probably won't respond because I'll probably be... No, that's, uh, that's fine. There's no time limit on this stuff. Okay, cool. I'll catch you later. Bye. Alright, later.
Okay, cool. Uh, Keykeeper. Keykeeper, you're live. Keykeeper, you have it. Like, be, set, be, yeah, there we go. Off, off you. Bad me, sorry. No, you're you guys good. Got me in a bad, a weird moment there. That's that's. Can fun. I come back in, in a few minutes? Yeah, sure. No worries. I'll throw you back, and uh, it's like it's like fucking fishing. Thank you. Right, see you in a minute. Uh, okay. M, how you doing? Hey yo, what's good? What is Thomas Guerra doing? So Bye. <laughs> wow. Right. Okay. Lo's name is public anyway. But it doesn't fucking matter. Right, cool. <sighs> Madra, how you doing? Oh. How you doing? Hello? Hello, welcome to the live. What's up? Hi. You're live. I'm just a... Don't mind me. I was just waiting in the waiting room talking to the others about this entire situation. Because it's all really crazy. No worries, you're good. Right, we might do a full, more full calling show at some point. Okay, I'm going to throw you back. You good? You good? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm fine. I'll just be spectating. Okay, thanks. <sighs> oh, okay, who else did we have? Uh, I think uh, Keykeeper was the last one, uh, but uh, we've circled through everyone else. Uh, I'm not going to bring Beans back in. We'll talk to Beans another time. Okay, Key, you good? You with us? No, that's fine. Take 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 your time uh, for a sec. Uh, okay, I'm here. Okay, you okay. good? You good? Share share your thoughts. Yeah, sorry, you got me. You pulled me in right when I was using the bathroom. <laughs> no worries, you're fine. Right. Okay. Um, so I had some time in the Senate as well. Um, I'll be real with you. I did not like what I had to deal with there. I don't agree with a lot of the morals. Sure. The thing that really got me, though, is the fact that there's two servers. One of them is 16 plus, which is the it's either the Book of Omen or the House of Omen. OK, I'm trying to remember what the actual name of that one was. Um, then the Senate was originally like 17 plus when I was in there. Then they bumped it up to 18 plus after all the fucking real queer drama started. Yeah, sure. Because it was a load of fucking rumors. Anyway, it's so... like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. So I spent a little bit of time in there. I did some looking in because I noticed that Baiji had been posting dolphin porn. Mm -hmm. So I happened to do some digging. I don't like what I found. And I was talking with the guys in the uh, waiting room about this too. Um, so that image is also can be sourced to E62 and Rule 34 with the Zoophilia tag. Yes. It, not just that, but the artist that made it actually drew uh, bestiality porn. Oh, absolutely. There was a lot of it. Yeah. Okay, uh, so... Okay. okay. I don't want to dwell on this too hard, because it's... Oh, I think no, it's... Fine, man. Yeah. But, um... I think, I think, again, if we want... Because yeah, I know some people want the gotcha. Lyo! Why, uh, why has this never been addressed publicly, buddy? Why, why have you never talked about why one of your mods was? Because it, because it, for some, for people who haven't watched the previous stream, by the way, you should like and subscribe and watch all my shit. Absolutely. One of the one of the things that's thrown at Gilded is that Gilded raided a server and posted zoophilia porn. That's not actually true. Um, that Gilded didn't do that. Somebody who raided with him did that. But also, Gilded was raided first by this person posting zoophilia porn in gilded server and so the, oh just the, just the pure fucking hypocrisy of this shit anyway like i'm gonna i'm gonna throw you back um but thank you oh, for absolutely. thank you for like um calling in i appreciate it and no, have I'm a good, good rest of the night okay I'm peace. Gonna try to. peace okay uh, what Chris is just like, oh, what? Like, Chris has listened to me occasionally s fucking rant about this in VCs. <laughs> He's been like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's What the fuck is going on? I don't care. Now he just signed a stream for multiple hours while I've been trying to go over it. Um, okay, look. I know you've sent me the clip of Peaches. Uh, I'm assuming that's the one with Lyo uh, saying shit. Yeah, he just made like a kind of an edgy joke. That was a bit more edgy than he usually tells. Sure, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it because it's the end. Um, we're coming up to. Okay, just give me a second. Let me let me get this up. You know, one day I'm gonna do. Fucking hell! I'll share it to the. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna share it to the Discord. I'm just gonna share it to the stream, and you can hear me react to it. I, I, I've hit my lazy point. Okay. Um. So this was on a Peaches stream. 
Gone, <laughs> gone, but not forgotten. Right. You know, one day I'm going to do my own, like, fake YouTube apology where I'm going to be something along the lines of, I'm sorry that happened. I was in a dark place. I was in Detroit. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very woke there, Lyo. Yeah, you know, I said this before. If Lyo was just actually admitting to being an internet troll rather than trying to cuddle up to the woke crowd, he I don't think, like, half the people striking at him fucking wouldn't be. Um, okay. Right. Cool. So... Fuck. Um, do I need to do I need to actually talk about the fact that peaches no longer no longer exist? Um, probably not really. Um, so hopeless peaches um, socials are gone. Um, I'll just I'm just typing in just to reconfirm, but it is all over Twitter um, that there's a load of screenshots that she is basically cut and run. Um, the the channel doesn't exist anymore. The 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 her fucking stuff doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what to fucking tell you. What I will say is I do think it's a shame for the people who uh, actually genuinely care about um, the leaks that f uh, the fucking case glitch tales thing. Um, hopefully somebody has a backup of that and it can go up on an archive channel as or something as well. Uh, Gilded, thank you for calling in. I'm going to throw you out, buddy, uh, as I wrap up. Okie doke. Um, Have fun. <laughs> will do. Will do. Cheers, mate. Catch you in a bit. Bye. Well, what have we learned? We've learned nothing. We've learned nothing. I refuse to learn anything from this. It's too retarded. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone's still up and alive. Um, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Say hello to my girlfriend. Can I? Can I raid now? Have I hit the point in my life when I can raid? See, I'm too small. I'm too small and new to raid people. Apparently, that's that's my unfortunate reality. Um, I can't I can't raid. I can't do anything. I can't I can't send you over to anyone's channel. It's very it's very sad. It's very sad. If only more people liked and subscribed, <laughs> then I'd be able to. But I can't. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm going to go um, put this link in chat. I want you to I want you to go and say hello to my uh girlfriend. She's lovely. Uh never stop me from raiding. I don't like I fucking I don't know why I can't raid. I don't know what's gone on that like they hate me. I I don't know. Cool cool team YouTube. Susan's not around anymore, but she'll fix it for me, I'm sure. Um this has been like ugh, I'd love to say fun. It's been much longer than I intended. I intended to go for about two hours, but uh, thanks for all the people who've called in. Thanks for all the people who've come and helped. I've really appreciated it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to do outro music or anything because I can't be fucking bothered. Um, I will see. I will see people on friday hopefully unless anything else insane happens tomorrow in which case i'll stream early at some point i'm going to do a stream that isn't on this fucking topic <laughs> because <laughs> i know I, I know that loads of you won't turn up for that it's fine i just need something maybe i'll make a gundam or something i don't fucking know right <laughs>